What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to Too High for Stupid, episode 19, Cyrax Arrested for Assault. How's everybody doing tonight? How's everyone doing? How hope you motherfuckers are doing good tonight. It's, uh, we got maybe the greatest police body cam footage to watch tonight. I mean, oh. if you haven't heard this shit yet, it's like, oh my God. <laughs> Dude, oh, it's amazing. William Glory Hole posted maybe the greatest 20 minutes of YouTube that I've ever seen in my life. And it is, um, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. And y'all are about to see that in full, full effect here today. It's amazing. It's honestly like I got to let's post William's link here in the chat because it's truly one of the funniest pieces of Cyrax media you'll ever see. Um, yeah, it, I, <laughs> I can't even handle it. He howls I, like an animal. He does. He really does. And it's Kiwi. It's crazy to think like all that hard talk he's been saying for years, you know, that he's a badass. He's this, that look what happens when you got the cuff put on him. He's wailing like a fucking wolf, dude. It's crazy. He is, dude. He is. And you know, that's exactly, someone was saying like, they should play this as soon as he starts sparking that mouth, they should play this footage of him just crumpling before the police they, uh, yes exact every but then he'll just do the hey hey turn it off bitch made turn it off white trash turn it like you know how he'll react he'll still act like this is a huge w for him he's a hardened criminal now yeah yeah he is no he's been to jail this is like he he's hardened he probably joined a gang and everything did you hear and in, in this in, <laughs> there's so many little layers in this fucking video Sally's asking the cops, can you can you get him a, a cell alone? He's really small. He's really small. Like yeah. when, when dude, it's they're so afraid that Cyrax is just gonna get taken advantage of in a jail cell when it's like I think people are gonna be cowering in the corner when Cyrax walks in. They're gonna be like, What the fuck is that? Like I'm I'm not going nowhere near that. Like, look at that. Would you absolutely say, say you were in a holding cell for the night and you saw that walk in, you would be fucking mortified. I, I wouldn't, I would just move to the other end of the pod, dude. Yeah. I just, I, I, if I had to share a cell with something like this, uh, I definitely would not return to prison ever again. Maybe it's like justice, you know, maybe this is what's going to turn criminals around. They're going to be like, damn, that's me in 10 years. If I keep right. up the, uh, <laughs> right. the rampant usage, there's going to be like <laughs> a 55 year old prisoner looking at Cyrax and going, I don't want to be that when I grow up. Like, what the fuck is that? Yeah, yeah, for real. They're just like, and I would love it if he did like scared straight, but then again, you don't want him around children. Yeah, right. So. Scared straight with like fucking gangbangers in the city, guys who are like <laughs> like 30 to 40 year old dudes. They're walking like, oh my God, no, we don't want to do that. They're cleaning up now. They're going out in the streets, helping out everyone because you don't want to turn into Cyrax no matter where you go in life. That's the <laughs> wrong path every fucking time. Watch him actually get locked up for a little bit he comes out he's all tatted up like he's got like a uh, fucking bullet bullet marks around each scab on his head and he's got all these face tats and shit and he's buff as fuck and he comes out and <laughs> it's total like it's chaos it's chaos it's like the start of a horror movie it's that's what i've been saying about chris chan for years that once chris chan got out of jail he was going to be ripped as shit but now i mean we've seen chris we, we'll look at that later too because chris was spotted um, I don't know. Did you get the picture I sent you? Uh, yeah, I did get the picture of Chris and that, that, that's perfect. That's yeah. perfect because this is, I was, you know, I, I love to see it, but I was kind of disappointed. I'm like, this is not enough for me to make another video. Oh no, no, uh, it's not. There's nothing really to talk about here other than Chris is back out and about at Walmart, just doing, doing their thing. Someone called him. Uh, I don't know if you can see it clear enough on screen because it is a, it is a, it's, pretty tough to see but he is eyeing down some sonic like sonic <laughs> logos on a g fuel can you I'm know so chris glad is about you to, said that yeah he is about to stock the fuck up on these he is going to be wired every night just probably uh, pr playing that nintendo switch all hours of the night playing sonic frontiers keeping everyone up at the halfway house it's probably crazy over there I saw that uh that post you made and you're you're dead right about him like embracing the CPU goddess. Yep. Yep. Bro, Sonic is literally speaking to him on the shelf right now. That's and that's where I think the whole blue comes from. It's not because he thinks blue's like a nice color, it's because he wants to be fucking Sonic. He wants to be Sonic. Absolutely. Not, you know, it's uh the like CPU blue heart, I feel like is just another like uh like 
what's it called? Um, OC of his that's just deep down inside another form of Sonic because of the blue. Maybe Dude. I'm wrong. Maybe what's up? I'm, no, I'm sorry. I like. I'm so glad you mentioned that because the fucking Chris Chan Ultra Sonic shoe looks just like Sonic with the it fucking does. Pikachu yeah. tail. Chris Chan Sonic shoe is literally just fucking Sonic with like rosy red cheeks, and that's about it. Like, and, there, and there you go. There's Chris Chan Sonic shoe. It's because deep down inside, uh, Sonic shoe is a is a side character to what should be in Chris's mind the main character himself as Sonic because like he he hates the fact that he didn't come up with that. I bet like he wants Sonic to be his character so badly that he turned himself into Sonic. He hated the creators of Sonic so much that he left an elderly Japanese man out in the rain for days. He waited <laughs> on him. Well, no, that's that's him doing a service. That was him looking out for the creators of Sonic. Because Miyamoto, Miyamoto was Nintendo. Miyamoto was Mario. He created Mario. Oh, so at, oh so Sega, at, yeah. At slight, to slight that Mario creating piece of shit, Miyamoto... Chris just left him high and dry. He was like, yeah, Sega's getting my business, not you, you old fuck. And there Miyamoto sat on that bench for hours waiting for Chris. And Chris never showed up. And you know why? Because fuck Nintendo. Man, that is... Yeah. We're probably going to get served up with a lawsuit yeah, just for you saying already, that. They're already on the way to the crib right now. <laughs> this is honestly like... It's crazy. The story behind these photos is that this was sent to like a friend who had surely shown their friend like a couple Chris Chan videos and they walk into Walmart and they're like, holy shit, that's, that's him. And they snap some pictures and they send them to their buddy and they're like, is this the Chris Chan guy you're always going on about? And they're like, holy fuck. It's amazing how word gets around, doesn't it? Yeah. You know, he, I, I don't know if he can go anywhere publicly looking like that and not have photos taken of him. It's even I don't people know. who don't know. It's like people who don't even know what, what Chris Chan is or what he's about. They just know he's a thing and they see him and they know other people are interested in him. I think I've told you before on the show that I've made like buddies of mine aware of like who Chris is and all mm -hmm. that. And one time, like about like, I would say probably about two months ago, one of my buddies called me, but they were like, bro, like, I got to go to Virginia this week. Like, is that guy Chris Chan going to be around? Like I can go <laughs> find him for you. And I'm like, do not do that. Like, whatever you do, do not go looking for Chris Chan, because he don't understand this shit. He just knows, oh, you talk about this guy. I told him, yeah, first off, you won't find Chris. Second off, I think you're going to be in, like, Virginia Beach, and that's pretty fucking far away from where Chris is. So, um, yeah, people dude. Will, if they see him, like, if they see him, they will take pictures and all that, which is, like, people comment all the time, Kiwi, I see it on my videos and yours, saying, like, oh, they got to stop gang stalking this guy. Like, no matter what you say, it'll never stop. People are always going to be fascinated with seeing Chris in public and they're always going to take pictures. I can sit here and agree with those people and say, yeah, it does get a bit excessive, but it's not going to stop. Man, I thought that all that was just because I was like newer to this because well, my videos get a lot of it. They're like, why are you stalking this? And they'll be like, call, call <laughs> him a she. You, and I'm like, he you, identifies as Jesus. Like They think that you went to the store and took these pictures yourself. That's why. They think that like, old Kiwi got on a plane to Virginia because he heard Chris Chan was shopping at Walmart yeah. and took all these pictures with his camera. Like going to the safari and trying to get a picture of a fucking lion or something. Um, yeah, it's like, no, we just fucking make videos over the photos that are taken. It's not like I'm like, here's where he's at. Everybody go get him. Every, That's yeah. what they act like. Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of people do think, well, yeah, we're on the hunt for Chris Jam. And now, like I said, these videos get, I mean, uh, pictures, sometimes videos, but it's been mainly pictures. They get mm -hmm. posted online. And uh, I said, people want to know what's going on with Chris, man. It's crazy. It's crazy. Oh, um, could you imagine his first video that he makes addressing any of this, if it ever happens, will be iconic to Chris. Oh, Chris, oh my God. If Chris decides to go live on YouTube or nothing, I can't imagine how fast that chat would be going. I oh can't even God. fucking fathom it. Like there would be restreams out the ass from probably like millions and millions of subscribers, YouTubers, like people would all be talking about it. Yeah, you're right. Like you would have people of... You'd have people like PewDiePie talking about it and shit, yeah. man. You know, it, it would weird. really break the mold. And it's weird, Kiwi, because at the end of the day, it makes no sense. Like, this is just an autistic person from Virginia. And look how far this has come. Look how far this has come. Like, it's yeah. uh, it's it's crazy, man. It's crazy. But, you know, it's not like Chris Chan has another court hearing in just over a month. And old Cyrax 
Well, Cyrax's court uh, <laughs> hearing got pushed back because his lawyer didn't show up. So Cyrax, I believe, has court on July 24th, Chris Chan on August 8th, and then some other like, dumb fuckers we're going to get into in a little bit have court later in the month in August over in Thailand. So there's tons of law, oh, like my. law content coming up for you guys, and I hope you guys are going to enjoy it because it's going to be very law heavy over the next few months. Yeah, man, you, you couldn't be more right. We have three major cases that are going down. I mean, this Christian thing's been happening for years now. Yep. And it's got to wrap up one of these days. Yeah, I think, it, I think it'll be another continuance, though, Kiwi. They don't give no mm. fucks. They'll just continue this shit until, like, just until they feel like it's over, I guess. At least We're maybe being trolled are. by the state. I'm definitely being trolled by the state. It's <laughs> us and Tony Chase, bro. <laughs> You're right. You're right, man. Tony Chase. That's why this is all happening is because of our affiliation with Tony Chase Facts. and our love for Facts. Tony. And if people in the chat love Tony too, just know we definitely got some Tony on deck for y'all later. Mm -hmm. Tony's been having the most ridiculous weeks. He has um he has a face guard now he wears, kind of like a mask, like a plastic mask people wore in the beginning of COVID, like like those big ones, like a face protector, right? Kind of like a goalie mask in a way, but not really. Um, and he wears that now everywhere he goes to protect himself from the satellite man satellite beams. But as I mentioned, we'll get into that later. Mm. I did not know that. So that's yeah. the purpose of that apparatus. Yep. Yep. <laughs> that's amazing. So those are the only two pictures we have of Chris. None of the face. Just the only revelations we get is that uh, he is openly wearing the Sonichu medallion in public. And I think it's hilarious that he's staring at this. But also the hair. He's changed hair color once more. Yeah, the hair, the hair, I thought in the last picture we saw of Chris that his hair must have been so fucked up, that's why he was wearing hats, but mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it is, definitely looks pretty fucked up, but it's, it's very blue, so Chris has that going on at least. Yeah, you know, <laughs> it, it looks good, his hair yeah. looks very healthy. It could be a wig, <laughs> it could be a wig, who knows. That's what I'm saying, it literally looks like an old Halloween wig that's been like left in the top of your closet for fucking years. I could see and, that. Um, it does not look good. I see him going bald in the future just based on the sheer amount of shit that he's doing to his body and his hair particularly. Yeah, bald Chris Chan will be a, a very funny Chris Chan. Oh, man. Him wearing like a little, uh, uh, what the fuck's the name of that rock star who always wore a bandana? He was bald as fuck. Yeah, uh, he, he had that show and everything, dude. What's his name? Um, You know his Brett name. Brett Michaels? Yeah. Axel Rose? Yeah. Yeah, where he'll have like that fucking bandana where he looks like a patient of some well, kind. So Brett Michaels, you saying? Or is it him or Axel Rose? That's the only two I can think of. But I, don't I think, think it's Axel Brett Rose. Michaels. Yeah, Brett Michaels. Okay. Yeah, the Rock of Love guy. Yep, that's the guy. That's the guy. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, I I'm gonna look forward to that arc. And then I so we got Chris out of the way, and now I feel mm -hmm. like Kiwi, we got we got to show the people <laughs> what they probably yeah what they probably came here to see the. Uh, Maybe the single greatest, like I said, the greatest thing to ever hit YouTube. Yeah, it's it's beautiful. If you haven't seen this yet, just we're probably gonna be pausing a lot because there's a lot to take in here. But just know the the leading up to this, you guys saw the video of Cyrax running out with the bat at the beginning of the stream. Well, this is finally the body cam footage of what happened afterwards when Cyrax actually got arrested. We're gonna get to hear what it sounds like when the police put the cuffs on him. And my friends, this is gonna be the most glorious sounds to ever hit your fucking ears it's honestly i just watching the intro that we did for the show i was so hyped for this moment it's beautiful it really it is, is smoke jesus christ okay <laughs> all right we're gonna play this all righty it heats up fast too, chat shout out to william again for getting this what a goat <laughs> yeah. Goat. Yeah. Everybody loves William, dude. Shout out William Boy. Back in please. It's already more knocking than Chicken Andy did. Hello. Hi. Back in please. Oh. Is Chance still here? Yeah. Can we speak with him? Yeah. Chance. Yeah. I don't want to talk to you. Is that other guy still out there? Yep. I'm still here. I'm can, letting your here it can comes. you come in then? What's that? Can you come in then? Yep. From the second oh, they tell him he's yep, arrested. Same. My God. He okay. takes it well. 
Oh, good, man. good. Hey, Chance, we're going to be turning around put your hands behind your back for me. Why? What's that? Why? Because you're under arrest. Why? <laughs> Who is it? Can I talk to you guys for a minute? What? What? Stop, Chance. What? Relax. Calm down. Mom, please. Relax. Stop. Relax. Calm down. I'm scared. Relax. I know you are. Mom, please. Relax. Don't scream. Chance. So, you know, he's begging his elderly family to free him, yes. first of all. Ed, knock him out! Stab him. <laughs> Stab him or something! I don't fucking know! Get me out of here! Like, he... This is what happens when you're sheltered your whole life, when, you're, when your grandma or your mom, whoever you live with, has just, like, enabled you to believe that anything you do, you'll get away with if you just run to her. Well, look, now he's in a position where he's fucked. And, yeah, he's been into jail before, but I think the last 10 years have made him even more delusional than he probably was back then. But look at him here. This is a man who has relied on his grandma to take care of everything for him, and now that it comes time that it's something she can't take care of, look at the fucking way he reacts, bro. This is the big, tough guy that we always see on these streams the big man that's gonna beat the fuck out of anyone who steps foot on his problem mm -hmm. well these the, cops the... did and he <laughs> and he re he acted exactly how everyone thought he would this is the protector of the family right here he yes. came out onto that lawn to protect them and now he's fucking he's absolutely begging two elderly people to catch charges he's ready to hop in that fucking van and oj simpson it out of there dude like, he is so ready to go on the run right now if it gets yeah, him he, out of if, this if very temporary... Drive, you are so right. If he yeah. knew how to drive, he would have been across state lines already. If, if, been... Sally, if Sally would have been like, hey, let's go, Chance, or they just, like, fucking did something nuts, he would, not, he'd be at it. I am. I, I didn't even think of that until you just brought it up. You're 100% right. I can't believe they didn't do that. At least go to, like, a... I mean, they can't afford a hotel, and they definitely don't have any family that will take him in, so I don't know where else they would have gone. Um, yeah. I mean, later in this call, bro... Um, I just want to give the people some, uh, some what's it called? Like, just a, a follow-up here on everything we're talking about. Uh, before this, there's also body cam footage of them talking to uh, Cyrax and his family's landlord. And the cops are even telling her, like, you know, you should tell them they have to cut the internet off. But the cops really just telling them, I would evict him. I would evict him. And the landlord's mm -hmm. like, I don't want to evict him. But can I give them, like, an ultimatum to tell them to shut the internet off? And so that's what she does. She did give the family that ultimatum. And when Cyrax is in the back of the cop car later in this video, he's sitting here saying, like, our landlord said that if we don't have the Internet taken off, then she's going to evict us. We don't have anywhere to go. I'm like, that's not the fucking issue. Just take the Internet off. Like, and you won't have to worry about that. But no. You, the, you, the, the, oh, man. They've literally they've literally made it to where. This poor landlord who has no stake in any of this internet drama now has one of the most infamous locations on the internet. <laughs> she does. She now has one of the hottest spots for scrappers in all of Act. <laughs> <laughs> completely, completely with the un like without her power, like no, no. <laughs> I can't even word this right, bro. Like, there, there was no um, questions given to her about, like, hey, is this cool? Like, it doesn't matter. This is happening now. Why is it happening? Two words. Chance Wilkins. Mm -hmm. It would be so different if they owned this property and weren't making some random old lady's life so difficult. But, and it uh, sucks, too, bro, because she's clearly, she's clearly, like, she don't want to evict him because Sally's a good renter and all that. The problem mm -hmm. is it's chance, and the cops tell her, well, there's really nothing we can do here. I think you can evict a single person, but they told her, they were like, we'll just call Adult Protective Services. You know Cyrax saw that video of the cops saying all that? Mm. And he responded on Facebook saying, like, Akram PD, beware. People just know they're all corrupt, these motherfuckers. <laughs> like, so, of course, even when like telling people the absolute truth of what's going on and what they should do to Cyrax, it's like, no. I should be able to make my music, chill with my fans, do my thing. But it's like, oh, God, he's lost. He's lost this fuck. Mm -hmm. And I think that he will have to be mentally evaluated for all of this uh, by the uh, courts. I think it'll, it, yeah, only I think hope it'll be mandatory. Mean. I, I, I hope so. That. Yeah, right. I, I'm praying. I'm praying. Because if they put, if they do it, like he, he needs to be in a home or in yes. fucking jail. He's a danger to society. It's he shouldn't be around. Yeah. No. His own neighbors, his own fucking neighbors, joined the protest. <laughs> <laughs> joined the protest. <laughs> like this is this is when your own neighbors are like, yeah, you know, you are a fucking child predator, Chance. You should figure it the fuck out. Like you really should. This is this is absurd.
I love how Ed is a proper member of the community because they all seem to lack shirts. Like they don't own they a all singular do, right? shirt. <laughs> they're one of those neighborhoods. They're, mm-hmm. Yeah, they're, they're all working on their trucks without shirts. They're yeah. all like just doing like, you know, they're welding and shit out front, doing <laughs> random stupid shit. Most of them are probably on meth doing this shit at like 3 a.m. Um, we was yeah. just having a crawfish boil when this boy ran out the door with a bat and... We were having that crayfish. We had that crayfish <laughs> boil down now when that boy ran out and he was hitting him with the baseball bat. Oh, you should have seen that boy run. Um, but yeah, bro, it's uh it's it's some crazy shit that happened on Lloyd Street. And this video, it, it just makes it so it makes you realize just how much crazier it was. This was this is such a lit video. Oh man, it, and it only gets better, right? <laughs> What has he been arrested for? Assault. What? They were arrested. They were on our. Can I? Can I show you something? I want. Uh, we've been told that yeah, we can protect ourselves here. Yes, okay. we can. We we got a witness that, that said. No, that listen. I have. Let him talk. Can I? We we've got a witness. One of your neighbors that said that can I can I, can I show you? Can I show you something, Jesus, sir? Before you arrest me, can I please show you something? What are you, you going to show me? <laughs> These guys threatened me. Keep keep okay. pulling. I have proof. Okay. Can you imagine? He was like, officer, please don't arrest me. Can I show you something? He's pulled down his pants, started whipping out his cock. And he's like, Fuck you. Fuck you. Like he usually does. And the cops probably just ran out the house being like, ah, fuck this guy. We're not arresting him. Cyrex would have totally won if he had done that. <laughs> Sally's like, Chance, stop. He's like, no, no. I- <laughs> yeah, he is. He is fucking frantically trying to show them all the evidence that he's been showing them for the past seven years. <laughs> but like, it's not it's not time for that. It's time for it's time for the big house, Cyrex. No, mom, you don't understand. I, I have to, I have to do this. I have to show them. They did this to me. They did this to my, my toady. <laughs> like, I, I, I can't even imagine. This could have gone so poorly if Sally wasn't there. Like, Chance, calm down, calm down, yeah, little buddy. Yeah, even then, and even then, bro. Like he, she was like, like you said, she was the one thing really calming him down, and he was still, still going fucking crazy. Mm-hmm. And I love how that dog is barking, but you can easily decipher Chance's screams as yes. being different. Yeah. Even though they're animal like. Yeah, he uh it's just both of them. It's Ch- Chance and the dog usually have screaming matches, so the dog just mm-hmm. thought one of those was going on. That dog knows to stay the fuck away from Chance. He does. He does. Rugrats, Rugrats is a smart pup. I don't think Rug- Rugrat is allowed upstairs, and Sally's like, oh, it's for you know Rugrat the bed bug the, reasons. <laughs> Rugrat is the only member of that household who people don't like want six feet under. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, every, I'm pretty sure everyone would love to have a Rugrat in their house, but they definitely wouldn't love to have a Chance or an Ed or a Sally. That poor fucking animal, dude. After hearing the allegations of what he did to Bandit, I guarantee you, <laughs> Sally keeps an eye on that fucking dog, bro. He's, oh man, dude, he's the worst. He's the wor- there's two things. There's two things in, in the world that people will absolutely want your head for, and it's when you mess around with kids, and it's when you mess around with animals. And Cyrax yeah. is known to do both of those things. So, when, is it surprising why people hate him so much? No, not at all. Mm-hmm. It's uh. Now, and you hit the nail on the head. He's committed two of the cardinal sins of the internet, and he's willing to cam up. Um, you know, that's just like, he's just a thumbnail-creating machine. So, you know, like, there are so many good pictures of him, so many, like, fucking just memeable moments from this guy that it was only a matter of time, even if he didn't do any of this shit, that he'd get, like, the Brian Peppers treatment, you know? <laughs> yes, um, that's true. That's true. So, but to top off all this on top of it, then you're just going to have people, like, not giving a fuck, disregarding every moral they had. Yeah, if uh, Cyrax, if Cyrax would have stayed clear from, like, touching, or no, he didn't, I'm not, oh, he did touch Blind Billy, what am I talking about? If Cyrax would have stayed clear from being, like, a pedo and shit, he probably would have gone unnoticed until people noticed he looked like Asmongold. (laughs) Yeah. And then then he would have became a meme, and then that would have been it, but no, he had to be a fucking weirdo. Dude, I guarantee you if he was a regular human, Asmongold probably would have had him out there on stream, promoted him and shit, but, like, he's just a deplorable, uh, you know, filthy internet cretin, and I know Asmongold is like, I don't like to shower and shit, but this is a whole nother level of yeah. filth. Cyrax, hey, they have that in common. Him and Cyrax, yeah. neither of them like to shower. <laughs> They rip on Asmongold so hard for that shit, dude. But in Cyrax, 
as they should, as they yeah. fucking should. Yeah. But we can we can jump back into this. I know people want to hear more screaming. I don't blame them. I don't blame yeah. them. Screaming is beautiful. It is. I I really just I'm thinking about setting this as my alarm in the mornings. Yes. You still can't go go out onto a sidewalk. Listen, you know, head. listen, sir. I, can I be yeah, honest? Listen, sir, can I be I'm honest with you for a minute, please? Please, sir. Can I please just go? I swear to God. Sir, this is fucked up. Sir, can I please? Sir, can I please? Sir, can I please? Can I ask you something? We've been asking you guys for help for a long time. I understand. We've I've been out here dozens and dozens of times. Sir, listen to Ed sparking that lip. He he really is fucking wanting to fight with these police officers. Can I please? Uh, please can I can I make a deal with you, please, sir? You can't make deals, Chance. Mom. Mom. Chance. Mom. Yeah, yeah. Chance. I don't want to go to jail. I don't want to go to jail. Listen, Chance. I can't get myself. Chance. He's resisting. Chance. Chance. You don't understand. Chance. I understand, Chance. He's resisting. No, you don't. Chance. 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 Okay. Listen. Tell him get the fuck out of here. No. Turn. We'll tell him. Chance, turn around. Turn, turn. sir. I have been okay. trying to turn. I have been trying to help me. Ed. Help me, man. Ed. Ed. Chance, come on now. They're gonna lock me up if I help you. Ed. Help. Ed can't be locked up. How's he gonna do perks if he's locked up? I'm more concerned for Ed in this situation. Who's going to find him on the floor ODing now? Like, who's going to save Ed? Ed's at risk. <laughs> I love how they, they make it all about the other guy. And take that other guy with you. Yeah. Dude, the guy Cyrax just hit with a fucking bat? Like, of course, it's his fault, though. I don't know. I don't know. He was swinging, too, dude. He was swinging with all the fucking might his little arms could produce. That was, uh... You know, he, he came out there with some fucking force, but with the whole Ed thing, it cracks me up how, like, Ed has really taken on that adopted father role for Chance. He didn't have to. Hell, I don't even think Sally would have asked him to do that, but Ed is like, I'm down for that. I'm ready to raise this child with you, Sally. I love you that much. Like, it blows my mind that he, he would subject a himself. Place to do drugs indoors. <laughs> and this, That's it. this was better than the shelter. This is better than Tone's Fent Shack. What would you rather have? One Cyrax in your house or like 70 Tony Chases sitting around you? Dude, I don't know. I would If I was a habitual drug user like Ed is, I would not want cops sniffing around my business that much. Hey, you know, I'm trying the, to cook some shit. And... I'd pick the 70 Tony Chases too, but if I was tweaking all day, they'd probably have me paranoid as fuck. Mm. Ed is really like becoming a meme, right? Yeah, we like, need. We I need a. I need a new uh, Ed in Wilcow Wrestling. Definitely, like, like, you know, we um, he's just this crackhead Ed seems unstoppable. Yeah, man, I I love this look that he has tonight. I, it's like that card that people that, that was made of him, Night of the Living Ed. That shit is just, it's too good. His reaction to all this, Ed is just chef's kiss. <laughs> Why? Can I please talk to you? Can I make a deal with you guys? Help. That's all I want. I have, I have skills. I have this sick yes, Apple shoes. Watch I can <laughs> give you guys if you let me go. I have yeah. this golden totem upstairs I can give you. I have a yeah. broken ocarina I can give you. Just please let me go. I have a Hot Wheels car worth more than your house. Please, I'll trade it to you. Take my please. take my Horizon 5 account, please. I'm a, <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, I'm a racer. I'm, a, I'm, I'm like a top ranked racer on there like you know he's important what what deal is he gonna make that's what he thinks he thinks he's gonna sit down with these cops show them 14 hours of streams that he's been on for the past couple years and they're gonna be like oh my god he's right <laughs> it's all their fault like mm. that's what he yeah. wants that's one of these days these cops are gonna walk in and he's gonna be like do you know who i am I'm yeah, a famous right. youtube personality i'm worth millions of dollars that have been stolen from me and you know, you guys should just get out of here because what you don't know. It? What the fuck is it, Q, with the locals thinking they deserve all this money? Tony Chase, Papa Chu, Cyrax. Um, they all it's cause money. It's because they They're all don't poor. put... Yeah, they don't put any effort into their fucking content. And when people come along 
and put effort into their content and make it funny and not just like have people hate you for having such shitty takes. That's their issue is like they I don't know. They they see the success of like other videos that people do on them and they figure, oh, that's my money. Exactly. You know? Yeah. Like Cyrax, he always Cyrax thinks that like anyone who any stream he's ever been on, you know, when he jumps on like Marty stuff, when he jumps on anyone's stuff, he thinks, hey, everything that anyone makes under the Cyrax name, that's mine. Tony mm -hmm. Chase and Papa Chu, on the other hand, just think that the government owes them a lot of money. So I guess that's different. Well, uh, they have their reasons. But Tony yeah. has his reasons. <laughs> Tony has his reasons. Papa I don't Chew's. know. Papa Chu's like, you know, Papa Chu, he's a, what was it that people are calling him? Lord of the tides. Yeah, he was the Lord of the sea. Papa Chu, the, the, the ruler of the ocean. Um, I I don't know. I I expected Poseidon, to, or uh, what's his name? I expected the Lord of the sea to look more like Aquaman, like the cartoon mm -hmm. Aquaman, though, you know, not like Jason Momoa Aquaman. But now, apparently, the ruler of the sea is some like fifty-eight-year-old war veteran with missing teeth, who's also batshit insane. So, like I said, the world's a crazy place. The yeah. unknown is scary. He's basically Namor. Like it's really <laughs> impressive. Namor. It's uh, he, he. I heard he's being cast in Black Panther three. <laughs> <Sorry, laughs> oh, he'd be amazing he be as amazing. like some sort. Of, oh, dude, I don't even know what what superhero role would he play perfectly. Who, Papa Fucking, Chew? Yeah, Papa Chew. He's he's some sort of villain. He'd be perfect. Kang, probably. <laughs> the Council of Papa Chew? Yes, yeah. I mean, if we're going okay. DC, if we're going DC, he could be fucking dark side. It's like, yeah. okay, all my people, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Earth. We're going to go to Earth. We're going to go to Earth. And we're going to take out all the white superheroes. Every one of them. Superman, <laughs> Batman, his, his Batman suit is black, but under there is a white man. Like he would, he's, he would be hilarious as a villain. He's got all of his uh, Tophiaid parademons <laughs> yeah. just flying around. Yeah. Oh like, my god, that! All right, big. we probably better play this. Yeah. Sorry, we got off track, guys. I can't. Just wear your just shoes. it off. I want to know some. Ah! Can't ah! stop. Tighten them up. Stop. Please, sir. Can I talk to you for a minute? Please. I have something to show you. Well, I'll say it. These people made death threats towards me, and I have proof. I have proof yeah, that one of you show you when they made on me tonight. I, yeah, my uh, partners. Is said, she no, like inspecting that. his handcuffs? Okay, but there's there's no way for us to prove that. I that think she does. Say that point. I think she does. Sally does say at one point that like yeah, something about the handcuffs. He's very small. Yeah, she's fucking, like, either... I doubt they cuffed him in front because I saw them cuff him in back, but she's, like, right there. She's that blob. She's doing yeah. something. <laughs> she, you, can, you can make out who Cyrax is from the visible bald spot mm -hmm. through the blur, and Sally is that, like, lump on the bottom there. <laughs> I know you've been playing Bloodborne. She looks like one of the witches of Hemwick, bro. Yeah, well, I was playing Bloodborne until I lost my save thing, and now I'm back to, like, before where I was, like, I saw, I'm like, ah, whatever. I jumped back on Elden Ring, and that's where I finally mm -hmm. beat Godfrey. Um, we, we, I, we keep accidentally going off on tangents. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we probably better get through this. Okay. So we have to go. Mom, get my phone and show them, please. We're going to tell them to leave. Okay? Get my phone. Mom, get, get my phone and show them. He has the right to be on the sidewalk. No, no, that's, that's our sidewalk. Yeah, that's Mom, call Karen right now. She paid taxes hey, for that sidewalk. Hey, call Karen right now. Anything in your pocket, Chance? Uh, yeah, yes, she is. No, can, 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 no, can, can we stay here and talk? Can we stay here and talk? Can you make him leave before you take him out? We'll, we'll make sure that he's okay. Okay. We don't want this on on camera. I would have pressed Ed hard. Because this is what they're doing. We can't stop that. Yes. I would have pressed Ed so hard. I would have been like, sir, you need to calm down. Yes. He doesn't. <laughs> that's our sidewalk. That's our sidewalk. It's like, dude, it's 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 the city sidewalk. And secondly, Sally, he's screaming, we don't want this to be recorded. Well, I want to welcome everyone to Too High for Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> and sucks to suck, Sally. Like, what, what do you want? It's like, like, you know, this is what happens. Um, but I, I wanted to make it known to people that, like, the cops, obviously, they're not, they're, like, this isn't being recorded for our entertainment, obviously. It's being recorded for proof and all that type of shit. 
So sometimes you got to listen pretty closely, but you can hear Sally start to talk to them about putting Chance in his own cell because she's afraid of him being in other ones because he's too small. That was one mm. of my favorite little things to notice here. Yeah, she's like a man of his stature. You know, his a stature. Man of his stature. <laughs> They would have put him in there. He would have fucking been running the AB by the end of the month, bro. Like he, <laughs> he'd be down for that lifestyle. Putting in some work. You can. Yes, you can. <laughs> Mom, please. Hey, Motivational don't speaker right Rex. Please tell somebody to stop this. There's nobody nobody's gonna stop. stop. They gotta take you no matter what. Anybody steps in, they're gonna take them too. I don't know where his shoes are. Yeah, I love that little noise. <laughs> yeah, it's like uh one of the three stooges like, ooh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> pokes him in the <laughs> eye. Pokes him in the eye. Yeah, yeah, poke and then slaps him in the fucking back of the head. <laughs> Turns around and fucking smacks the other one. That's exactly what Cyrax is getting into now. Fucking curly Cyrax. Can you get one of my slippers? No, Mom, please help me. They gotta force Mom, the shoes on his feet. Do anything, champ. I've been telling you. Ah! Sir, Come can on. I can listen? Can get I these can... on your feet. Chance, I want to know. Chance, I want to know something, ah! please. Chance, put the slippers on. Put you don't the slippers want to go your barefoot. Feet. I don't. Ah! Please. Mom, please help me. Come on. Please save ah! me. I will. Ah! I will Chance. go to court ah! for you. Ah! I want to know something. Why didn't you? Why didn't you guys raise me before when I screamed for help? I screamed for help and you didn't do anything. I screamed for help. I don't know what the deploying the taser. I screamed for help so many times. Why? Why didn't you help us? All right, Chance, we're walking out. Mom, I love you. Thus begins the iconic footage from uh, Aware of Myself. Yeah, here we go. Now, this is where everyone's mostly seen where Cyrax is stepping out of the house, but it's so, it's so, it's interesting to see it from a different angle. Mom, I love you. I love I'll you, Mom. You. I'm not making it back from the I'll click, see you in Mom. 16 hours, Mom. I yeah. love you. Literally, okay, Josh, definitely. King Cobra spent longer in jail, and he was like, he loved it. He loved yeah, every he probably, second. Yeah, but because he was probably, like, buying bags of Doritos and shit <laughs> and making, like, crazy food cocktail, <laughs> like, food combinations in a cell. Like, wow, yo. Hey, sa- hey bunk mates. Yeah, you've lit, seen those YouTube it? shorts. Hey, Bunky, you want you want <laughs> this and that? <laughs> I have it. Oh, God, I, can you send me them? Because that sounds amazing. You, you haven't seen those? No. no I, oh, didn't dude. Know, I didn't even know Cobra was ever in jail. No, this the, I'm just referencing these YouTube shorts. This guy's always making prison food. But uh. yeah, jo- <laughs> Josh was in jail. The police report is fucking amazing. Oh my god, um, that's something why we're going to need to look into that. Yeah, dude. This uh, this is where the beginning of um the footage that we all had like previous released begins. And they're putting him up. But then there's also footage of him in the car like basically saying how the cops are wrong and shit yep that's it's all really interesting i said this is this is a hell of a watch yeah it's amazing stuff i haven't had this much fun in a long time i want to know why you did this to me chance don't say anything you're not a predator do you, do you have anything? Oh, actually, this is public. Wait, don't, don't say anything. Oh, yeah, this is public. Oh, stay, 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 I don't know if we'll end up watching the court footage. Why but like do none of these people look like they fucking shower? Like, every one of them looks like the most unkempt motherfuckers in the world. They have to. It protects them from the satellite, man. That's true. That's true. They're going to start <laughs> putting them green crosses all over their house like Papa Chew to protect them yeah. from moments like this. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to end up watching the court footage, but somebody, uh, Drader actually... Uh, a Shandy for Christ YouTuber went and filmed the chance I going. Saw, dude, yeah. Dude. So I described this yesterday on my stream, and yeah. I was I was drunk as fuck when I saw it, 
And I felt like, like I said, I felt like I did it such a good service. I described Cyrax as he looks like the incestuous child of the American Gothic painting. Oh my goodness, um, you're right. He looks, he looks so fucking funny. He's wearing his little flannel button up, his little jeans. Sally's wearing the same exact stuff she was wearing in this video here to court yesterday. Um, the Wilkins is just, they know, they, they don't know how to clean up, but they know how to clean up Cyrax because they sure as shit can't lose that fucking uh, social security check every month. So they need him in the house. Yeah. How else is, how else is Ed supposed to pay for his stuff? Oh, look who it is. That's crazy. Nah, Drader. I, dude, honestly, like you are hilarious. Um, when I made that Shaney for Christ video, I'm like, you, you are a huge help. And you getting that footage of him at the, the courthouse is awesome, man. I've been a long time fan of yours. Um, He's a Shanty for Christ YouTuber. He covers a lot of Shanty stuff, and he was he was there at the courthouse. He took that footage, man. That so, was, it was great crazy. from the bridge above, dude. See, like I said, yeah. <laughs> see inside, right? Like I said, he he looks so funny every time he's in a setting where you can tell he's just not used to. Mm -hmm. Like I don't know what would make it fun. Like I would crack up if I saw a picture of Cyrax like at a football game, or I saw a picture <laughs> of Cyrax, you know, like. I don't know. Like just, just in we just in places you wouldn't expect him to be, and Cyrax in a little flannel running across the street is definitely one of those places. Yeah, no, and what I love is how Ed is like se secret security, like secret services. He's out like five feet in front of uh in front of him, looking out. They're all looking over their shoulder like all the time on the way in. They're so yeah. paranoid. Yeah, they're afraid. That, like, I thought that if they saw the dude Drader, you were just talking about, he was the one who was filming it. If they mm -hmm. just looked up and saw him, they would have probably been like, "Oh shit, it's a sniper! Get down! Get down! They're trying to take us out, even court." Like, <laughs> they dude, look, they look right at Drader too, dude. They look right at him and act uh, like he's not there. Know. Yeah, just pretend yeah. he's not there. You know. They're so terrified because they uh, chance saw that post on the farms of people being like, "We'll have people there every day documenting shit," and they're so scared of that. Um, I I get it completely. Like that's I would be afraid too, but it's not like anybody's gonna do any. Well, I take that back, man. I, there's a lot of heat on on racks. There's a lot of heat on racks. Oh, there is. I don't man. know. If, if anybody like if they knew where he was, I don't know what they'd do to him. So, I take that back. Um this is wild. Ed is really looking like he's been hitting the gym. <laughs> that right here, right? Uh, this is a public no, sidewalk. I've tried this screw, bro. This is why they shouldn't have canceled I cops. Why did you guys try to help me when I scream for help? I don't know when, when you're you referring for to help. All the time, I you scream for help. All right, Chance, sure. over there. Yeah. Step in. I'm sorry that this happened, but I scream. When they arrest you for being a pedophile. He's sorry that this happened. Admission of guilt right there. All right, you got to go. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, well, All didn't right. you guys need me to go down to the station? No. I was no. sticking around for you guys to come and... No, we're good. Okay, but yeah, just... We... No, no. This is done. Well, technically, so. there he I'm is. here till 11. I'm going to... There he is. A man who knows his rights. A man who knows his rights. A man who took it upon himself to make a statement and was assaulted for it. <laughs> the guy said, he's. I'm allowed to be here till 11. Once he says that, the cops are even like... Okay, just don't keep tormenting him because even they know, like, fuck, he's right. He can stay, he can here. stay here. He's done yeah. nothing wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's an open and closed case, and you know that this guy, like, he is a fervent believer that Chance is a pedophile, as most of us are. And, uh, you know, they were basically, one way or another, it seems like, yeah. you know, they were, yeah, Jesus, this guy went here exactly. with a mission. He did, he did, and he had a he had the proper equipment. You know, he was ready for stealth operations. <laughs> Letting you know this is public. Okay. Yes. They need to realize that. You can't we, assault we, somebody. We told them that. Okay, yeah. okay well, the okay. law gives a fuck, so, man. So, I know, but you don't just, care about the law? Just stop engaging. With it would be so yeah, weird for a stranger I, I to use my name, like, formally. Okay. We, we explained it to him. Okay. Well, we told him. And he's, he's under arrest for assault. You understand he shouldn't have been here in the first place. Okay, well, you need to understand you need to stop protecting your child from your son. If you guys can call okay, him, okay. let me know what's going on. Or... So he'll be able to call you once he gets there. Okay, I gave him, gave him his phone number. 30, yes. I, don't, I don't know what mine is. It's okay. Number. Okay. So, all right. Yes, ma'am. Um, so, 
Here's where she talks about it. Time. Okay. And it was years ago, which is where they're getting all this information from. They're getting this old stuff. Yeah. Well, there was a nurse and they noticed a chance of stature and stuff, and they put him in a place yeah, by sure. himself. If that can be done tonight. Yeah. I mean, that's it's up to the county. We yeah, we're not going to be able to do that, man. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. He's a sorry. Year old um, man. So, court time or anything like that? What's that? Court it time? is really um, seething. Uh, we don't know yet. It's assigned by uh, smashing shit. Summit County. Yo, Ed is Ed is ready to rumble, dude. He just got done watching Money in the Bank. He's ready to go. This was the night of Forbidden Door. <laughs> oh, it was Forbidden Door shit. Yeah, he, he watched that Omega Osprey match and started throwing fucking lariats at everything he could see. <laughs> that would I would have loved for some wrestling moves to have been incorporated in all this. Ed just ran out, hit the protester with a V trigger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The one-winged angel. <laughs> yeah, one-winged angel on the top and, of the cop car. And Ed kicks out. It's amazing. Ed kicks out of the one-winged <laughs> angel. Ed kicks out. It's like, oh, my God, Don Callis starts running down the street. <laughs> <laughs> Ed, Ed, get off. <laughs> yep. He was just waiting. He's waiting. Yeah, so it's all assigned by the county. All right. right. We don't control that. But somebody um, will call, though. Yeah, I mean, I... I imagine he's going to have a bond. Look how high their grass is, bond. says Drader. Monday or something, or... Okay, okay, Alright. 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 Yeah, right. Alright, let's go. Yeah, it doesn't need to be on the books. He's not, that's not Cyrax, Take that's Shao Kahn. Oh, sure, yeah, yeah, sure. I'm just trying to, I'm just filming. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure. Thank you guys for actually doing something about this monster. I love how the cops are silent when he's thanking them and shit. The cops are kind of pissed to be out here having to touch Rex. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know it. You know it. I, I love when they're... Way. They don't even want to touch. Like I said, look at those arms, dude. There's bug bites mm. everywhere. You don't want to be... You, no. You don't want to touch mm. none of that. I lo you know, I don't know if it's in this one, but they're all talking around and one of the cops is like, yeah, this is not my night. Because he's like having to handle a lot of this. Yeah, the one cop in this video later on, but I think it's like it's it's a bit further on into it. One of the cops brings up Cyrax is like, "Sir, I these people call me and I've left the internet and they still keep calling me." And the cops like, "Well, how long have you been off the internet?" And Cyrax is like, "The past few days." And the cop <laughs> is like, "The cop is like, I've been here, I've been coming here for six months telling you to do that." And Cyrax is just like, "Sir, all I've been on is Facebook." And he's like, "Yeah, no, but still, but still, dude, like but, and Cyrax." But gets quiet. why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you help him when he was begging for help? Yeah, that's that's what they keep saying. Like, well, you want to arrest him, like Cyrax, but why can't you do anything else about these cyber people? It's like, what do you want? <laughs> There's like, we, how many people are in chat right now, Kiwi? Um, almost fourteen hundred. Fuck, really? Yeah, I thought I was thinking yeah. weird. Um, but yeah, there's fourteen hundred people here who probably all hate Cyrax. And basically, what the family wants is for all of you, all of you down there, uh, me, Kiwi, anyone, anyone who's ever spoken about Cyrax in negative light, they should be the ones facing the pro like the real wrath of the prosecutor. We should be in that courtroom, us, all of us, and the satellite men just waiting to get prosecuted. Um, Cyrax yeah. and Tony finally can live in peace. That's what they want, though, genuinely. They think that everyone who's ever, like, talked bad on Cyrax, all these people need to be brought to court and all that, and they don't realize it's not going to happen. You you and your family constantly calling the cops, doing all this, all it is is making you look worse. And when situations like this happen, they're, of course, going to be like, yeah, we're not going to have any more tolerance for this because you just assaulted somebody after all the bullshit you guys pull every week. And then they want to, again, go and blame the trolls and all this. So I don't, uh, I don't know why, you know, me and my massive organization that i'm clearly the snake's head of oh are, yeah you at and the, the stand farms? you and the kiwi yeah. farms isn't that insane that i i don't even i don't even like cover him for a, a month and he's like yeah kiwi tapes is kiwi farms i did some research on him <laughs> and i think just, he just he just probably saw the thing he's probably heard about the kiwi farms for years and yeah. a few months ago, he mentioned you, like, in passing. He was like, oh, and I got Kiwi tapes on YouTube. And then one of these days, he was probably scrolling down YouTube and saw 
Kiwi tapes. And it just, something in his little brain clicked. And he was like, dropped his controller in slow motion, like the end of the usual suspects, but it's like the, the coffee cup. And he's like, oh my God. He runs to his fucking computer, looks it up. Kiwi. And then he looks up Kiwi Farms and sees <laughs> Kiwi. And Cyrax is like, hey, I got him. I fucking got him. Like, this is them. They're the same person. They both have the same first name. Like, holy shit. That's all the research yeah. he did. And he was convinced that you, you, one man, is the entirety of the Kiwi Farms. So congratulations to Kiwi. <laughs> congratulations for running one of the most controversial websites of all time. He must have seen me, um, he must have seen one of my old videos where I really went in on him, right? And just developed this, uh, this distaste for me. And, you know, they, they say judge, judge man by his enemies, so that's fine. I do not want Rax to like me, but for him to mention me still to this day is, is wild. You know, Smokey, there are literally fucking flyers littering the sh littering lloyd street that has Smokey's fucking channel name on it it's it's crazy uh how we've made our uh, made our way into akron without wanting to be there yeah i just wanted to i wanted to talk like it's like we, we dropped the tofia chew yesterday kiwi dropped the shanny video the other day like we like talking about the little cows and all that but um Somehow we got dragged to Lloyd Street ourselves. So, yeah. <laughs> that's what happens, man. Cyrax, he's a fucking, like, Cyrax is, uh, he can just, like, kind of, you know, put his hand through the rift, like, like the dimensional merge, like, Chris, I don't know where I'm going with this. I lost my train of thought. But it's Cyrax it. is, like, omnipotent. And if he, he wants people there, he's going to get them there. He is. It's, uh, it's honestly, like, you'll never, yeah, yeah, Cyrax always wins. It's like they say, you know, Cyrax always wins. And you yeah. got a report. Yeah, the and you second, got a report for that. <laughs> yeah. Hold up. The second the Chicken Andy and them pussied out, out from Cyrax's house, the title got changed from IP2 always wins to Cyrax always mm -hmm. wins. Mm -hmm. Right then and there, in that moment, the second they got back on that RV and drove away, Cyrax always won. <laughs> Every time. Question though, Smokey, uh, IP2 or CX, if you had to, it'd be like picking between AIDS and herpes. I don't know what a C CX, I see CX is, CX is like, uh, ICE's new group, you know, all the Thailand oh, people. Like, like ICE Poseidon and San oh god, no, they suck, they fucking suck. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, I've, I've said it before, the only reason I watch the IP2 streamers is to see them put themselves in horrible positions to where, like, it's like, any normal person out there just streaming, I want them to just have a good stream, have a good time, maybe have a good game, have a good time, man. Um, <laughs> have it, but for them, like for only use me blade, I'm sorry. If he's going to get drunk and walk around and say a bunch of slurs and shit, yeah, I want to see a couple punches get thrown because why not? And on yeah. ISIS streams, they run away from that shit so quick. Now, granted, so do Blade and them, but it feels much more likely. So I'd rather watch a Blade stream. For real. It's like, it's honestly two different worlds at this point. Uh, you got the ice stuff where they're doing like what we'll get into a little later if we have the time. And uh, then you've got like the fucking chicken Andy stuff where like fence being done in the back and they're going to fucking Lloyd Street and tones just tweaking 24 seven. It's just a different vibe, but it's done now. Like the RV is destroyed. So. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, it's it's and those streams like we talked, you were just asking which ones do you prefer that? Neither personally, and I think you'll feel the same way because for like the two or three minutes of like awesome, funny ass clips you'll get like every week or so, there's mm -hmm. also like hundreds of hours of like nothing but dull bullshit. And, and like, they're all I recovering from their drug use or alcohol abuse. Like, true, true. That's they, why that's what you always hear me say about Blade, bro. I'm like, he drinks on stream, people pay to see him drink. I'll argue people pay to see him get drunk. And then once he gets drunk, he ends the stream. And then the stream mm -hmm. comes back on the next day where he's starting to slowly recover and drink again. And it's like, mm -hmm. people want to see you drunk, not the process of you drinking. All, all you're doing is paying to put only use me blade to sleep at night. That's, That's all you're doing. What a great doing. way to put it. That is exactly what you were doing. Exactly. <laughs> it's like, he's not going to fucking, you, you might have 20 minutes tops. People, they, they have timers they'll set. They're like, oh, streams only last another hour when blade starts to be like, figure it out, dude. Um. You'll see him. You'll see him come up, and then he'll brutally fall. But. He did. Yeah, he did. Uh, and we're gonna talk about Blade in a little bit here too. If mm -hmm. um, we didn't cover him Blade for a few weeks here on the channel. His his girl finally broke up with him. Blade's the saddest sack of shit I've ever seen since that moment. I mean, he's always been a sad sack of shit, but now it's like, it's it's to a new level in my opinion. Um, it's almost impressive. 
It is, yeah, yeah. It's it's amazing that you can get more pathetic than Blade, um, but then you'd be Cyrax, and that's a really hard thing to get to. And Cyrax is on really a level of his own when it comes to being pathetic. Uh, Blade's mm-hmm. about a notch above. At least Blade has a car. You know, he mm-hmm. may drunk drive it a lot, and he probably doesn't deserve that car or to drive it. But at the same time, he's got one. He's got more mm-hmm. money in the bank than Cyrax. So that's a little bit better. Well, Cyrax um, kind of has a car right now. He's getting <laughs> he's a free ride. He, he is technically in a car right now. So. First time in months. Chauffeured. He's being chauffeured to a private location. Um, yeah, he's made it. <laughs> Cyrax has made it. Yeah, this is what happens when you, when you, when you're at the top. The cops will come and give you a ride wherever you want because they know people are on your head. Yeah, yeah. This is just celebrity. This is just that part of that celebrity status. Okay. Hey, Chance, tonight. Okay, so when, when all this unfolded, what, what happened? Like, what made you go outside? I was upstairs, and I, saw, I honestly thought I saw one of the guys on our property. Ed How many people did you see outside? About it. I, I only saw one guy. Okay, just the one guy? And yeah. there was that guy in that mask, the one that was holding the camera. Yep. I saw mm-hmm. him, then eight more came down following. Okay, do you think, and you think, you believe that those eight were with him? Yes, they were. They actually admitted that they were with him. Okay. Uh, and so then what happened? So you were inside your house when you observed this? Yes, I was inside, and they would not leave. Where were they, where were they at when you said they would not leave? They were... They were like right there on the front of the driveway, like not like right, like you know, like on the crosswalk right there. Yep, on the sidewalk. They were like right on there, on the thing, like right yeah. on our property. Okay. They would not leave. Can I have you had the 80 and you know, the 20 trees in the park before the 82 day? In Ohio. Okay. I went to go defend my property because I did not know. And I gave the guy a warning. I told him, like, look, dude, you better just leave me. He would not do it, so I swung the bat to get him to leave, not to harm him, but to get him to leave. Okay. And he grabbed the bat, and that's what pushed him back onto the sidewalk. And that's when he said that he wanted to press charges. This guy has been harassing me on my phone. Was there anybody else around when you swung that bat, or was it just the one person? Yes. Mm-hmm. Ed, was, Ed was on the porch watching. Okay, but I'm saying with the protesters. I don't know. Okay. I honestly don't know. All right, let's get him to uh, the... I don't know if there's intake, but let's get him, like... Little, let's get a little more action going, huh? And I don't understand why. I can't honestly say I don't understand why. I have asked him to stop. Please stop. But you just can't stay off the internet. What is that fucking noise there? Somebody turn that shit off. How do they have your all your phone numbers and stuff like that? Yo. Here's my co-host. Oh, Big Bubba got him? Oh, yeah, Big Bubba's there. But you see, Big Bubba turned his life around after the last stint in jail. He looks he, like uh, that. He looks like the jerk hop that's made for local wrestling. The big, the big <laughs> jerk hop that fights Christian. So now Cyrax <laughs> gonna have to fight him. I saw a donation earlier requesting that my character is piss tested because I've been winning so much lately. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what Jesus did to my character, but the camel clutch has been just destroying lately. You are now a six-time local wrestling champion. Uh, Perry beat I, you. You beat Perry. And then Tito cashed in money in the bank and beat you, and Tito's the current champion. <laughs> but you are now, I think, tied with Ethan Ralph for the most local championship heavyweight uh, title I'm, win. So the thing, every single win, too, has come from the Camel Clutch. <laughs> that Camel Clutch is brutal. Dude, I've actually been, like, thinking about interviewing Perry. I'm I The dude, I might be able to get in contact with the dude that runs his shit. That would be lit. Uh, that would be fucking lit. He's nuts, man. That would be so interesting. If we got him on for a show or something, hell but yeah, that's like God. that's a pipe dream. Yeah. Um. So they're transferring him into like another car because they did not want to have him in there for very long. Yeah. Uh, they requested a wagon, as they call it, and a this poor fucker. Wagon. Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the paddy wag. <laughs> Cyrax's love sense fell out. He's been doing a different kind of streaming lately, tubes. Oh, Kiwi, can you pause it for a second? Yeah, absolutely. I, I know people want to see this, but my, my mind's kind of just thinking now. Like, if, we, if you did manage to get Perry Caravello on, like, I feel like we'd have to start, like, just you interviewing him regularly. And hold on, let me put down my camera. I'd go in, like, the other, I'd go in the other room of my house and walk in just screaming, like, fucking Perry. <laughs> like, hold on. Yeah. Hold on, yeah, wait, just hold. like. <laughs> Who's that motherfucker on there? Who the fuck is on that call? You know Perry would just start screaming right after that. Like, oh, that would be beautiful. Dude, it would be funny if we like we're like, oh, we have a uh, Randy Callahan on the other line, and it was you, and <laughs> uh, you're just like, so Perry, how have you been? You know, <laughs> yeah. it's been about thirty years, Perry, thirty five years. I just can't quit you, Perry. I just can't quit you. Uh, where's another good? This is when they they bring him in. It's heavily redacted, but I figure we might as well like get the intake footage as well. Cause it's good, and then we'll get into like other shit if that's cool with you, Smoke. Oh, you know that's cool. That's fine. Two handcuffs, cause he's such a badass. He needs two. Yeah, look at those little arms. He, he oh no, he's just given one. that. Oh. And now they say bald too. You know, you should get in the squad car with Cyrax. Like they say. Too, yeah, you fucking Ryback looking bastard. <laughs> um, Ryback. <laughs> <laughs> They say that uh, the officer like wiped down the seat in his car after Chance Who are they? left. A bunch of internet yeah, boys have been harassing me on the years. internet. They've been harassing me and my family for on years. On the internet, though, it started on the internet, yes, uh, but then it escalated into real life to where they were threatening my family. Oh, uh, well, well, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Some nice slippers you got on, Chance. Yeah. You had dope kicks, bro. And yeah, then nice look at this guy. <laughs> He's like, wow, look at this thing, man. Like, holy <laughs> shit, I don't want to be him when I grow up. I that's what him. that's what Drader was saying. Drader was like, let me tell you something. Uh, and I think he keeps up on the rack stuff, but I haven't seen him cover it much. He's like, let me tell you something. To see him in person does not, it's like a, he's like, it's like a totally different feeling. You're looking that's at like, a human being that's so never weird. been produced. Yeah. Every yeah. single person who's seen Cyrax up close says the same thing about them. That's yeah. that's wild. Uh what what blows my mind, and I don't know if the measurements are accurate, but intake was like, hey, this man is five foot two, 160 pounds. 160 that's, bull yeah. shit. Bull fucking shit, Cyrax. I mean, I think I said that last week. If that's true, he's a fat little Cyrax, but I don't think that's I don't think that's the case. He's got to be like one twenty. See, even yeah. the dog agrees with me. He's like, nope, nope, <laughs> no way. He's one sixty. There's no way that he weighs that much, but he did look taller than I thought he was. So uh, I don't know what to think. I maybe he is five feet. At he's least, an enigma, like, bro. He's an enigma. Yeah. He's unknowable. You're you're right. You're <laughs> completely right. Step on in, man. He's like a. I <laughs> touched me. I just want to say that I'm sorry about all of this. All yeah. I was trying to do was protect my Smile family. fades yes, away. Sir. Take those steps off for me right quick. Yeah. That officer's like, I shouldn't be laughing. This guy, he's got problems. Yeah, I touched him. All right, go ahead. Car five. I just don't right. understand why. You work in the hospital? Uh, no. no. You work in the hospital? No, all right. <laughs> Lock the fucking door. Yeah, just, <laughs> in, in, in the cage you go, Chance. <laughs> we're just we're just trying to make small talk, man, because we're we feel very uncomfortable, you know. Like we see awful, awful shit every day, like murders, but uh we're really uncomfortable, man. We're just keeping it real with you. <laughs> yeah. And we see some shit, but nothing like this. Yeah. And it's like I said, he's like a real life cryptid. It's like a literal um fucking thing from ohio that is just mystical and rarely comes out of its uh, abode 
And now they've captured it. They're sending it off for research. Yep. <laughs> tagged him and tagged him, boys. Um, today is not, not my day today. Oh, you see not it? Not my day not, today. Not my day today. Indeed it is not, brother. <laughs> yep, mute so that we can talk shit. Everybody <laughs> muted on their, their body cam. Okay. What a freaky everyone looking. Muted, everyone muted. Look at his gay little slippers. Look at his gay little slippers. Oh my god, what a loser. <laughs> his slippers were Demon Slayer themed. Did you see yeah. that? I bet you he doesn't even play Demon Slayer S. Like, oh my god, what a fucking dork. Like, did you see his fat grandma too? Like, oh! <laughs> These it's like, probably having a field day. <laughs> it's a literally like they've purged a nest of goblins. And, like, fucking, they're just all out on the streets now. It was such a crazy thing, because you never see them outside, like, ever, right? Uh, not in the daylight. It's very rare to see racks in the daylight. Uh, even anywhere in public, it's always a treat when he no, went scary. to be... That's just like a feral yeah. animal. If you see it out in the daylight, you know it's got rabies. Yeah, for real. But I guarantee you these guys are going home and they're going to be like, Honey, do I have a story for you? Yeah, <laughs> I got a story for you. I uh, there's this guy, right? There's this guy, this little pedophile. And they're like, oh, Chance, yeah, you talk about him every other night, honey. <laughs> so, honey, after I took after I took ten years off of CM Punk's career, allegedly, I uh, I ran into this guy tonight, and he's just man, hills have eyes looking. <laughs> Fuck CM Punk. Yeah, this is not Fuck design. CM Punk. Fuck. I can't believe he calls himself the best in the world. Yeah, the best That's in like, the world. I ain't getting into it. I ain't gonna get it because I'm not. Then I'm gonna go on my, my tangent about how pro wrestling's fake and CM Punk makes it even faker. But well, like I said, that's for another. Yeah, for another yeah that is. That's for a low cow WrestleMania right there. Yeah, yeah. This all is heavily redacted. Oh, there we go. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's a lot of it's redacted, so you'll have that happen. That Cyrax is yelling. Now we get to see a good look at him, because it's lit up. I wonder if he had to, like, squat and cough. <laughs> oh, man, the cough, the cough who had to deal with that. You're not smuggling Ooh. styluses in here, are you, boy? <laughs> <laughs> He's smuggling in a smartphone so he could go on the internet and go live <laughs> and talk shit on everyone. It goes goes on Marty's panel from the jail cell. <laughs> had to perform some acts to get a phone. Uh, I, I showed up and I showed out, and they <laughs> put me behind bars because I'm so fucking dangerous. What are you? Who are you? Who are you? This dangerous? I'm now. I'm starting to go into Tony Chase territory with it. Mm. Who are you? Are you, do you own John Deere tractor or do I? Like, I'm, God, real I'm real talk serious. though. Real real talk. How long until he's holding the pocket? What you mean? Yeah, like he's someone's prison wife holding his pocket, oh, you know? Uh, no one. Like I said, I know they always say the prison dudes, you know, when they get in there, every one of them would run away from Cyrax. No one wants Cyrax as their prison bitch. I don't know, dude. I might have him around just so that he could, like, look menacing. Like, so put him like, on a, yeah, like a pit bull. Like, like, yeah. like, if you're one of the dudes, like, trapping out of that shit, you just have Cyrax on there just going up to people. <laughs> Doing that bark that he did at Marty the one time. <laughs> For real. <laughs> you got to protect your family. We're your family, Chance. We're your family. You got to protect We're your us. family. He, he turns around his eyes wide and next thing you know, he's yelling at people. Get away from my family. Oh, They're look at that. My family. Look at that gaze. Yeah, this is a place that he knows he doesn't want to be. Yeah, this this is the place where people like him don't fare so well, huh? <laughs> um, I think that's what he's afraid about is because that he's a very very well known labeled pedophile. Ooh, so like I he's mean, like I will not I survive. Know, yeah, I guess I just assumed that no one in there would even know who Cyrax is, but I mean it is accurate. I feel like mm. word does get around. I mean, fuck, like you brought up, there's flyers on the streets <laughs> pointing people to a bunch of YouTube channels, like mine, yours, William Glory holds. Like people, yeah. like people, they want they want others to know. So I bet they probably do. Dude, back back when I first started making Rax videos, I put his face over like an Aryan Brotherhood gang member for uh, a fucking photo. It was funny, and I had this guy in the comments being like. 
boy, you don't know shit about prison. You don't know about the work these guys put in. You don't know about their lives. Quit disrespecting before you get got. And I'm like, I looked at his profile pic, and I'm like, yeah, nah, dude. Like, what? You're it's kind of crazy. I don't, I don't get no types of cool comments like that. You know what comments I get? <laughs> an hour ago, literally an hour ago, about 20 minutes before this stream, I got a comment on my only use me blade end of the RV trip. Guess who mm -hmm. the comment was from? It was from Jacob14. That fucking pedophile. what? And he was like, "This wouldn't have happened had I still been on the RV, haha." -ha. And I wrote back, "Quiet down, fourteen. The only difference is that if this would have happened when you were there, the RV would be filled with so much more crystal." And then he deleted the. <laughs> I fucking hate that guy. I'm like, shut up. Like Ch Big Chungus, that guy who was with him last week, commented on my video. He was cool. He was cool. So I was like, right, I'm not gonna be mean to him. But Jacob, fourteen, that fucking pedophile. Fuck that guy. Yo, that is fucking hilarious, man. You had you had Jacob fourteen, the pedophile, and then you had Big Chungus in your comments section. It's always on the IP too, this because people oh. want to clarify stuff that I'm like, it doesn't need clarifying. They're all a bunch of degenerates anyway. Like, I like, I don't know. I don't know. That'd be That'd another be... interview to do, Blade. If we could Blade? ever swing it, he'd want money though. I wouldn't give him any fucking money. He's a dog tosser. Yeah, rapist. Yeah, yeah. He's a he they say, broke and they say you have to say alleged, but it's on fucking camera. It's on, it's literally on camera. Whatever. I, I, yeah, yeah. It's it's pretty uh it's pretty like questionable. All of it's very weird. And then the whole like cuck thing. I'd love to talk to him about that. <laughs> we we have to cover that next. We have to I wanna talk about yeah. the blade cuck thing yeah. so much. Blade got cucked so hard. He always does that fucking alcohol. Man. 1400 people thank you guys so much for stopping by i see all your super chats i see all your membership gifts yeah we'll we'll get some of them after uh, we get done covering old cyrax here you guys are fucking awesome we should give william no we got william's uh william's channel posted up in the link before yeah yeah and again we'll tell people like yo if you like footage like this you like seeing like the what the cops see of cyrax William Gloriol's channel may be the greatest thing in the world. I'm telling you, he's every every time William posts a video, you know it's going to be something lit because it's going to be the cops going up and seeing what Cyrax is doing. Yeah, and a big shout out to you as well, man. Like you got a lot of great archive footage. Facts, so, facts, uh, Cyrax and friends, man. All like any Cyrax archive channel, man. You guys are doing the Lord's work because you know how real. Like, his channels come and go. Like it's, it's like I said, yeah. the Lord's work. Yeah, we really do have a crazy little community, and the fact that William he had to jump through some hoops for uh to get this footage, so we really? applaud him. His channel is uh up there; it's pinned, uh, and you know we we hell appreciate him. We hell appreciate him. He's Facts. Been putting in a lot of work. It's man. Yeah, I do see all you guys. There will be no scamming. I swear to God. Yeah, we won't only use me blades. You no worry, no worry. <laughs> Yeah, he's like, all you three, you know, he went off on his $3 donators. Can you fucking believe that? He was like saying, fuck all the three. That's bullshit. Dude. You know, he did too. And this was like, I was, I was in the car at Miss Smokey when I heard this and I was like, what? He did not like Blade. Do you know he changed the fire sale prices? What? Yeah, bro. Like, I, I hear the, 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 the sadness in your voice. Cause I'm like, oh no, he's like, all right, I've been getting too lit on streams, which isn't that the point? Sorry. Um, and so it's no more triple shots. Blade will not do no more triple shots. It is now fifteen dollars for a double and tw or no, I'm sorry, fifteen for a single and twenty one for a double. No more triple. Oh shots. my god, that's fucking insane. No, bro. He's like, no, no, don't be, don't be. Oh, the TV area. Cyrax is probably looking at that side, like, oh, can I just go watch TV for a little bit? Forbidden He's door going door. in. He's <laughs> going in, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Door is opening, Cyrax, and it ain't closing till you're on the other side, bro. Get him some uh, fresh prison duds. And there he goes. That looks like a hospital. That looks yeah. like a fucking hospital. There it was. Wow. Oh boy, that's uh, that's completely different. That's <laughs> long can of worms. Crime. <laughs> long and crime. Man, yeah, that is uh. You won't see, and you know, we said, I, I said it, I'm like, this is going to be the year of the racks, but I don't know if we'll ever get content like we got this year again, guys. No, no, it's, this is, and we still got like five, six months left. 
So and like Cyrax, like I said, this is the Kiwis are this is the year of the Cyrax. When mm-hmm. like the you know the Chinese New Year, some years like the year of the tiger and all that. This is the year of the chance, the year of the Cyrax. Oh, shit. You, you cut out. Me? Yeah, I think you just cut back in though. My bad, my bad. Yeah. Year of the Cyrax, and I I don't see him slowing down. Because do you know no. he he posted a video today on Facebook saying, Don't worry, guys, I'm coming back in a few weeks back with my music and all this shit. So it's like, this won't stop. This won't stop. When I heard him do that today, he's like, the cops say that I have to get off the internet. That is not the problem. That is not the answer. The answer is you guys going after all these cyber bullies and trolls. That's the answer. And it's like, no, Cyrax, you fucking idiot. That, the cops are right. Just stay off the internet. But no, he never will. He'll never no. learn a lesson. No, unless it's like a court-ordered thing, and then even then, I don't know oh, if he'll break obey it. it. He'd break it real fucking quick. Um, He'd be yeah. itching, bro. He'd be itching to get back on some internet. He, it'd be like that episode of South Park. You got any internet around these parts? Yeah. Like got- <laughs> out in California way. Yeah. <laughs> Mom, I gotta get my way out to California. All right. <laughs> the internet's all dried up. Yeah. <laughs> That's probably what they tell him. Instead of telling him he's not allowed to use it, chance the internet doesn't work anymore for everyone. <laughs> for everyone. And Cyrix would be like, "Wow, writing the letters to Marty, <laughs> being oh like, bitch, you're a bitch, <laughs> Marty, Marty. I swear to God." Like, yeah, you'd get some great prison letters out of Rax, right? <laughs> oh. Chris Chan's, you saw Chris Chan's prison letters were crazy? Wait until Cyrax's. Let me pull up a picture of his mug shot real quick, and then we'll start reading some people. Um. Uh, yeah, I like this one right here. This is a great one. There we go. Beautiful. Surely beautiful. Okay. I got to give a, we got to give some big shout outs because people have been hella generous. First one, Entrop- Entropic Star Kid, dude. Thank you for the 10 gifts. You gave five like before the stream even started. Facts. I was in the chat then. I said thank you to Entropic then. I'll say it again. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy. Entropic's always been good to us. And uh, it's always, you know, that's why you guys, you know, show up to the pre show because you never know. You never know what's going to happen. You might become a tapist, you might get put on a registry. Thank you for I, the tenon. I finally got gift donations uh, put on. I'm going to go write in chat and see if I got gifted one. You can keep reading them. Nice. Okay. Um, then we got Rose T. Rose T gifted 20 fucking memberships, like right out the gate at the beginning. Thank you, Rose T. You're fucking amazing. You gave like 20 last time too. Tape Gang owes you a lot. I hope you're still here. I know it's been a fat minute, but uh, thank you so much, Rose T, for the 20. Facts. Thank you, Rose T. Rose the, T is always asking me to do the Cyrax yell. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> right, do it. Pay up, Nick. Now, now, now. Like that dude, Nick's, and that will never get old to me. Never get old. And I'm yeah, tired so of your fucking bullshit, Nick. <laughs> I'm tired of your bullshit. Hey, <laughs> you either show up or I show my cock and I get you banned. Oh, God, what a quote. That Which is, is it, Nick? <laughs> <laughs> that is one of the greatest quotes of all time. I'll show my cock and I'll get you banned. Which really <laughs> is. Fucking hell. I just keep dropping shit tonight. Thank you so much, Rose T. No problem, but thank you, Rose T. Yeah, big ups. I gotta give a big shout out to Keems, to Cheems Bur- Bogar as well. He gifted oh, 10 geez. memberships. Yeah. Jeez, man, you fucking goat. You fucking goat. I can't look at chat right now, but I know that Sheba, I know that Shibu's looking very deviously into into the chat room and i'm loving it man thank you for real we appreciate the hell out of you keems you're always here you're always having fun and you're a tape gang royalty bro thank you so much a big shout out to max axe max axe gifted 10 memberships as well max axe thank always you so much bro. You, max axe bro mm-hmm. thank you man yeah we hella appreciate you max um i hope that you're well i hope that we've uh been pronouncing your name correctly at least uh that Smokey has mxax and, uh, and my yeah. <laughs> in my shout outs he's mxax till, till the end of time on the show he can be maxax it, it is mxax i feel so okay. fucking bad it okay. is oh, good good <laughs> thank you i'm in forever shame and then we got to thank nikolai jv for the 10 gift as well nikolai, nikolai man, good to see yeah you back. yeah it's good to have you back nikolai your streams have been great dude um i'm happy that you're branching out and have fun with it man having Facts, fun nikolai. with it Nikolai's a, a great guy and an excellent streamer. We hella appreciate you, Nikolai. Yeah. 
There are still more gifters, but I want to get into some donos here real quick. From Barack Obama. <laughs> Cyrax is God's half-aborted jester, the avatar of failure, the deepest pities for the innocent child this specimen used to be. You're goddamn right on that one, Barack Obama. I couldn't have said it better, bro. Thank you for the a, five, you fucking goat. A man of the people. A man of the people. <laughs> Meme nabber for the five. Time for me to crack open a code red. Hope we can watch the body cam footage of Chance getting arrested. We fucking got you on that, bro. Mm -hmm. Hope you guys and Chad are doing great tonight. I think we are meme nabber, and code red is definitely one of the supreme forms of Mountain Dew. I like that pink one better, but code red definitely up there. Yeah, code red is tight, man. That's the shit I'd always ask for as a kid, and they'd be like, no. <laughs> it's it's too, ca too much caffeine. Like, fuck that. Legato, Legato Slave, thank you for the oh, super sticker. You can't see the dope sticker, but I bet you it was sick, man. Thank you for that. Yeah, thank you so much, dude. I hate that we can't pull up stickers or gifts here. Pisses me off sometimes. Wow, look at that. It's a double take. Forsaken Marksman, the Punished Goblin. We got two goblins on screen right now. Uh, and then two... <laughs> I was, I was, wait, hold up. Yeah, it is the same picture. I'm, I'm fucking high as shit. Yeah. How long do you think it'll take Rax to get charged with contempt of court when he finally goes? I give him an hour tops. Hell, an hour is too generous. Forsaken, bro, again, that is... It's, it's probably true. It's probably true. Unless they maybe slip a couple perks into whatever meal he eats beforehand, I think he will be up there and going, Your Honor, they these trolls for the past seven years. It's going to be a lot like what Chris Chan did, you know, when Chris Chan went to court and asked for his toys and shit. He's not going to know how to react in that setting, so I could easily see that happening. Absolutely. There is no way that he doesn't tell the... If he's ever pulled up there to talk about it, he'll be like, But Your Honor, you don't understand... I was defending my property. <laughs> Thank you for saving We got her. Dirty butthole, we got her, bro. <laughs> At least we've had her. I can get, because we just got Foodie Beauty and Barb Chandler. Barb Chandler in prime Snorlax form, by the way. Beautiful Barb mm. Chandler. Um, but I can, if we don't got Amberlynn by the end of the night, I'll make sure to get her, though. Thank you for that, dirty butthole. The Great beautiful, day. the beautiful, illustrious Amberlynn Reed. Fact. Who showers often. We need her oh. back, bro. Mm -hmm. We need her back. She's the our queen. <laughs> Nikolai, Nikolai. JD for the five. We've been spoiled with Primo Cyrax streams this year. Simply amazing, mm -hmm. amazing, bro. It's, there's no other way to put it. These, this has been the not only the year of the Cyrax, but the year of the Cyrax screech because we've heard it so much, and, and you just can't get enough of it. You know, it's like you're addicted. You just need more Cyrax screaming. All these clips are going to age like a fine wine as yes. well. We'll have these till the end of time, folks. Your grandkids are going to watch these and go, mm -hmm. what a weirdo. Like, what a weirdo. What the fuck? I'm going to be like, now, little Billy, your grandpappy used to cover this little guy. And yeah. he was a, a pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> Just ex I couldn't ex I don't know how you'd explain Rax to someone. I know. It's tough. <laughs> it's tough. Patrick Ed Enger with the two. Better not be screaming at Ed for help, boy. Oh, he was. Oh, he was, that. He was screaming like a motherfucker, bro. They'll take me away, too, if I do anything. That fucking crackhead, Ed. Thank this you, This is Pat. fucking bullshit. Marissa, uh, I have a dry socket. Rip Wisdom Keith and the Goblin Screamer was keeping me going that too mm. up. Yeah, Marissa, dry sockets are the absolute fucking worst. When I would have that, I would literally put galls over that. And uh, smoke my cigarette that way because they always said you can't smoke a cigarette right after. So I'd be mm. seen in for like the first 12 hours and then I'd eventually call it quits and start smoking. I've luckily never had to deal with that, but I've heard it sucks. So I hope that gets better soon. And I'm glad the Goblin Screams can bring you a little bit of happiness on this bullshit type of day with that going on. That sucks, man. I, I thankfully got to keep mine. I don't know. I'm sure I've heard it's hell. Everybody's told me it's hell. Getting them out isn't bad. It's just if you get a dry socket. Mm. That's where it just like turns all dry on you huh yep <laughs> isa with the five kiwi bro a youtuber who has over a million subs on his main channel streamed one of your videos on fatty review tech rich. usa <laughs> rich from review tech what yeah rich you're from fucking with me right i think rich from review tech is what he's watched my locale wrestling before too uh, i don't mean to downplay wow. it with q yeah no it's um it, that's that's pretty cool. That is pretty that fucking is cool. so cool. I, I always forget about Rich from Review Tech. He's someone else, though, who some people call a low cow. That is, uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, I think it's cool that this is getting out to bigger people. I've had people tell me all kinds of shit, so I don't know what to believe. I've had people that have been like, Oh, it's tapes. true. I bet you it's true. 
well, one guy was like, did you hear that Sam Hyde called you whack? And I'm like, oh, dude, no. But uh, somebody told me that. Somebody told me that fucking uh, Leafy was streaming one of my videos one time. Like, I don't know what to believe. So, uh, but that's, I've, I've heard that the, like Deadwing Dork has watched my videos before. But that is, that's kind of crazy. Well, I've always said it. Everyone has permission. If you ever want to restream any of my videos or use them in a video, mm -hmm. you can. That does, that does not go for Leafy, though. Leafy, <laughs> everyone to watch my videos. You are not allowed. Yeah, know. absolutely. Just not um, him. Anyone else? Anybody could restream my stuff too. That's why people were like, "There's the there's now a Kiwi Tapes uh, Cyrax archive," and I got asked. They're like, the the dude reached out to someone that I knew, and he contacted me, and he's like, "Hey, is it cool if he does that?" I'm like, "What do you fucking mean?" Like, of course. Um, I've never had a problem with that. Anybody restreaming? Honestly, like I see it as a plus because that's just bringing people over. So. Uh, I, that, that's crazy. That's crazy, Issa. I believe you. Mr. Muda with the five. Having dinner with my mother fella, but here, take some for celebrating the demise of the goblin. That's good, dude. I'm glad that you're having a good time with your mom. Uh, that shit's important, man. Uh, I was telling people, I'm like, I haven't been sticking to the gym, but I've been holding Mr. Muda to his gym promises, and I feel like a hypocrite. But keep at it, bro. I've started going to the gym again, bro, and I go out for a cigarette like every 30 minutes, and like everyone in there looks at me like it's such disdain. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting tar all over our fucking yeah. machines. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Rax oh needs God. counsel from Papa Chu from yeah. Wendy Ball Swing. He definitely does. Papa Chu would put some uh put some wisdom into a little guy's head. Mm -hmm. They then then Rax would be like, I have my reasons. Or defending my I loved streets, ones. I want the streets filled, <laughs> filled with free prostitutes. Free Absolutely. Prostitutes. <laughs> yeah, nothing like that. That should be on the state. That's that's on the state to provide these services to the people. Oh All right, Stinky, but thirty died, he died. Dear God. All right, Stinky, oh. bro. Thank you, man, for that. Good day, as always, lads. Good day to you, too, my friend. I hope it's a good one, man, and thank you so much. I hope you've been enjoying the show, bro, and you've been you've been no G, Stingy, bro. It's always great to see you around, man. For real, Stingy. Dude, Um, I heard that they just legalized uh, psychedelics in Australia, uh, I think for either medical use or just, like, recreational, but it's pretty insane. Good times to be in Australia, am I right, my man? Uh, it's always a good time to be an Australian. That's why Cyrax I, was trying to get out there. He wanted to trip <laughs> dick in Australia. Could you imagine if you gave Cyrax like DMT and just oh, watched God. him go? I've never like proposed that or anything. Cause like it's, it's always been a thought, but like, you know, someone could probably convince him so easily to be like, here's Cyrax. Like, this is what we call oh, a dude. crack rock. You can find them. <laughs> you can find them down at like this, in, like in like the city, or you can find them in Ed's like bedroom drawer. Um, and yeah, these things are amazing. He'd be eating them like fucking candy. I just feel like him on like a super powerful hallucinogen would be, um, it'd be nuts. He'd, he'd be freaking out. He probably wouldn't come out the other end the same. Maybe he'd <laughs> be like not. fixed. He'd be like, oh, hello, gentlemen. How are you today? I have no inclinations yeah. towards children whatsoever. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he'd be, he'd be, if he came out a different person, that'd be fucking wild. Yeah. Uh, for medical? All right, all right, yeah. That's still cool, though. That's still cool. I think it helps with, like, PTSD and stuff. Thank you for the Lost 30, Q-tip for the five of Rorschach Rack. <laughs> I'm not locked in here with you. You're locked in here with me, bitch. Yeah, Rorschach Racks, bro. Holy shit. If you would have went in with, like, a fucking mask on, screaming when they took it off. Dude, what if that would they... Psychical. What if when they pull off the mask in that infamous scene where like all the cops are crowding him and it's just chance under there? <laughs> Give me back my mask, my head stabbed hurt. <laughs> yeah, I like that. You got this all wrong. Yeah. It's like it's Batman if Batman was even cooler. I love Rorschach. <laughs> love Odie. Ginger. <laughs> Odie for the five. Hey fellas, happy Wednesday. I want Kiwi's piss check. He's been winning too much in wrestling. I bet he's See? wearing that suit for a reason. That's what you were talking about from earlier. Yeah, Kiwi's character in World Cup Wrestling is absolutely... He, he's dominant. He is, he is the most dominant champion he's ever had. And, I learned uh, a lot in my time researching Liver King. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man, the camel clutch, like I said, no one's really been breaking out of the camel clutch. It's uh, 
I said it's a devastating move, but yeah, I, I highly expect Kiwi's championship numbers to rise in the coming weeks. As we what forward. is it? What is it that uh, Rogan said to McGregor? His piss could melt the USADA cup. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And then McGregor, yeah. he gets back to him. He's like, I bet your piss could melt the USADA cup too, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Thank you. Thank you, Odie. Aleg with the 10-pound sup, guys. Greetings from Germany. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, bro. I, I hope it's good over in Germany today. It's fucking hot as shit here. Um, mm. But, man, we're having a good show, and I hope you're enjoying it, Alec. Thank you for the 10, my friend. Yeah, thank you for the 10, Alec. Uh, greetings from... Um, the UK. So, yeah, dude. Honestly, it blows my mind that we have German viewers. They're probably you. Probably you brought a lot of them over with your uh, Dragon Lord video because that was so amazing. <laughs> Some of them hate me for that. Some of them oh, fucking hate I see. me. For that. <laughs> He's a schmonson. He didn't get nothing right on him. I'm like, that's fair. <laughs> that's fair. It's all. It was all like translated. It's very <laughs> tough. It's... You don't understand. Smokey had to like get translators and shit for this. It was yeah, um, I did. I had to get someone to translate like a whole thing for me because I did not know what happened with uh, Shans and Fest. Shans and <laughs> yeah. like I needed more info on Shans and Fest. And I, I, just, I was like, I can't find nothing in English. So their their word their language is perfect for making low cow names. Yeah, like, exactly. <laughs> Cosmic chai latte for the fives. Looking at Cyrax will make any meth addict clean up. Well, ain't worked mm. for Ed. Ain't worked yeah. for fucking Ed. But no, but Cosmic chai latte. I'm pretty sure that's Mary. Um, Mary Mattingly. I think. I think that's who behind that picture. Um, um, but yeah. Uh, Cyrax, any meth addict that sees him, that's, that's, you know, I don't know. I've never done meth, Kiwi. Well. Oh, well, good. Yeah. Neither have I. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, that's the, <laughs> so I don't know. So I don't know. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Like, I've never done meth, Kiwi. To I totally <laughs> believe that, Smokey. You sound like... <laughs> me and Tone, hey, me and Tone have chilled a few times, but still, i never done no meth. <laughs> You stay away from the satellite, man. Um, <laughs> he loved crack. Happy late 4th of July, Kiwi and Smokey. I still can't believe Chance got arrested, but of course Sally ruined it. God bless America and rock and stone. That's facts, bro. God bless America. And of course, Sally ruins mm. everything. Sally's just trying to scream at that other guy. He is not a predator. That's all, that's all she can ever say. She never says, he didn't talk to any like girls. He didn't. She always says, oh, he didn't get arrested for it. She never says, like, you know, Chance never did all those things. It's just always, like, really broad, like, generalizations of the fact. Um, like I said, she Sally ruins a lot of stuff. Bro. But Sally's the that, only one that understands, you know, nobody else gets it. Like everybody else is just like, oh, Chance is a pedophile. And Sally, she's got it all figured out, right? Yeah, like she's got yeah. all the evidence to prove and otherwise. Like it's the moment I knew Sally was completely like I and I've known for for a long time now that Sally's just gonna agree with like basically anything Chance says. But the moment, man, that when when I knew she was completely gone was that one time when uh Marty was on the phone with her and he brought up the fact that she was like, you know, Cyrax eats his own like Cyrax was eating his own cum. And Sally's like, Well, I fake. think that I don't think that you thought I don't think that all of you really know what it is. Are you saying it's fake? Something like that. It's like, all right, well, now you're just trying to blindly defend him. Like, stop it. Stop it. Like, you're, like, yeah, Cyrax it's obviously like, like some sort of cr like whipped cream. Like, these trolls yeah. don't even know. She wants to, to let, uh, she's trying to make basically make it a point that Cyrax outsmarts everyone every time. Even though there's no evidence of it, it's happening. And why does she know it? Because she's his mom. You can't question that. Yeah. You know, but, uh, She's really his she, fucking grandma. He's beat her, and his grandpa, <laughs> his grandpa is her fucking abuser. So know, it's all very. You know she's got say. so much Stockholm, bro. She's got so she has intergenerational Stockholm syndrome. Well, like I said, she, someone had to take the brunt of it, Kiwi. You know what they say? You can't beat ashes. Yeah, dead ass. And I, I love that analogy because I think that you're referencing a certain. Um, you know, someone who didn't know how to use a stove so well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, the satellite man. The satellite man, the goat. Hey, guys, this is very... All right, excuse me. <clears throat> how you doing, guys? This is very important in reference to Rax. Cyrax tried to steal Tony's lawsuit money to buy a lawyer. Rax gets the death penalty. It's, mm -hmm. it's, 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 right. it's, it's as simple as that, satellite man. Yes, Rax, Rax definitely gets the death penalty for what he's doing. No doubt about it. There's no way. There's no way around it, satellite man. He's condemned. 
Thank you for the five. Um, I see the rest of you donators. I want to shout out a couple more people who gifted memberships, and then we're going to get back into the shit. Uh, thank you guys for sticking around as long as you have already. You know, we we always appreciate that. Yeah, I assume we're going long tonight. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, we're probably going to have to, honestly, because uh, there's we're still a lot of people. Topic in. <laughs> we're one yeah. topic into the show for an hour and a half in, but that's that's how we do it around here. I don't mind it. I'm st- I still got like good energy, and usually oh, yeah. around this point, I feel like I'm like on the down. I haven't smoked. Uh, I haven't smoked any bud since the beginning of the show, and now I'm about to re high. So like, yeah. You know, now now it's about that that good time of the night. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. You, I loved that stream you did last night. That shit was hilarious because like we very rarely get this view into you when you've had a couple drinks. I drank and, uh, all day. I drank like I drank blade style shit. Bro. I drank like a whole handle of shit yesterday. I was I don't know why it was just Fourth of July, and I was like, I, you know, it's Fourth of July. The weather's good. I'm I'm on drink, and I drank way yeah. too much. But I mean, shit, it was still it was a good day. It was a good. Day. Sucks that it was on a fucking Tuesday this year, though, dude. It's just like so inconvenient. It always blows when it's a lot of the time. Place. Yeah, a lot of the time you got to wake up and like with a hangover and go to work the next fucking day. So, yeah, fuck that. <laughs> yep. Um, <laughs> in this heat then, too, in this heat too, is it couldn't be anything worse. Yeah, yeah. Well, I can think of a lot of things that are worse, but it definitely sucks. It definitely sucks. Yeah, man. The heat, it, I feel like it gets hotter every year, but I'm also probably just getting a little bit fatter. Um, Dubious Dinkster, thank you for the 10 gift membership, bro. Dubious Dinkster's been around here a fat minute. Tapist family owes him a lot. And uh, all you guys that got gifted, you got access to these cool little emojis I'm spamming in chat. You're going to get to see my Nova Online video early. And uh, yeah, thank you so much, man. I always like thank the gifters. I, I can't thank the gifters enough. Absolutely. Chat yeah. loves you, like, too. It's Chat appreciates it. It's not just us. It's the other people who you're really... Um, yeah, you're looking out for, like I said, the people in chat... Make the mm-hmm. whole chat green. Everyone gets to spam their little King Cobras. And who doesn't want to spam the little King Cobra every now yeah. and again? Yeah, facts. <laughs> they it's really great... calling me off and going to work hungover. That's your workplace's fault, not yours, bro. That's their fucking fault. Yeah. They should expect uh, less lesser work on July the yeah, 5th. They should. They should <laughs> expect they should expect half energy days on like December 26th. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, they should also expect it, like you know, the the days after Memorial Day weekend. I mean, shit. Me and Kiwi, <laughs> me and Kiwi, it took like a week off after Memorial Day weekend. Probably drank so goddamn much on YouTube. Um, like fuck, God, man. We got yeah. I I swore to myself never again, never another tequila stream. Well, you told me. See, before we went live here, Kiwi, me and Kiwi, uh, we always go over what the topics for the show. And he told me he's like, I'll be right back. I gotta get a drink. And I thought he was about to whip himself up like a. Like a freaking tequila, like something with tequila. No. He came back here, like oh, I got myself a coffee, and I was like, "Oh, yeah. all right." I, th- I thought we were doing a drunk stream, and I was about to run over to the fucking liquor store real quick. <laughs> oh, dude, no, it was it was getting like I was drinking way too much there for a little while. I watched yeah, the streams might, back, and I cringe I'll, so hard. I'll propose I'll propose this that maybe episode twenty five, maybe episode twenty five, oh. we'll reconsider it. We'll see. Do we we'll do see. episode twenty just because of the? To make up for 10, episode 10. <laughs> what, drunk? <laughs> yeah, and you know, episode 10, just unfortunate. Well, I'm thinking of, I'm, yeah, that's actually a pretty good point, yeah. I'm thinking of, like, for the special ones, like, like eventually, like, 20, like 20 25, uh, 50 and shit. I, mm-hmm. I gotta think of, like, good, like, you know, you gotta have something crazy for those shows. So, yeah. so I'm starting, I, I want to this week work on something. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be a person. I don't know what it's mm. going to be. But I want to, I want to do something. No, you're right. It's going to be episode 20. We should try to get a hold of someone. Um, yeah. I have a couple ideas. We'll, we'll check it out. That's we even have like a revolving we, door of people. Yeah. Club Doom, you in the chat? <laughs> Club Doom. Yeah. Where, where's Club Le- Doom at? Like, <laughs> legit. Like we, we've been talking about this. We want to have uh, more people on other content creators, um, people in communities. Like we want to have some more people on. Yeah. So I think that's going to be a great next step for the show. Facts. Uh, Morgan, I got to thank you. You gave 20 memberships, Morgan. God damn. Thank you, Morgan. Yeah. Yeah, for real, Morgan. We hella appreciate you. I hope you're still here. If you have any message you would like the chat to hear, say it right now. Um, let the world know, Morgan. 20 people, 22 people owe you one, bro. And we hella appreciate you. 
Can we get Rogue on? That's an idea. That's an idea. Um. Yeah, and then I got to thank Jammer X. Thank you so much, bro, for the five gift. See, tapists are just popping off tonight. You got people like Jammer X and Dinkster and Morgan and Nikolai. Like, everybody's just... Chat looks out for its own. They look out facts. for their own. That's facts. I love that. I fucking love that. Thank you, Jammer. And thank you, Normal Bottle of Mustard, for the five gift as well. Normal one Bottle of, my... of Mustard. Yeah. Yes. I love that guy. I love I Jammer too. X, too. I love all those people he's mentioned. But man, just Normal Bottle of Mustard. Every time I see him pop up in the comments or in chats, it's always good to just know that, you know, somewhere out there the condiments are being protected. He's never, ever um, changed his name in the in the five months that he's been a tapist here on the channel. And that blows my mind when people hit the five-month mark because they're, like, about to get a different badge. They're about to get their six-month badge. Really? Yeah, yeah I got and that'll be one, crazy. I got two members on my channel who, from day one, my two longest members are Vanessa. And Vanessa, mm -hmm. who's the first one people probably always – Vanessa's been a member mm -hmm. for like close to, like, 15 months. That's crazy. And, and Scaly Schisms. Scaly Schisms. Also oh, my God. For one of the longest, bro. And like I said, that's those are those have been my first real two. Yeah, dude. I remember I used to talk to Scaly. Um, and fucking he, excellent artist. Uh, really yeah. nice guy. Has lizards. Uh, just a, a really cool guy. Really down to yeah. earth guy. Yeah, we met a lot like of cool Scaly. people through this, y'all. And like I said, we've had, we have such a good time make, doing this show. And don't think we're ending it here or nothing, y'all. We still got a lot more topics to bring yeah. up with you. Um, but I'm yeah. just saying, yeah, thank you to all you always. Because doing this show, having all you guys in the chat, that makes it fun, man. Seeing all these people enjoying it. And we're just we're just glad y'all have stuck along for the ride. Yeah, for real. Um, That's probably, I see all you guys, like we still have tons of donos to get into, but I want to yeah. get into the content. We've had facts. people sit around. Uh, what do you want to do next? You want Blade? Think Blade? Yeah, I think okay. Blade. Okay. People are saying there's a new Cyrax video up on William's channel. Um, that'll be like perfect for next week or something. So because we've wait. covered I'm, a lot of racks. Um, I mean, is it new? Not, now you you piqued my interest though. Now what do you? Is it like? Yeah, let's let's check it here. <laughs> wait, wait. William Glory hit Heil. Oh no! Don't clip that. Um, let's see here videos oh it's just his newest youtube goodbye youtube hello my new life huh he's already been. that's not even the one i saw from earlier so he's been getting it today with his videos just like earlier today cyrax was talking about how i brought it up already he was about to get back to music soon but now seeing this one looks like he's decided against that in the past three or four hours yeah it looks like uh this may be his farewell you know maybe he's quitting this is his 24th farewell. Cyrax <laughs> retires more times than Terry Funk. Dude, yeah, for real. Terry Funk is going to come out of retirement again. Watch it happen. <laughs> to wrestle Cyrax. <laughs> the loser must retire for good match. Fucking death match. Terry Funk versus 80, 80 year old Terry Funk versus Cyrax. I saw a picture of him the other day. He doesn't look all that great, but I bet you if someone paid him enough, he would still think about, at least think about wanting to get back in the ring. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. He he loves the ring, dude. He loves it. It's, it's a uh, shame. Man. Yeah, it's a shame seeing they look what he looks like now. But it's amazing to have such a long death match career. It really yeah. is. <laughs> to start doing death matches when you're like fifty, like it's fucking crazy. Yeah, yeah <laughs> dude. No cap. So, so this, this is Blade. Yeah. yeah you want to link uh, the IRL Moments channel? Because yeah. I think we're going to be checking out a lot of their videos. If you guys want to keep tabs on Blade, like the RV people, uh, the Ice Poseidon shit, IRL Moments channel is fucking lit for that. They, they really cut out all like the dumb shit from Blade and show you the good stuff. They do. They do. This is honestly like if you really want uh, the important IRL Moments this is one of the channels you need to go to. Another one I'd recommend is uh, Pretty Andy. They're in chat. They always got like some good clippage. Yes, Pretty Andy's mm -hmm. another very good mm -hmm. one. Brothers, like I said, that, that's the great thing though about the uh, the IP2 community is the amount of clips out there. Like, and there's people who are always going to clip it. It's um, like I said, you never miss the good shit, and that's um, like I said, that's that's what's lit about it. Yeah, it is the the, the dedicated clippers. I I love clippers. But here's what's going on here. Blade's girlfriend, who's cucked him multiple times, is over it. She's yeah. off that lit Romney train. Yep. Now, can I say that this first, I, I remember I first heard about them breaking up the night that they were in Detroit. And Blade was blacked out drunk, uh, saying the N-word and shit. It was right in the inner cities of Detroit. 
his yeah. his girl called him and blade's doing his stream doing fire sales and you, you wouldn't think anything out of the ordinary his girl calls him and you hear her over the phone say like we're done we're this we're that and immediately you notice his demeanor changes and it kind of sobers him up and about like mm-hmm. five minutes later he shuts off his stream but other people still had their streams on so he's just sitting there on the phone for like 30 minutes and then he gets off it and he looks like so defeated and he's just starting to say like guys can we go home can we go home dude can we go home and all this <laughs> shit so this has been a long time coming even before this as kiwi mentioned uh she she was fucking with that guy chicken who's the guy who's uh, running a kid this a kid the age of her son this is yes. the kind of woman we're talking about here. She is a, she slept with Mondo, she slept with Captain Content, and now she's sleeping with, well, I don't even know how you could physically do that, because he drinks so much Jaeger, I don't think anything could work. Yeah, but, no, uh, no, not a shot. The, now she hopped on Blade, I think she was just really trying to find someone where she could get that easy money, she could quit her job and be a streamer too. And that's what it seems like she is, she's a streamer mm-hmm. hopper, you know, if one looks like they're doing successful, and I feel like Blade was her white whale, because for as yeah. much dumb shit as Blade does, I'm pretty sure when it comes to money, he probably makes like, from like the IP2 people, I'd assume Blade's one of the, like, the higher earners, mm-hmm. you know, I think he probably gets Absolutely. more Absolutely, yeah. He's got, he's not a fucking four viewer Andy. He, he yeah, has yeah. like, he breaks 800 co- very often. He's, It'd be, it's rare night. to see him below 400. It's very yes. rare. And, uh, that, that's crazy. He's had such a long career online. He's been in mansions. He's been in slums. He's a rapist. Like, <laughs> he, there are so he's many reasons. There's so many reasons to not be in a relationship with only use me blade. But I still do not sympathize for Becky because she's so vile. No, she's uh, I can't say it on YouTube anymore because I didn't know this was a yeah. bad word, but she's a C word. Yeah, she is. She's a bunt cake. She's yeah. a bunt. I want to go smoke a blunt right now. Hold <laughs> yeah. up. Yeah. Streamer, streamer poll. Hold. <laughs> streamer poll. Yep. 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 Based in red pilled comment. Does he look like he's losing weight or is it just the angle? He looks great. What up, chat? If you're here, of course. Ah, oh. currently at. Um, is anybody surprised that the content of only use me blades is fucking chest fridge? God, look at him. Ah, oh. currently at um, Fultz's house. Fultz's parents' house. What are your thoughts of Beck getting piped by her high school crush? That's what's she up. She's dropping that IG pick in your face. Hey, yo. <laughs> she didn't. She didn't. It's the same way, like, um, here's the way I look at it. Uh, same way that I streamed with Jill. You can still be friends with someone years Chest later. fridge, yeah. <laughs> so, if you think this is like some high school drama, think again. LMFAO Bud Light. Have you been <laughs> living under a rock? When is the bottom surgery? Hey, yo. The what surgery? Blade streaming from the projects. Figure it out, poor person. How is he calling people poor, dude? How is I'm he calling his, people poor? Chat, yeah, I go in his chat like every night and I comment stuff like that. I'm like, Blade, you poor fuck. I saw you <laughs> there last night. I saw you there last night asking people like, what what's happened so far? I yeah, think that's hilarious. I get the one moderator in there always responds to me right away, and I'm like, thank you, bro. Like, thank you for keeping me because he and I I I want to. If Blade goes live tonight, I'll be in there again trying to find that moderator because. Me and him always go back and forth, not not in a bad way. He always lets me know what's going on. He told me, he's like, hey, you know, let's just wait. Give it another hour. That's where the real fireworks happen. I'm like, yeah, you know what? You're right. I put down my phone. I came back 15 minutes later. Blade shut the stream down. I was like, you fucker. Blade. Like, Blade, you motherfucker. Uh, Blade faked being drunk last night. Like, he faked being drunk to get off the camera. He was like completely sober the whole time. Then, like, the last five minutes, he just started going, oh, yeah, dude, I'm going to freaking go get some food, dude. Like, all this shit. So, I was like, ah. He just wants to end that shit right now. It, and if you're going to donate to Blade, never donate to an open bottle of Jaeger because he's most likely cut it with Coca-Cola. Like, you want that fresh pop. Off, you want that fresh pop off the seal or else you don't know if you're getting scammed because Blade will often bring a bottle of what I assume is very, very cut down Jaeger. Yeah, and, I assume uh, it's like a He'll drink about Jaeger, half. Yeah, he'll drink about Jaeger a half breakfast. bottle. Diet Coke. Mm-hmm. He'll drink about a half bottle of that and uh, be completely fine. And then when he cracks the new seal, he'll get about three or four in him. And then the and AO will come out. And he's fucking blacked out. Yeah. 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 
<laughs> I love I love it. He's fucking. It's like Bam. Did you see that new Turkey Tom video on Bam that was put out today? I don't. I can't watch his stuff. I know I should. Uh, I can't. I can't. Yeah, yeah. Well, he dropped a, a Bam video and uh, it's really good. But Bam is kind of in a similar situation where he's like hanging out in houses like this and drinking and just passing out like at nine a at nine p.m. and shit. Um, he's also doing a lot of meth, from what I hear. Of course, so, yeah. See, and I it, think it sucks. I hate I yeah. hate seeing Bam like that because I, I like I loved watching the Jackass shit when I grew up. One of my favorite videos of all time. That maybe we'll play it later. I don't know if you ever seen it. You ever seen the old CKY video where they're kicking footballs at cars? No, I have. Oh my gosh, because <laughs> it's it's one of the best videos ever. They're just sitting in the street, fucking kicking footballs. All the people are stopping and being like, "Are you fucking crazy?" <laughs> like, are you, it's because uh, uh, there's one where they're tossing a fake body over like a bridge and throwing. Oh, it I see that. Like, I see yeah, that. It's some of the best yeah. shit you'll ever see, bro. It really <laughs> is. And to see what he's like doing now, it's like ah, the passage of time is fucking cruel. <laughs> yeah, it is. And honestly, it's also like. You can see he blames a lot of it on uh, the Ryan Dunn stuff, right? But I think that I hate to say it, but a lot of a lot of that is an excuse because he's been drinking really hard even before like Dunn's death. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Cause I, yeah. I've I've always heard that like he would like you know he would drink, he would do shit, but like he wasn't nearly like that until Dunn died. They said Steve O yeah. was a big partier and shit like that, but. Bam was fairly clean until the done shit happened. I don't I guess I don't know. I've never lost like my best friend in a car accident, so who am I to say? Yeah, yeah, no that that's true. That's true. But at like the same time, it's like Bam has Bam had like this hard, this really hard life. No, I mean fuck no. it seems like he's had a very sheltered life. He's made his parents' life hell. So I can't, that I can't really feel bad for him. That could be argued, though, that he's had such a sheltered life that finally something traumatic happens to him and he has no way to cope with it other than drugs and alcohol and shit like that. True. True. The whole alcohol thing stems from him, like, wanting to be a rock star. Yeah, he wanted to be like Billy Vallow from him. He wanted to be like the guy from him. Yeah, he's really... He dresses like Johnny Depp, too. Pretty, pretty fucking nuts. <laughs> like, so everything he started doing in his late, like, like from the mid two thousands, was all based off of that band, him from like Finland. He tried, yeah, to, like, the one that he, always, yeah, yeah, the one that he hung out with, like the singer, and it yep. looked like he would blow him if he just gave the <laughs> word. Did. He did, he did. Yeah, every every time, bro, it was always about that fucking band, and that band. I feel like they only got as big as they did, especially here in America, because of um, yeah. because of band. He took the hardogram. He got the hardogram from them. And now he has like a secret language, and really, we ought to get into Bam. Oh one, God, yeah, we do. Time. We need to get more into Bam. It's it's nutty. Let's, but get let's watch. Fat, yeah. yeah, let's get back to this fat cuck on screen. Isn't his beard looking awfully like white? Yeah, it is. Look at him. Hell, yeah, thank oh. you. Blade since Beck left you for real. How are you feeling? Your heart must be hurting, and you're just drinking the pain away. But it's obvious she's left you, and you're single again. Blade, get your life in order, bro. Too old That'd for this. Be so brutal. I hate to break it to you, but Beck is not leaving. She's literally on her way here. To drop off your shit. Yeah, dude. And look, he, she's about to call him and, and call her and call him out on that. Watch. All right, fuck it. Um, uh, Beck is bringing my lack here. Um, we'll we'll try to work on the relationship, but she's gonna dip out after she gets here. There you go. There's your update. Hey yo. I don't know. Um. Oh, dude, I don't know why person. you guys are so concerned about my love life and everything, you're but a um, are you dickhead? And so is your uh, wife. I'm a complete dickhead when I drink yes, and I are. drink for a living. So that, that there you go. She's coming here. She's gonna be here for a little bit, and then she's uh, dipping. She's off. off to meet meet up with EBZ. Off with her family. <laughs> so there you go. Like I don't know why we have. to in, include the internet in our relationship, but uh, I guess if I can my life, life I have is- to. Whoa. That's the situation, dude. But yeah, that's the situation. Um, she's bringing the lack. Uh, she's going to stay with me for a little bit, and then she's dipping off with family to try to in. Why, though? Why, why would she want to leave you and your paper teeth? I don't understand. Yeah, <laughs> yeah why would she want to leave this fat, drunk fuck? 
that literally passes out drunk every night that she has to put diapers on before he goes to sleep. Mm. It's not like you're dating an old man. It's not like one of these girls who go and fucking marries Hugh Hefner because they know he's a millionaire. She's living off of, you're living off of borrowed time. The only thing that she's going to get once you croak is like the 30,000 you probably got saved up and you're beat up lack. Do you think, like, that's definitely every woman's fantasy, right? Like, taking care of a 200-pound drunk man baby. Like, that's that's what women look 200. for. 300? I, I mean, no, you um, said 200. I think he's at least 250. At yeah, least, at least. yeah, definitely. Um, I, I man, I would say, like, th- this is just a dream man. This is a hell of a, a hell of a catch, ladies, and he's single now. I think I saw who was it? Was it Sadie in chat that said link up with uh, Kelly Wings' wife? That's a mm-hmm. couple. That's a power couple. Yeah, Ben. <laughs> yeah, Kelly, dude. I don't. They haven't even consecrated their marriage. That's a whole thing. Oh, like, ew. Ew. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Nat Geo doc shit. Make sure that her family is good, and then we'll go from there. I'm going to skip it ahead a little bit because it's like, is there yeah, any more info? Like, it seems like, let's I'm see pretty here. sure there's a good bit, but I don't know. Like I said, it's, it's, all, it's all spread about. She can figure her shit out. I'm going to let her figure her shit out. It's fine. Like, so I'm not just going to be all emotional crying about it, dude. You know, I'm not, fucking, I'm not 19 years oh, old, dude. I'm a man. You sound like a fag, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude, you sound like Kalai Lacoon. I know you just he. I know he just told me he's about to donate me money, and I know that like half my money that I get is from Chungus. You sound like right now, Chungus. Figure it out. Dude. Okay, pause it. Pause it. I'm not having a good time. Yeah, he yeah, gives guy, me half my money, but fuck him. Half the guy, half the, the guy gives me half my money. The guy who's trying to give me advice, even though it does sound a little gay in Blade's view. Yeah, you're the one being that, right? Not the guy sitting here on stream, desperately calling his uh. Or telling the people on the call that everything's all cool, and then your fucking girl has to call and say, no, it's actually not. Like I said, this, he's trying to, I think he's just trying to, in this moment, Kiwi, I think he was trying to make the chat be like, ha, 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 Chungus, you're a loser. So they would stop calling him a loser. This is why, like, Blade's not getting anywhere. Because a guy like Chungus obviously has the money to fucking pay half your salary like it's nothing. And he did the same thing with Chicken Andy, so he's obviously more successful than you, Blade. He obviously yeah. has it figured out, oh, as you would say, a little more than you do. And he's just like, nah, dude. Nah, man. Um, emotional maturity, that's gay, dude. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, you give I love me advice, it. dude. Like, that's, that's it's a pretty, it's, it's pretty dude, weird of you, dude. Like, it's pretty if bad. you're going to give me money, dude, pay me. All right? Yeah. And then, no, if you're going to give me advice, dude, you got to pay me. Like, figure it out. No $3 donos. Fire sale hype. Dude, <laughs> he's I got just all such these- a... De- He's such a disgusting prick to his viewers sometimes, he is, bro. He is. I know. He's the fucking... Listen, that's why when I watch him, it's like... Uh, I just want to watch Blade do stupid shit. Because it's like when you act like an asshole, people watch you because like you're an asshole. And they don't watch you because, oh man, I can't wait for... It's like how DSP thinks people watch him for his fun and exciting content. Yeah. No. No. You come here You come here to see gay play content. You don't come here to see me freak out every time someone gives me a $5 dono, play a little sound, and I'm not going to just halt the gameplay for that. Like, oh, he's such guys a in the chat are saying that, uh, The guys in the chat are saying that I, um, that I need to saying that I need to stop talking about donations. Well, I'm sorry, <laughs> but you guys in chat got to understand, this is the last day of the month. And I, I, this I have is the bills to pay. Yeah, this is the paycheck I get for next next month. So if you guys if you guys are planning on supporting the stream tonight, I'd really appreciate if you can do it now instead of waiting until next week. It's like, dude, it's like, dude, for fuck's sake, shut! Like, like, uh, I've heard people call us before, Kiwi. I've heard people say, "Oh, you guys are like beggars and shit." Please find me one instance where me and Kiwi on the show have ever said, "Guys, if you can find it in your heart, please donate to us." It's like, People do that shit out of the generousness of their own heart, DSP. You can't just force it on to people because you feel like you need to get like a little more money for your day off next month. Uh, for real, he's, for real. He, yeah. He's like, this is my job. But and he, the principle to that would be then the people who donate are your fucking bosses, DSP. True. He doesn't yeah, view it you like better that. do what they fucking say. Yeah, yeah, dude. He's such a fucking that. And that's the thing is like he is. He's just. He's so full of himself that he 
can't comprehend listening to anyone else. No, that's it's nuts. But you're right though. Like I said, the people who the people who agree to um the people who donate to this shit, whether it's our show, whether it's DSP, whether who no matter who it is, you gotta understand if someone's willing to do that for you, DSP. Like if someone donated him ten bucks and said, "Hey, DSP, scream something at the top of your lungs," he wouldn't do yeah. it. Rose T in chat. Every time I go live, donates me ten bucks. They scream like Cyrax. I don't care <laughs> who's home and who's sleeping. I'm screaming like Cyrax. Like, yeah. If, if someone's generous enough to do that, you you fucking look out. Now, granted, I'm not gonna sit here and be like, hey, you know, <laughs> pay me five bucks and I'll go knock some dude out on the street. Like that's that's a little much, but yeah. yeah. For, first rule of streaming: chat is God. Second rule of streaming: God is cruel, and you have to know that. Like, you have to know that chat. Well, we'll fucking not always have your best interests in mind, <laughs> but like you've also got to like give them what they want, right? And but DSP refuses. DSP's only gonna do what he wants. It's like he almost has this oppositional defiant disorder. Um, and I swear to God, he pays bills once a week. Like, yeah. Fuck. <laughs> DSP pays his cable bill like tri-weekly. Yeah, <laughs> he pays it every Tuesday, every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. He has to pay his fucking cable bill. Apparently, it's always God. about bills. I feel like that's all with Blade. Um, oh, Blade! My, I thought we were still going on about DSP. No, no, we are. Um, <laughs> but I figure, you know, like he's just he just only use me, you know, only lose me oh. legs. Only lose his. Le oh, he lost his hat. Lost Let's his see this. Uh, is that it? Find some other content. You guys are all. Oh, guys, bye. Find some yeah. other content. Yeah. yeah, that's him just faking being drunk in the stream, being like, "Hey, yo, 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 dudes," and then slurring yeah, it Yeah, I'm a drink. Yeah. Till I'm fucking dead. Yeah, what a great song. Um, you wanna you wanna jump into Thailand now? <laughs> because yeah. there's weirdos in Thailand, bro. <laughs> Those weirdos oh in Thailand. God, Ice Poseidon got a little raunchy overseas. Bro, I'll and, be honest. Uh, I haven't watched Ice Poseidon. You know where? Like, I knew him from RuneScape streaming. Like huh. me. But, I mean, you know, like, I knew you know respect Thai culture. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I knew Ice Poseidon as the guy who streamed RuneScape while getting like really like racist donations, and he'd freak out on stream. And then a few years went by, and I didn't really keep track of anything on YouTube. And then I saw that he was, like, one of the biggest streamers in the world. That kind of blew my fucking mind. Yeah. Yeah, the IRL. He's the godfather of all IRL. Paul Danino, the yeah. godfather of IRL. <laughs> um, it's funny, you know, like, that's – I, I, mean, I always have, like, an alias that I'll give somebody if I get in trouble. And I'll be like, yeah, my name's Paul Danino. You know, figure it out. You're not going to find me. Yeah, Paul Danino. <laughs> yeah. That, yeah, that's dude. a good one, actually. Yeah, I like it. I started uh, giving Chance Wilkins. Like, I've started <laughs> – Chance Wilkins I'll use a lot for different things. Yeah, so, sorry, officer. I don't have my ID. My name's Paul Danino. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, honestly, this whole, like, this whole thing is kind of fucked up because they should have known better, right? They're in a, they're in a foreign country – Thailand already has a bad image for like, you know, being this so-called prostitution hub and they're trying to change that. So they've passed some laws to where like disrespecting the culture is now like a punishable offense, like some North Korea shit. And they go into a five star restaurant, guys, like a, a fancy, fancy yeah. establishment, they spend hundreds of dollars on a fucking meal. And Ice dresses up in, like, lingerie. It's pretty fucking gross. I might have to skip through that part. Yeah. And starts, starts giving his girlfriend, this blonde lady, a lap dance. The manager busts in and has a problem. It's, Big problem. It, yeah. Poor and Deepak. It's not like, yeah, it's not like this is going on in, like, you know, you know, somewhere a little more private. Like, he's just doing this right in the middle of, like, the mm -hmm. dining area. So. Well, they they had their own private room actually. Oh, I know. It was their own I know. Private room. Yeah, I know they had their own little VIP room, but I mean, like this wasn't like you know, in like in like the back of the place and like a little like like a room no one was like I, I don't know. Just, there was obviously there were going to be servers and all coming in here eventually. So yeah. I don't I don't know what they thought was going to happen here. But were they, they were going to put up with this? Like you already mentioned, no. five star restaurant. Like, you're not doing this at a fucking McDonald's. Maybe there you can yeah. get away with it. If you're at a fucking McDonald's, then they wouldn't have a problem. But you're you lid the whole meme as like, oh look at us at a five star restaurant. 
What I don't like is everybody in the room got charged, not just Paul. Like yeah, Paul was much. the one that's who put much. on he put on the shit and little well we'll get into that because that's Look, a fucking I'll, such I'll a meme say, factory. I'll say, I'll just say this is this is bullshit. This yeah. is bullshit that they're arrested yeah. for this. But you know, it's just different countries' rules, you gotta follow them. I think it's bullshit too, because like they do have their own private room. This lady way overreacted. She might have something against Americans. It kind of seems. Yeah, and we'll uh, get into it in a little bit. But the fact that they're going to be waiting there till the end of August to hear from a fucking like to hear from a best. judge. Yeah, that's you're doing. Too Ice much. was talking at worst January and February. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, he's renting a house. He's renting a house so that they can all live there and stream there because they don't know what it's going to look like wow, on the streets. It's, it's an impromptu streamer house. That's kind of yeah. weird. It's, yeah, it's going to be kind of. It's going to be content. So this is going to be something I'm going to be keeping a close eye on. I've even thought about doing a video over the whole situation because it's. I was fucking the same nuts. here. I, I was. I was yeah. in the same ship. And no, I, I think you should go ahead with that. Absolutely. It, it's crazy. No, you you'll get it out too, before dude. I do. No, you'll get it out before I do. So you go ahead and do that. <laughs> um, th this is nuts. Let's play this. What? I mean, you we're... cannot do this in Thailand. Okay. <laughs> I love, I love her accent, bro. They're doing this in Bangkok, so it's like Hangover Two, bro. Hangover Two, yeah. <laughs> Can we get Man. some copyright claim for you to see music? I don't think so. This is good. No, he uses this in all of them. This is easy. It sounds like them. I don't know. <laughs> this is a halfway good. Me? Yeah, yeah, sure. Anyone chat answer if that was ZBZ or not? Mm. Uh -huh. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to turn it down a little bit because the audio in the beginning is Look not important. Look at that handsome motherfucker. That's pretty good. Do you like him? Dude, I am such a D-Pack oh. fan, bro. <laughs> you're, you're a big D-Pack fan. I love him, man. I love him. Like, he came from the slums of India. He's already made two years Indian salary. Nah, and now cool he's story. caught up it here. It is a cool story. I'll, I'll yeah. say that. It is a yeah. Deep. <laughs> dude he's like he is he's small too guys wait until i show you a video after this yeah, is, it's gonna floor you Rax. who's taller deepak or Rax? i think Rax. people call him <laughs> you know i the my favorite comment i saw in that one video we were talking about uh before the stream which i'm gonna show them is um uh, it was like oompa loompa apologize like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah dude he's a. Uh, I love him though. He, he seems like nice. Fucking... <laughs> Holy shit! Oh. He seems nice. There you go. But Deepak didn't do <laughs> shit, dude. Like he was just there. Oh. And he got. Oh. This is my cheesecake. What the? Fuck? This is nothing. So I found. I found this guy in the. Wow. <laughs> so, some like stream snipers show up and they're like, "Hey, put this on ice," and he does. And, and this door. is what gets yeah, him arrested. Should have put it on e pad. I cannot fit. <laughs> Cube went for a fucking smoke. One of the 20 of the day. That's why you gotta start smoking. You end up leaving at opportune time. Where is it? It's like right here. It gets wild. Yeah. Then the management comes in. Oh, sorry about that. Sorry, sorry. The private dining room is not the club, so if you wouldn't mind, I would kindly need your favor to. That's fine. We, I mean, we're we're finished anyways. We'll take we'll we'll take the bill and we'll pay. We'll take the bill and pay. So we're we're finished. I mean. Absolutely. <laughs> How you doing? What is this? What happened? I'm a general manager here. Oh, hey, what's up? So what are you doing now? Uh, this is all the policeman 191. And 191. I'm you to go to the police station now. If you are doing something go to like this, it's not for Thai culture. No, it's, no, we're not doing any of that. No, no, no. We don't do it. No, it's not like that. We're not. I see the photo and all of them have CCTV. All right, well, you can check it. We, we will make the police report now immediately. Yes. Can you call now? Yeah. Okay. We're, 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 Those co-workers are fucking fucked. 
Those are cops. No, I said Those... cucks. Yes, oh. ma'am. Yes, ma'am. We'll make the police report. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. No, losers. these are the cops. That's what I'm saying. They're losers. <laughs> They're fucking losers. No, Taking dude. She has bitch. sway in the city. She Taking, owns. <laughs> Taking orders from this fucking bitch. Yeah, she she walked right in like she fucking like owned. Well, I guess she is managing the place. She's the one pushing it though. D-Pak she wants him to go to jail. Up, D-Pak should have got up in her face. Like Deepak should have been like, "Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? You know who I am." I've never seen him confrontational once. <laughs> I know it would have been hilarious. Me, my name is General Manager of. Bangkok. What? what are you doing if you not respect Thai culture and Thai no, women? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But I went you out for smoke. This, in okay, 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 okay. Okay. this is very serious, and my manager is woman also. I'm okay, in a meeting okay. with a customer at the rooftop, and what are you doing? Can you put it down now, or you yes. want to have a case with me? No, I'm good. We can go to police station now. Can you call immediately? What's a police station? See, money nothing in Thailand if you not respect Thai people. <laughs> I don't like money her. nothing to her. I don't like her attitude, Kiwi. <laughs> I like her. I like her pronunciation. I'm getting we're a having, kick out. We're gonna of this. have we're gonna have our fan meet up at this particular restaurant in Thailand, <laughs> and everyone's just gonna friggin' everyone's gonna. Yeah. Oh man! <laughs> I think the rest of this is uh, just Johnny Somali like trying to get in oh, there. Oh, trying to find them and shit. Yeah. Where is the one they made this? So they got tucked to the police station right after this. They're taken to the police station. Where is we are apologize? <laughs> Ice. <laughs> Ice in his infinite wisdom, because he's been through some controversies, decided hey, to um hey, real quick, I just got didn't you yeah. say that didn't you just bring up that Thailand's got a big uh, problem like prostitution and shit? Yeah, yeah. I, 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 now we know problem. where Papa Chu is. Now we know where <laughs> Papa Chu is. It all makes sense. Yeah, dude. Sam Pepper um uh, has a Thai bank account. That tells you all you need to know. Oh god. Um but this is fucking hilarious. This is I think believe this was all Ice's idea and he's like, "Hey Deepak, public and apology." I, <laughs> as you can see, there's obviously um a height height difference. I didn't realize he was this small until now. Paul's like 6'3". I'd say that puts him five foot even five foot one <clears throat> tops tops he's like half the size of paul almost wow um, fuck let's see this being held in thailand for the actions that i've done a few nights ago willy wonka at a hotel in bangkok thailand i wanted to make this video to apologize to mrs no no, no perhaps Oompa and the buy and tree hotel in bangkok for the actions that i've done I did not know the severity of the actions that I've caused, and I just was, I was just trying to have fun, and I'm sorry, we were drunk, we were in a room, I just didn't understand the severity of, uh, uh, of, of what I've done, I'm lap dancing on my girlfriend, <laughs> and I'm sorry for that. I'm sorry. I did not want to cause any negative actions towards anyone, and I didn't want to, uh, make the hotel look bad or anything, so I apologize. We are apologetic. I really are I hope for the speedy release of, of <laughs> all of us. Um, and thank you. Thank you. I'm being held in Thailand. Justice for Deepak. <laughs> Justice for Deepak. Everybody, one's in the chat for Justice for Deepak, two's in the chat for Paul Danino belongs in a Bangkok you, I, jail. I, 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 Ice is over there right now being like, oh my god, dude. Like, why do you got me arrested? And you got burger planted out here creeping at girls on in and out, dude. Like, like, come on, dude. <laughs> I'm telling you, Paul is shitting his pants. He's facing five years in a Thai prison cell. That's five the perfect years. ending to the Ice Poseidon story. <laughs> That's what you get for CX coin, motherfucker. Like, shit, yeah, really, dude. really, yeah, yeah. The the U.S. government wouldn't do anything, but the fucking one in Thailand sure as shit will. Yeah, that is the man. He no we respect Thai culture. We are apologize. Yeah, 
Poor Deepak. He wasn't doing shit. He's literally just his sitting life, there. His life changed in front of his eyes for the better. He became someone who's able to be... He, you know, we own something crazy. I bet you over the past two months, Deepak got into the 1% of Indian wealth. Like, he's probably <laughs> one of the richest men over there. Just, I mean, all of this comes crashing down in an instant. Dude, like, we were about to see the Deepak gold jewelry arc, and this is depriving <laughs> us of that. There is, yeah, no, we gotta look. If, if you, I would, everyone write letters to Thailand and tell them keep Paul free Deepak. Keep yeah. Paul free Deepak. You guys can have Mr. Danino, but we need Deepak back. Yes. We need him. <laughs> we need him to be working at his fake jewelry store. Like, we need him to. The fact. The fact that Deepak has not done any IRL in the United States yet is criminal. And he needs he needs to come over here and see some places because he is just he's a force of nature. We are apologize. Um that's probably it. Well, I, yeah, actually there's more on these fools. There's more. Oh god, yes. Yeah. Let's see here. Um Well, I mean, that's really all we we need to talk about with them. I was yeah. Say. yeah, they they're in jail. If anything more happens interesting with that, um, you can always cover. I think there's only one other person we have yet to cover here today, Kiwi. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, for sure. The government's, the government's, the government's oh, bad the boy. Oh, the government man, yeah, okay, yeah, <laughs> the yeah. The government's bad boy. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I promise we're not scamming, guys. We'll yeah, probably... no, we'll get all, we'll get it to all, all after this next topic because we'll read donos, we'll wrap it up after this. Yeah, well, this, for this sure. Week went so quick. Listening to that Cyrax scream, I can't believe it. Like an hour and a half went by, like nothing. Yeah, man, it was it was nuts. It was nuts. That whole and we'll keep up on that situation. The court side. Oh, we'll probably play some other shit next week. Yeah, when it comes to the Cyrax to content, I know a lot of you guys always ask for it. Um, like I said, my strike is ending in about two weeks. So like I said, I'll, we'll probably be, um, back into maybe doing a video of Cyrax every month or maybe two, you know, I'll just keeping you guys yeah. updated, but it's just a tricky time right now. Y'all with strikes are flying around like everywhere. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm afraid of, man. That's, that's where all mine went. I'm afraid of the strikes. Cause I've already gotten a warning strike and, uh, I do not want to like lose two weeks of post. It just sucks. So. Yeah, you lose one. It's one week first, two weeks the second time, and the third time mm. you get your shit taken down. But See. it goes away after three months. So like I said okay. five, I, I got two more weeks until mine runs up. Yeah, yeah, man. I think it's. Uh, I think this old jail saga is going to make for a good one. And when big things happen, yeah, we'll cover him. Of and course, this is a big yeah. thing. So. July twenty fourth is the date for everyone to keep really on their calendars. Mm -hmm. That's when Cyrax's next hearing is, and we'll find out what happens then. Yeah, dead ass. Uh, what do you what do you feel in here, government uh, or the suspects that murdered my parents? Um, one, I want to see what this thing on his head is. Oh yeah, that's his face protector. Can you just go to his channel? I think I can find the yeah. video where he explains it. He put up like a twenty five minute video, and in the first minute he explains it. But there's a few twenty five minute Tony videos this week. He's got to look for the first one where you see the thing on his head. Um, he's got he's wearing it all the fucking time now. Um, this one, I think it's, oh, it's no. the one. Uh, I think yeah, the twenty-five minute and thirty-one second one. I believe. Right. God, there's so many of him eating. Oral sodomizing crimes this against the government and brute. How? Like, what in the fuck are these titles? Thumbs up, Tony. Yeah, always thumbs up for Tony. How you guys doing? He is hey. doing. How much going on here? I got my new face guard on the top of my head right now. I went to Walmart with my face guard, the gas station, CVS, wearing my face guard. So <laughs> you all these satellite controls you merely adopted so the doctor. No right hitting me in the face and teeth. They know that. Toady was born in it, was molded it. by it. They're not my dentist. These satellite controls are not. <laughs> They're not his fucking dentist. Are you crazy? Today he put up a video called Forced Dentistry and they Forced Medical. They hit me in the jaw. They just hit me in the jaw just now. They hit him in the he jaw. hit him in the jaw. Put the fucking ask mask on then, today. Tony. How long, or ask somebody, somebody can ask somebody, I guess. When today have those satellite controllers not been staring at me? Somebody asked me that today. <laughs> These Who? people have obviously gotten away with hurting Who people. Who asked him that? 
and then accusing people of things, but never being able to back up anything that they've ever accused people of. Tony's uh, dollar store you know, bane. Tony's definitely not guilty. Well, these people still have not gotten it never right who my parents up. are. Have they? They need to ask every politician and every government person if they know who my parents are. Well, Disney my parents were world people. famous too. You know. Yeah. It's not like they were unknown people. You know. The fuck is he eating? He drenched my it in like hot sauce. His grandparents were world famous too. Salad man is trying to make me eat my food whole without chewing it. And they're hitting me in the jaw. God, that's got to be hell. That's got to be hell. Like the that. satellite man said, "Oh, this he is said, what dystopian." You think you because of your mother, this I feel like I'm. I feel like if I was playing like Fallout, this would be like a random encounter. I walk <laughs> in and <laughs> he's talking about the fucking satellite man eating slop. <laughs> you know the satellite man over yeah. there on Murphy's <laughs> Ridge. He's over here fucking with my jaw. He's over here fucking with my teeth. <laughs> I get. Uh, He'll give you get, that mask. And it actually like does a crazy something. dude on the side of the road in Red Dead Redemption 2. Like, yeah. you see, like, <laughs> that satellite man's up there in tall trees. He's fucking with my <laughs> teeth. He's fucking with my jaw. It'd be the radio man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or that would be great Wait, if that's how Red Dead 1 ended. <laughs> and he walked, John walks out of the barn. You government people can <laughs> fuck off. Get the fuck off my property. Or Jack Marston. Like Jack Marston be like, they murdered my parents, man. <laughs> government people, government people murdered my parents. <laughs> he kind of reminds me of that slave guy from Two, who's like, I have my family had a legacy. We had a career, goddamn. <laughs> Tony, Tony, so I, I can't even fathom, dude, how much it must suck to have to eat like with the fucking mouth oh. of he has. Got to power through with that deadpan face. Mm-hmm. Hitting him in his jaw right now, feels it right now happening. So I better ca I better cam up. I got no problem with Bluetooth or any of that he, GPS he keep, location. And yeah, right. <laughs> he, he keeps saying this is happening. He's wearing the face mask to protect this. I haven't seen one video with him having the face mask on and not above his head. It's clearly that's the answer. The face mask yeah. is the answer. Could you imagine if someone at the store even asked him, "They're like, hey, what are you wearing that for? Like, you still worried about COVID?" He'd be like, "Nah." Satellite man's been up there. It's really fucking with my teeth. People would be like, oh, this guy in the store is high as dick right now. Like, holy fuck. Mm. Yeah, I need to take He's got that good I heard good. that hit. I heard yeah. that hit. I need to take one people, too. I, I guess people have been hearing it all night. I'm trying to find the right gain setting so that me and Smokey can match pitches. Let me do there is this. None. There is none. We've tried I'm an audio thing. engineer. <laughs> yeah, we need Cyrax hey. as our audio engineer on the show. We won't I'm gonna get the anything. satellite. We're gonna get the satellite man up in here one week as a guest. We won't offer you any payment, Cyrax. But what we will offer is uh, Ed this this rattly bottle I have here in my hand. What's in it? Yeah. I don't know. Ed wouldn't even have to question. He'd be like, "Oh my god, let me take it." Even if we put M and M's or Skittles in that bitch. Mm -hmm. I know how we'll get him. I'll just be like, "Hey, uh, you know, I'll, I'll give you this, and when you do end up in jail, which will happen." You'll be able to prep for uh, HIV. Oh, I thought you were going to oh, give him a shiv or something. No, something where he can like medically like prepare himself for what's going to happen. Like when Dead yeah. Rising, like Zombrex? <laughs> yeah, like Zombrex, but for AIDS. The same motherfucker. There's one person that keeps communicating <laughs> saying he's blaming my mother for his teeth. And this man is a fucking German. You hear that, German? My mother didn't have nothing to do with Germans. Hey, Alex, my mother was Jewish Alex and Catholic. mentioned earlier. My Alex father was Jewish and Catholic. You donated earlier, bro. Yeah. Tony's looking at you. Yeah. Tony's looking at you right now, brother. This is all based out of Germany. All these satellite shenanigans. We just tried to break something. That's it right there. Hmm. $500 quadrillion dollar wall suit or something. I think it's crazy that there are so that many like bilingual German people that know English. That's so cool. I've always wanted to know a second language. The politicians are responsible. I'd learn Swahili. We fractured it again. Something unique, like we're Yeah, I've it. learned I've learned bits and pieces of German through um through mm -hmm. Dragon Lord videos. Vina, Rua, Rua, Vina, like that. 
Sego. You have Vinar. Vinar. Eek, Vinar. Ooh, they louden. I don't know what they're saying, but this is what people are yelling at about Dragon Lord in certain videos. Dude, when they when Sam Hyde kicked a uh, a pedo off the show, he's like, "I'm gonna say this in terms that you'll understand," and he spit out like perfect Mandarin. Of course, he's he, like, of course he did. He's like, "Translation: I'm kicking you off the show effective immediately," and it was the right <laughs> translation. Like he'd practiced. And, wow, uh, it was impressive. It was, it was spot on. Plug. I got it from Amazon, but one of the websites there was Seago. Rhino Rui. There's a couple of websites. Uh, like Go V, Smart Plug. Shasp. Dick. You know, this satellite man keeps acting like he thought he was in the right. He doesn't. Anybody that's accused me of where they'd be trying to hurt me or trying to steal any of my money or depriving me of my wealth or my benefits or lawsuits can face the death penalty. You need oh, to face shit. the death penalty. You need to face the fucking death penalty. It's simple as that. I have had never had nothing to do with none of these people. They trespassed into my life. They're not his race. My my They're mouth. not his race. They're not Space his kind. Hit me in the jaw real hard right here. Oh, oh he God. doesn't look like Bane. He's like Iron Man. He is kind of like Iron Man with a fucking. I was looking at mask the on. bottom. Low ceiling fan company. Is that? I think that is what that is. That's a paintball mask, right? I don't know, man. It's got a. It, yeah, it doesn't look like it has any kind of like filtration you system on bread. it. So. Man, Not for construction. Hitting still hitting him in the teeth, Kiwi. Aw. Why is maybe the that's his problem? Because he thinks he <laughs> maybe that's races, maybe that's his problem. He's been welding with that fucking thing on. They had to believe them in their lives. Looking into the ark. More than likely, there's probably no Catholics that believe any of them, or any Jews that believes any of these Christian liars. I don't even know what he's talking about. German Christians it. that make up lies. Like I said, is there a fucking yeah, that's sprinkler on these tails? Making what's happening? Clicking sound again. They just did that. It's a satellite man. I'd be. I'm surprised he doesn't think that there's some kind of like explosive device in there. Oh God, yeah. I'm surprised he doesn't like try to have a taste tester for his food, even though he, he thinks, thinks, he thinks it might be poison. <laughs> then the there's a and call somewhere happening. He was not supposed to give that is. speech, Satellite Man. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, you fucking. Well, that's one of the fuck. reasons why the country uh, allowed porn on the internet, so satellite why? controllers won't be staring at people and fucking up their looks. What? Anyway, he might be onto something here. Do these people have to swallow their food whole? Like somebody's hitting them in the face, they'll say, oh, their people don't have any teeth. It's not because of me. It's not because of Tony. Do anybody else's teeth. Hmm? Never because of Tony. Tony's minded his own business. I'd love to do what he, know what he does for money. A blame can get you charged and put you in prison, government man. Yeah, charge and put you in prison, government man. He's he was checking there around the house. Do you notice that he's looking all around his house? Making then this government bitch is trying to call people heathens. Government she has bitch? spied on them in their own houses, eating their own food. See, he, he thinks he it's thinks a the she? government. I, but it's he, she, uh, it's any one of them, any one of them. I think it's they they <laughs> fluctuate. They're kind of like Tony. There's the satellite. What, was it? Natural what is it that he calls? What is it that he calls his? <laughs> he's got a well, name he's a for born it. hermaphrodite. No, he calls it. He has a name. His like uh, a ball gyna or something like that, dude. Vangina? What's he call it? No, he's got some fucking word. Oh, vangina. For his... vangina. Vangina. Yeah, vangina. Because yeah. <laughs> my, my 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 forty one inch penis and my vangina, it's all there naturally, naturally. And I'm get, I'm handsome. Know, they're, they're there, with my tiny balls, because you know, got tiny balls. You know, we, my father, my mother, my father, my father, and his grandfather, and all that, like. He goes in detail, bro. Yeah, it's always it's always about race, family, religion, and the government with Tony. I love it. And it's always the government. I've never seen him not talk about the government man fucking him up. Never seen one video about him 
like any video of Tony's without a mention of the government. Not never. Not never. Mm. Not never. You just spy on people and smack. I heard them you mouth. just realized that that was a double negative. No, me? The, yeah, I, I thought I was watching one of your streams and you're like, "That's what that means." Not never. He's double. Oh negative. yeah, no, because someone, gay. someone in the chat, someone in the chat brought that up. They're like, "Not gay, not never," and they're like, "Well, that means he is gay then." Yeah. Like, oh no, Tony, what are you doing? Like, now the satellite man's gonna be sending him letters calling him gay. You know he'll make a dude. That's <laughs> what. Where that's where if it wasn't for the teeth, Smokey, I'd think it was some elaborate act. But it's been going on for so long, and his teeth are so fucked up that it can't be an act. This is very no. Real. It's, it's how I felt with Papa Chu when I first started seeing his shit. I was like, has to be no fucking way. This is real. And then you mm -hmm. keep watching, and you're like, oh god, it is. But like, it's just, <laughs> Jesus. Get him on the Joe Rogan experience, yeah. I agree. Heathens. Get us on the Joe Rogan experience. And then that makes a person look like a heathen when their when their teeth are all jacked up. So like Joe, there's this guy called Chris Chan. Woman fucking up their like, teeth. that'd be content, uh, right? The guy from Charlottesville. The guy from the guy from Rutgersville. Yeah. Yeah, I heard that he doesn't to, do cold plunges. My cousin went to high school with him. My cousin went to high school with him at Manchester High. It's like, oh well, then you're gonna love this dude named Cyrax. Oh, champs. Chance, uh, I get stuff off of Ed. <laughs> Ed oh. Ed's one of the best pushers in Akron. <laughs> that's that's where Brett, uh, Brett, whatever his name is, Kreischer, gets all his fucking shit. <laughs> Whenever you the know, UFC's Ed. in Cleveland, I drive down to Akron and pick up my perk 30s from 339. You guys should slot on by. <laughs> This is all just advertising. All this Cyrax stuff is just advertising for Ed's booming perk business. Facts. You know? <laughs> Like I said, everyone's been sending Craigslist people to his house. I'm surprised they're not selling, sending fucking junkies there in the hopes that they can pick up a bunch of, a bunch of shit from Ed. Ed's like, you know, when that does probably happen, Ed's like, meet me around back. There's a, there's a little yeah, exchange. Not at all. He'll be like, he'll be like, get away from my fucking perks. Get away from my fucking perks. He's just, you ever seen the, uh, the movie Goon? Where like, I got two rules. I got two rules. Don't touch my perks. And do you have any perks? That's probably Ed's rule when you come in this house. <laughs> Ed just is a, a connoisseur of the pharmaceutical. <laughs> Ed. Yeah, he's a he's worth the video in and of himself. Yeah, after that last like footage came out of him, it's, there's definitely enough now. I heard his name is Roy. It's yeah, Roy Edmund like something. Roy, Roy and Patrick. Roy and Patrick. I can feel him pushing on my face right before they hit it. <laughs> They tried to make me miss his name sleep. was gonna be Patrick, sleeping. but we didn't think he had a chance of living, so we named him Chance on the fly, and he just kind of he just lived. Shanks. They think they're fucking funny. Shanks. My McDonald's beverage. I think it's crazy how Chance looks like a halfway normal kid. You Don't forget that. Yeah, I brought that up before to too. People's teeth in reference to people that drink from straws. And then it's like a curse was laid yeah, upon like a straw him. On your soft drink or beverage or something. Oh, hold up! Tony's now yeah. going into the logistics of the straws and the effects the government has on them. Good, good. This, this is important. Need to know. This is important yeah. in reference to straws. And if you ever go to McDonald's, you hear that eight hundred people. I really hurt my jaw. Really hurt my jaw. Poor Tony. You don't pay for that motherfucker. That's your replacement. <laughs> That then that motherfucker said, oh, he's a German. He said his teeth are irreplaceable. We need that man in court. Germans have a different lifespan of their teeth than other races. I shot that down. I shot like Germans that down. tried to play their game of fucking up other people's teeth that don't have those health problems with their teeth. And then they Then they thought it was unfair that some people have different genetics. But then these people murdered uh, Italians and other people that had nice quality of teeth. These people murdered them and stole their sperm or genetics and then tried to breed it and then tried to make false financial claims against the country of America is what some of these people did that got into government. They made up lies about their teeth when they were covering up that they're Germans. Exactly. Exactly. I, I couldn't agree more. That's what some of them have done. That's what whatever some race they are, Middle Easterners or Germans. You know what we should do next week for episode twenty? What? Play a drinking what? game every time Tony says the word government. Uh.
<laughs> I cannot do that with you again, dude. I can't, what, man. What was the last one we did? What was the drinking game on episode 10? It was something involving uh, White Bowser. It was... <sighs> well, oh, it was dude. every time he said something creepy. <laughs> it was every yeah. time he said anything creepy. And we were you blacked abused out by it. Now. We were blacked out yeah. an hour and a half into the show. <laughs> You just kept forcing it down my throat, basically. You were just like, drink, drink. Yeah, like, bro, I had, to, I had to. Because he was the funniest person to make a drinking game out of. There's no there's no other way around it. Yeah, man. He's a... Uh, fuck, dude. I don't know. We're going to do something cool for episode 20. Hey, so we're going to... This whole week, I'm going to be thinking of ideas and shit. Yeah. So I have to move around because I can feel him hitting me there. Feel him hitting me. Gotta keep dog bob face. and weave, bob and weave, Tony. This motherfucker's trying to play Simon Says torture games. <laughs> fucking, says they'll be burning you or hitting you. I love how he talks about this guy like it's an interpersonal thing. He's like this guy, like he knows he knows him so well, and he hears him talking to him all the time, and. It's like they know each other. The way he talks about these fucking government people is like he knows them on a personal level. Uh, very, very weird shit. Trying to make well, you move out yeah, of your yeah, own used chair. Video, all he used to do movies with the Satellite Man back in the oh, 70s man. and 80s. D did he actually have the movie credit or was that? I don't think so. I don't think oh, so. Man. That makes so much sense that Hollywood created this. At the time, it's like, wait a minute, I bought this chair. It's my chair. I live here. You don't live here. Government man. Yeah, you don't live here, government man. Look, he's still checking his house to make sure the satellite man isn't there. And these are politicians that are doing this shit, too. And, like, their brains are fucked up. Uh -huh. Yeah. See, <laughs> look. <laughs> he's making sure they're they not there. They claim they were running the fucking country. Fucking up Americans. He's too, eating his food American. like he's in fucking prison. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't no one gonna come here and stab me while I'm eating. <laughs> Gonna whack Tony at the end of the Sopranos. Doing, you're, gonna you're, you're gonna pay. You're gonna pay. Said, oh, they want that on the record. See, you're still claiming the government, man. You're still trying to claim that you thought you outranked me. That's why the news network and the Treasury and Supreme Court needs to know everybody in this country that's in this country that claimed they thought they outranked me in this country. We need every single person's name. All of them. You know, I don't, I don't do nothing. I don't get in anybody's life or anything like that. How do you outrank Nobody anybody, trespass then? trespass on my property. Yeah, you don't outrank Papa Tony. Come on. You don't got potatoes, baked potatoes in my corner. You don't even have <laughs> half of Papa Chew's buddy. <laughs> you hear that, though? You hear, he's just going on his rant, and he pauses. He stops. He goes, I got baked potatoes. He's got baked potatoes in the microwave. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what he's looking at. He's looking yeah. at his baked potatoes in the microwave, which, once again, using his microwave, that satellite food that's only going to mess up his teeth even more. He's so silly, as Tony, man. You just can't, you can't be, uh, you can't be using microwaves. You know the satellite man's in them. People in the in Tony's comment section were saying some really funny comments like, well, this is the closest we're ever going to get to a tinfoil hat with Tony's face mask. Uh, but it's it's pretty fucking close. And He's going to line it with lead to protect yep. from the satellite rays. He'll be out there with the fucking knight's helmet made of goddamn paper mache in no time. He's just nuts. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, that's really all Tony did this yeah. week. He got a new mask and he went on more tangents about the government. I feel like one of these weeks we gotta watch him like I'll watch through like all of his videos and find like the best ones where he's going off and we'll put him in like I did last week with Papa Chew. And I'll put mm. them all together into like a thing. Probably do that. That'll be something I'll do for next week. We'll get a Bet. good we'll get a good Tony, uh good Tony section. Bet. Uh man, so what do you think? We read them? Yeah. And, uh let me get some club. I'll throw some up here. I want to get like Club Doom in the background or something. Okay. Um, right. Guess Bo for the five. This isn't even. This doesn't even deserve a captain's log because this is dead serious. Everyone on the internet. Oh God, am I really gonna do this scream? Fuck, that's hard. You my mother it. and my father are angry at me. They're yelling at me. <laughs> That was that's great. The best, that's the best Chris ever. That's the fifth. And Bob, listen to me. Listen to me. You go get all that goddamn stuff off that internet. Go I'm, I'm working on it. I'm, work I'm working you on it. You go work on it. You go work on it. <laughs> I, I, I'll be I up am. all night with you if I have to. I, I, so I'm you working. go work on that right now. <laughs> oh, dude. That's it's the best. That's the best Chris ever. 
Oh shit, I need to get a Chris sticker in here. I was looking for a Chris sticker. That's too good. <laughs> Thank you, Gizmo. <laughs> oh my god. Um, I'm gonna say I just want to check real quick how many people we had in chat. We got about like 800 and uh yeah. And I bet you there was one person who was probably sleeping, fell asleep mid-show, and that shit just woke them up. <laughs> yeah, for real. We need to think of that. <laughs> no, nah, that's on them. There we go. Eyes open, boys. I hope that's not too loud. I feel like it's too fucking loud. Yeah, I think I think we got to. Uh, it's it's tough to do like the audio balancing for like a video is pretty easy, but doing a live stream, I feel like it's just it's like I just play, I just put songs up to my friggin' microphone, and even that's way too loud. Yeah, it is. Let me see here. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What's happening? There we go. That'll do. I think that'll do. Nice. I hope that's not too loud. That's Sons good. of Akron, LLC with the five. What up, boyos? Have a fiver. Love all my fellow Kiwi tarts. Sons of Akron, Akronia, bro. Those, yeah. those cards. Next week, you know what? Episode 20 next week, we'll show the cards. Yeah, it, it, man, it, we've been putting cool. it off. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there's, a, there's a hip new game. That all the kids are going to be enjoying. Yep. And uh, we'll, we'll show it to you Fuck next Uno. week. Fuck Uno. Fuck Magic the Gathering. Fuck Uno. Fuck all that shit. All this that is shit. like Pokemon, but better. It is. It is. <laughs> the next Yu-Gi-Oh. Thank you, sons. Another one from Guest Bo with the five. Fun fact about the creator of Sonic the Hedgehog. He is facing two years in a prison for insider trading of all things. <laughs> Let's look. Where, who's the creator of Kirby? Um, what's his name? Isn't it the same dude who made Smash? Uh, yeah, I'll show you the creator of Kirby. Fuck, what's Where his name? There? What's his fucking name? How do I? Um, no, I got it right here. Give me one second. How do I not know? He's the he's the Asian guy. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. He is. This is the creator of Kirby. <laughs> Mister oh, Sakurai. Fuck. It was no. Sakurai. This is just. This is the meme. I <laughs> uh, <laughs> found a new girl that I'm that I'm chilling with. She actually thinks this little cow stuff is hilarious. Showed her Tony Cobra and Cyrax. She thinks it's hilarious. That's what's up, dude. Yeah, that's that is what's up, Mr. Muda, man. I'm glad you guys can find some common interest in this. It's hard because most people would look at this and just go, "Man, you're uh, you're regarded." But for the people who do enjoy it, we're happy to have you here in chat every week. Yeah, for real. It's uh, it's always amazing, Muda, and that sounds like a keeper. It does, like a keeper man. If she likes little cows. It does, Muda. Best of best of luck to both y'all, man. Keep enjoying, uh, keep enjoying the cows. Yeah, for real, for real. Disgusting that the parents try to shield him. It's insane. Lost Q-tip. They're they're defending their little child predator son, and honestly, it's like, you know, most Sally and Ed have always proved to be very like one sided. They just think chance is right in all these situations. So you can't expect anything more out of them because they're always going to act like this. But it's always pathetic when you see them do it. Yeah. They'll never change either. Just like chance, they'll always, they'll never always defend him. Not never. Not never. Not never. Um, all right. Super trailer with the five. Oh, shit. Uh, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That that super chat didn't get read last stream, but thanks for the refunding me. Smokey, please do the impression of Riot doing Cosby. <laughs> By the way, F. Glendon Cameron. Super show has been asking me about that Glendon Cameron guy. We're gonna have to look into him more, but hmm. man, that Riot stream. I was sitting, I'm looking at my couch right now. I was sitting on this couch all night with Miss Smokey watching that, just like cracking up. That dude, the please don't go after Riot. He is special <laughs> That don't one Riot, please. <laughs> I, I didn't even want to be part of this. Just, just leave Raya out of this, please. please he, is, he has... <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know that whole thing. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. He just said, hey, just Chance, Chance, please, if you... I know it's ridiculous, Chance, but if if, if you can, I, I can't believe I'm asking you this, but if you, if you can, just please dance, Chance. I, I don't know. Oh, jeez. Stress that sigh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that was great. Super trailer got his money's worth right there. Sticky Finn with the two. I felt pretty low lately. Glad to see you guys. I'm sorry to hear that, man. It always gets better, you know? It always gets better. Um, It may not seem like it right now, dude. 
Yeah, but... it's sticky, man. Shit, shit can get low, but when it gets back up, bro, it's 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 the best feeling in the world. And you're gonna be back there before you know it. I know I may say that to a lot of people, and I say it a lot, but I guarantee you, man, life, life, they say it's, it's some generic ass shit, but it really is. Life's got us up and down. It's like a roller coaster and shit, bro. Mm-hmm. Maybe you like, maybe you want a corkscrew right now. I don't really know. I, I don't know exactly what's going on, but I tell you what, you'll be you'll be fucking. You'll be forgetting that drop the next time you're going up, and that next time you go up is going to be fucking before you know it, man. But you always got us here to chill with, man. You always got the homies in the comments. You ever feeling bad or anything, leave a comment. I'm sure people will be supporting you too, bro, and thank you. Yeah, the community is uh, full of love, man, and you got nothing but support here, brother. Thank you for the two. Max Axe with the two. Karen has to – she's got to cut down the internet. Cutting it down. Yeah, she's Karen, asking the police if she can cut it down. Yeah. Yeah, because she, like I said, that's who they're on the phone with. He's like, call Karen, get Karen on the phone, get Karen on the phone. It's like, but the cops are going to be like, oh shit, is that Karen? Karen, let him out, let him out the fucking cuffs right now. Like, Karen, Karen, what's up? We totally weren't here arresting this perfect, innocent Chance Wilkins. They, they don't give a fuck about whoever this Karen person is. Is that the landlord? They just, they're meeting quotas with all the, uh, the arrests they're pulling on Chance. They're out there meeting quotas. <laughs> yeah, way over their quota. <laughs> Thanks, Max Axe. MX Mr. White, you take it for the pod. Ed, Ed, Ed. There's no possible way me or Kiwi or probably anyone here could replicate the high pitch of that. I would love to be able to do that, but I can't. I can't pull off the high pitch screen. Cyrax is a, in a league of his own when it comes to them. He is. He's, it's bestial. It's yeah. Very, uh... Jonathan Ross. Jonathan Ross is one who could do that really well, which we covered him one time at the end of the show. We're made. That's another one I want to show you more of Kiwi. Jonathan fucking Ross. Like the Spurg outs were, were so crazy. Well, yeah, I've seen some of them. They were legendary. Bathtub Ross. Um, it's a good he's one of the ones. He's one of the pedophiles who's actually off the internet as far as like most people know and not like still on here and become being a fucking menace. So that's good, good. you know? Yeah, that is good. I know it's off topic. Thank you, Mr. Waifu Taker. But um fucking you hear about Adam Twenty Two? That cuck weirdo. Yeah, his his fucking wife getting her back blown out. I talked about this on my stream the other day, and I said, but it's not. I I understand that that's. I'm not going to justify that at all. But both of them are weird like that. Like that bitch has like. Isn't he fucking like a different bitch every day too? Yeah, man, he's got some weird ties to some weird shit, dude. Like yeah, he's got he's cucks. got like affamat tattooed right on him. Yeah, he's, got, he's, he's a weird guy, man. They're both cucks who are doing it for the money. So, you know, do your weird shit. It's just, I sure as shit wouldn't. Yeah, no, I would not. And now he's going to forever, like, be in contest with Sneeko for that hotel uh, chair position, you know? Yeah. I couldn't believe that EDP and Jiddy on stream from a few weeks back that Sneeko was so, like, adamant to be like, I'll just pay him. I'll just pay him. I'll pay that yeah. guy EDP to come on. And then, like I said, he leaves the stream for a little bit. And I guarantee you his agent or his manager called him and was like, yeah, don't do that. Do Dude, not you already have that. heat for supporting cuties the movie. Do not yeah. pay a pedophile. Yeah, you did. And he came right back and was like, oh, well, maybe not. <laughs> maybe yeah. not. You're, you're a weirdo, dude. You were just trying to pay EDP. Yo, they did this. A w- sorry, I'm going back to the fucking Adam. But yeah, they did I'm that sorry. a week after getting married. That's true. That's true. <laughs> we get for getting married. His fucking wife's getting piped down. Like, good, good on you, dude. Dude, Fuck, I couldn't imagine you know? being a being a toddler, and like growing up and discovering that like my oh. mom and dad did this shit. Well, like I said, that's oh. going to be a lot of. That's unfortunately going to be a lot of fucking kids in the next what 20, 30 years. Yeah. A lot of people. A lot of people nowadays are doing some degenerate ass shit on the internet. Like, can you imagine if someone like Cyrax ever does like reproduce? What do you think their Ugh. kid's going to think if they ever look that shit up? Oh, dude, I, I hope not. I hope, like, in the jail they had enough sense to get him fixed. Like, that's at least <laughs> what any good pound will do, right? They'll fix yeah. him before they just, like, like I, I don't know, man. I guess they put him down, too. Like, whatever. I support the dog pound's decision to do whatever they want with this certain <laughs> with this creature. Certain yeah. Cretan Cyrus. Yeah, I'm. Let's I'm be- not gonna fight. I'm not gonna fight him going to a kill shelter. Okay, like I'm not. I'm... Jesus. <laughs> yeah, but in the, speaking of speaking of some double Cyrax, <laughs> so we got some, another double Cyrax again from Forsaken Marksman, the Punished Goblin. Yo, 
1K live viewers. Yeah, we uh, I can I was um, I think a lot of people just wanted to hear about the Cyrax stuff, but we definitely had a good yeah. bit of homies in here tonight. I think at one point, Kiwi, we were at like 1.4. Yeah, we we hit 1.4 just barely, but we were riding at 1.3 for a good chunk. Yeah, yeah, and that was it was so. great to have everyone here tonight, man. I hope y'all enjoyed the show. Me and Kiwi do this every Wednesday, and like I said, mm-hmm. it's it never it, it's it's. I bet you, you know, some people who do shows like this, after a few weeks, they get burnt out. We, we've we been enjoying doing this like crazy. And, man, it ain't going to stop anytime soon, y'all. Next week, episode 20, it's going to be a big one. Yeah, yeah, we will, we're we going to do big plans. We got to – and I like that, like making maybe every 10th episode something special. But we got yep. a lot lined up for you guys in the future. So, like, I, I think it's going to be exciting times going forward. Yeah, I'm like, like if, and if I don't have any plans next week, maybe I'll just start prank calling people and we'll just try to get something. I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> probably not. But I'm just thinking, like, if I got to, we got to provide something like out there for y'all. So, yeah, we'll get you guys something. We might call Frosties or something. I don't know. Like <laughs> <laughs> I'll get only use me Blade's number off of something. Yeah. Just blow him up for a few hours. <laughs> yeah, we'll get him in here. We'll blade. <laughs> oh, my bad. So, no, you're fine. Oh, uh, far. Farfic, Farfic Nugan. Nugan. Farfic Nugan, man. Thank you for the 10. Did you guys see the follow up where Cyrax admits to all of his crimes and he thinks the court case <laughs> is somehow going to get all the trolls in trouble? Yeah, that's the one I brought up to you earlier, Kiwi. He thinks that he's just going to walk right back into YouTube, keep doing his shit. And he keeps saying over and over, I was well within my rights to do that. Like, so he's convinced that he's still like in the clear here because in his own mind he is. And that's why I think the people saying, is he going to like chirp out and fucking freak out at a. Uh, at the judge when he's in court. I really do. Cause I think mm-hmm. whatever the judge says, he's going to be actually your honor, actually your honor, your honor. Actually, I have proof on my cell phone. My mom has it in her purse. And these <laughs> trolls have been, these trolls have been going at me for seven years. Your honor. They, they threatened my mom's life and your honor. They did all the, And like, he's going to, he's not going to be able to stop because he thinks that he's in the right. Even if it's the law doesn't fucking matter because Cyrax has his own laws in his own mind. And that's what he, that's what he follows. And I really do think when he goes into that court and they say anything to him that he doesn't agree with, he's not gonna be able to keep his fucking mouth shut. No way. I believe what it's going to end up happening is he's going to be ordered to be mentally evaluated. Um, maybe they'll offer to put him in a home. I don't know, but he'll be mentally evaluated. He'll get probation and probably have to pay a fine for all of this. Um, most likely most likely it's nothing serious but i i definitely see a mental evaluation coming out of all of this because it's obvious like the, how weird this is and maybe uh they're gonna try to do something to put a stop to like all these calls out to 339 yeah. they might yeah, be like probably. hey you have to be off the internet it's a condition of your probation so i, I don't know the fact that he brought it up like in that in that when he's in that squad car like i said it's later in the video he brings up the fact that the landlord has already made that ultimatum clear. And the mm-hmm. way he looks at it is, well, we can't get evicted because I can't like not have a house. But also I can't not leave the Internet because he yeah. doesn't even think of that as a possibility. He, we, he immediately jumps to we can't get evicted. Why can't you say, well, then I guess we're going to have to turn the Internet off. He didn't even think that that was a possibility. He'll he just started. turn his fucking hotspot on. That's yeah. how he's getting around it. He's like, oh, it's not the Internet. I have my hotspot. It's like, no. Yeah. You're still antagonizing people to come out here and pick it in front of my fucking rental property. Yes. And that lady, like I said, it's she's she's trying not to like put them all out on the street like Sally and them. But I swear to God, this shit keeps happening. There's no way they keep putting up with this because even the cops are telling her our advice is to evict them. We've been here dozens of times is what they said. One officer. 100 and 113 since I think 2019. Oh. That's November. thousands. That's not, if not tens of thousands in taxpayer dollars and police resources. Yep. Yep. Wow. Yep. It's crazy, bro. Fuck, it's crazy. Dude. That they, they got to do something, man. They, <laughs> they got to do something. They, they want them the fuck out of there. Tiamat. Oh, oh, you go. Yeah. You go. Okay, I'll go. Tiamat 023. I had something really funny to say the first time I tried super chat, but it didn't go through. So you get this. Hey, Tiamat. Well, that one. That one's just as good. I like the yeah. I like the picture there. I think that's what is that like a dragon? It's, it looks like it's emerging from the sea. Is that Papachu? Is that Papachu when he emerges from the it's sea? It's fucking Tiamat, is what it Tiamat. is. <laughs> Some well, sort of I'm, I don't know. I, I'm I'm saying I'm saying that's a version. That's how the the people of yesteryear drew Papachu when they saw him emerge from the ocean. <laughs> but nonetheless, Tiamat, thank you so much for that, man. We appreciate it nonetheless. And like I said, bro, it's always it's always generous. Thank you. 
Papa Chu is Cthulhu. He is an old one. Cthulhu Chu? Yeah, Cthulhu Chu. I gotta shout out some gifters real quick. Max Dagger gifted 20 fucking memberships. What? Max, yeah, yeah, I got, we got a couple people to thank here. Thank you so thank much, you, Max. Max Dagger, man. Thank you, brother. I hope you're still here, man. If you have anything you want to tell the people, you say it now. Yeah, we'll you have the people's the voice. It's bullshit that they don't let you write a message with the gift subs, too. They should yeah. let you write a message with that. I don't get that. Yeah. I wish it popped up here in the stream labs, but it's not. So. But we thank you so much for the 20, dude. You made 22 Facts. people's nights, Max Dagger. It's good to have you here, bro. Facts, thank man. you thank so you, much. Max. I also got to thank Metal Wolf for 20 gift as well. Metal <laughs> Wolf. You go. Yeah, dude, he's he's been around a fat minute, Metal Wolf. Oh, God, yeah. And I believe he's been gifted a membership before, if I don't, and he's just, like, paying it forward. And yep. that's amazing. That's so nice of you, dude. You look and chat a lot of people green. Yeah, it's <laughs> rare to see yeah. anyone. It's rare to see anyone not anymore. Yeah. Yeah, th thank you, Max Dagger. Thank you, Metal Wolf. You guys are fucking amazing. And we hella appreciate your support, as always. Absolutely, um, man. Thank you. Another one we have to give a gigantic shout out to is Mr. Muda, who gifted 10 memberships earlier. Muda, guess Mr. thank yeah. you, brother. He's a fucking saint, ain't he? Muda is really like, he's into the shows and we love hanging out with you, man. Well, now it's we gonna love get hanging even, out with all of you. Yeah, now it's going to get even better, bro, because he was just saying his girl's now getting into mm -hmm. it too. This is going to be like a Wednesday night uh, tradition. Yeah, facts. Facts, man. Oh, let's see here. Is Metal Wolf, did Metal Wolf say something? I see his name pop up in chat. I don't see him. Oh well. Spurg moment. Thank you so much, Muda. Um, another one? Oh fuck, I think I wrote this down wrong. Oh god. You cool? It says, Men Ment 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 EXO. Ment EXO. Thank you for the five gift, bro. I, I probably said your name wrong. I'm so fucking sorry. You gifted hey, earlier. Man. Uh my handwriting yes, is not you. much. My handwriting is not much better than my pronunciation. My literary skills are really weak. So, uh, I am so sorry, Mento X. I, I hope I got that fucking right, dude. And I got to give another big shout out to Austin, who gifted five memberships too, dude. We hella appreciate you. Good to have you around. You made seven people's nights. Facts. Um, Thank you, Austin, babe. I'm outside yes. right now, and someone's got their car running, so much you loud. No, I, I can't hear shit. Okay. Uh, thank you, Austin. Thank you, Menti XO. And Nunya gifts five memberships as well. Thank that you, Nunya. WD business? Yeah, Nunya D business. D. What's up, Nunya <laughs> man? Thank you, bro. Thank you to all y'all. Mento, Austin, yeah. Mr. Muda. I have mm -hmm. another Jammer X back there, Metal Wolf. Man, thank you to all you guys tonight. Yeah, that's all the gifters. I'll just read out their names. We've got to thank Entropic Star Kid, Rose T, Keems Bogar, Max Axe, Nikolai, Dubious Dinkster, Morgan, Jammer, uh, Mustard, Max Dagger, Metal Wolf, uh, Mento X, Austin, and Nunya. You guys are fucking amazing. Thank you all. Yeah, thank you guys, man. Much love. Let's read another one of these. Jammer X, <laughs> can we make a deal, Ed? Do something truly the mind of a criminal, right? Right? Trying to get Ed to attack. Also trying to make bribes with the police. Jammer X, he needs to be locked up tight. Can't be having this menace out on the streets. Yeah, the, honestly, then that's the thing. He's a threat to public safety, Jammer. He needs to be dealt with. And I'm talking about Ed, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. look at that fucking face, bro. Yeah. That cannot be allowed. That you need to go. Allowed. You he need to go. He can't people that they can't be on the sidewalk. Like, he's a menace. He's a menace. He's trying to, like, he, Papa Chu is the king of the sea. Ed thinks he's the king of the sidewalk. And he probably yeah. is, considering how many times he's been slumped on the sidewalk in a fucking doped out uh stupor but still can't, that's can't. his second bed yeah that yeah, sidewalk. yeah yeah you got a <laughs> pillow out there in case he ever passes out <laughs> thank you dude um it's the return of the cyrax pig squeal we yeah yeah for real i put him i used to do all these memes back in my old videos and uh i put him in the fucking like uh deliverance one He'd just fit right in. Squeal like pig. Thank you, Cosbio. The Smoking Gunman YouTube with the five finally caught you guys live. Sorry, I burped. And you guys are goats. 
Been waiting to hear what you guys had to say about the good old goblin getting arrested. Thank you so much for the five, man. We've been chomping at the bit to cover this. It's big Facts, Rax yeah. news. Yeah, man. Like I said, it just sucks. It sucks with all the striking shit going down. I, I've, I've always been a firm believer that not a soul. Everyone, even, even little creeps like Cyrax, everyone should be on. Everyone can have their voice heard on YouTube, especially the creeps, because then you know who you got to look out for. Mm hmm. Exactly. Everybody should know about this because he's a, you but know, he's sneaking that, around the internet. But for people who are just making content on people like Cyrax and all that, and the fact that YouTube agrees and takes it down, fuck you. Fuck yeah. you. Yeah, I don't like it one bit either. <laughs> Dr. Dr. Nigus wow. B. Wideland. Yeah, you tried with that one. You tried with that one. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's like Whitney, Wisconsin, because he's got that dog in him. Yeah, he just, <laughs> he's oh, for the man. streets. <laughs> man. <laughs> Is that that police officer? Uh, I think so. It's either her yeah. or a porn star who fucks dogs. <laughs> oh, Oh yeah, the the one girl, the dog fucker from Keemstar. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> D3RB5 with the five. Cyrax couldn't send a T-ball four feet off the T with those swings. Yeah, Must I couldn't agree more. Wrists. I could not agree more. Cyrax's first dream was to be a baseball player, remember? But I believe he wanted to be a pitcher. Now, they don't really teach. Well, in Little League, they'll teach you to do everything because you can pitch and hit. But when it gets time for the major leagues, you know, a pitcher is a pitcher. They don't bat, especially now in modern day leagues with the designated hitter. Cyrax, though, I don't think as a pitcher would have done good. And especially as a batter, after seeing that swing, wouldn't have done good. I always said that he was more of a contact guy. He clearly doesn't have the power. He, I, when I did Cyrax's baseball career, he hit one home run in like 50 games however he did have the highest average with all hits all year so maybe the little guy could get something going with a bunt but then again he's not fast his knees would break when he runs too fast because he's so frail so when it comes to baseball and cyrax these two things just simply don't mix mm -hmm. you see uh his problem is he's spamming r1 when he needs to hit that r2 like <laughs> legitimately he's putting no effort into those swings he's just getting them out fast yeah I can, I, and I'm not going to call out Kiwi here. I can tell I play too much and they'll be the show. O is the contact swing, the O button. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and Cyrax here. Cyrax is a steady O button guy. I tried yeah. Calvin swinging with him once, bro. It went right to the shortstop. No fucking, no distance for Cyrax. He's the bunt king. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> Nikolai oh, JV for the five. You know you're in a bad position when you're screaming for a Karen's help. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly, right? Exactly. He's screaming for the fucking support of Sally, who probably just wanted him out the fucking house so she could get some sleep. Um, yeah. But, you know, she was going to defend Cyrax. She wanted to keep him out of jail. But, you know, that's what happens, as we brought up already, when you fucking treat. When you tell the guy, basically, he's never going to get in trouble for nothing because Sally never put the foot down. He never expects to get in trouble for nothing. Then shit like that happens. They just they just stood there and let the police take him away. They don't give a fuck. Bastards. They just let him take him away. Cosby O with the news. Sally the next morning. Ed, Ed, listen. It's quiet. <laughs> Ed, Ed, listen, it's quiet. And they both stand there holding hands. They're like, we're free. We're it's free. over, honey. And, th and then they get a call from the police department. Yeah, chances bail is set. Fuck! Fuck! <laughs> we gotta go get him. Like, come on. Like, we only had a few hours. Money in the there bank. There goes my money. perk money for the <laughs> week. There goes all my perk money for the week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, Thank it's, you, it's a sad day in the Wilkins household. Yeah, will Art, can I do a dab with Smokey and Kiwi? Live facts. Yeah. I'll, I'll take his dab right now, Will. Bet. Oh shit, my fucking cart's plugged. Nah, man, it's really fucking plugged. Um, the way to fix that is, at least I've found... <coughs> Actually, I take that back. I've never found a way to fix that. Yeah. I love that right there. Yak Ak, welcome. You're you filthy tapist. Off? You could hit twist the head off of an old one and try to replace it. I don't know if that'll help though. I mean, it's just a weird card. It's almost done anyways. It's just I, acting up. I got a three gram card right now, bro, and this shit's been putting me on my ass. Like I didn't mm. even know they made three gram cards. This shit is busky. Yeah, they're really they're looking after the people these days, giving us more mm -hmm. and more in one mm -hmm. container. Jackal 205 for the five. 
all bow before method <laughs> that's good defender of the sidewalk popper of the perks wrangler of goblins and lover of sally you it's see? the method man yeah the method <laughs> man. that's perfect perfect with facts jack well you know you gotta bow before ed got it he's 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 all knowing he'll put your fucking pucks on a dresser and just beat them beat them with a fucking baseball bat and that that's how the song goes <laughs> Yeah, I that last I dab took me out. Fuck Christ! I love Wu Tang Clan. I love Wu Tang oh, Clan. Yeah. Uh, Wubbazing with the ten, my itch for some racks content was going off, and oh boy, it was scratched with one. Of the, this one, this boys. One, yeah, dude. Yeah, much Man, love to you too. Facts, Wubbazing, bro. I'm, I'm glad you enjoyed it, bro. And thank you for the support, bro. Always great to see you here. Yeah, Wubbazing, we hello appreciate you. Um, Emperor's New Groove, goaded movie. Thank you so much for the 10, brother. And this scratched my itch for it, too. We've been needing something like this. El Tequila with the two. Rax quoting my Kiwi Farms post was great. Whoa. So that's the person who says that they made that uh, a Kiwi Farms post. That's pretty cool. Uh, I know that we have some Farms users in chat. But yeah, he's he, he's done his research on you, El Tequila. He's got you figured out. Uh, you're you're part of apparently the fucking the, if he took, gang. If he took three shots of tequila, he would have to get his fucking stomach pumped because he'd have alcohol poisoning. I've I've maintained that since day one that Cyrax probably can't handle more than like a few beers without like like look at his size. Like the fuck, mm -hmm. he, he's probably the big, biggest lightweight in the world. I think he's got like one kidney already. So yeah, I don't think he can consume alcohol. And I think Sally made that very apparent to him that like. It was dangerous for him to consume substances, and that's why he's so anti-drug. Pussy. Well, he's a, Pussy he's, a, he's a CM Punk fan, straight into society. Yeah, that makes him so much worse. God yeah, damn. Right? <laughs> CM Punk, I mean. Necromans are complete for the 10. They probably have to wash that cop car down, disinfect it oh, and yeah. everything, bro. It's like Daniel Larson on an airplane. That Wow, that's amazing. We didn't even mention Larson. But then again, there's not much going on with him. It's um, going to be the end of uh, super bad levels of what they do to yeah, that cop car. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I thank you so much, Necromancer. Thank I you, believe, Necro, bro. I believe that Cyrax continues to be a blight upon um, the Akron taxpayers, and I would oh, be, God, I would be worst. fucking, I'd be fucking furious if I lived in that town and I knew that I had to pay property tax, and like that went towards fucking police that had to deal with him all the time it's just bullshit the whole situation is bullshit but this assault was a real a real issue that cops should have been called out for yeah um all those wellness checks though they're that's a little different of a story loon loon bad rue with the two sally worried baby boy gonna get his back broke i mean it yeah. already looks like his back is broke like he's fucking hunched over so much he looked like you could they could use his back as a table yeah, dude, honestly, um, I don't, there's the scoliosis, bad yeah. scoliosis. He leans forward. It's like yeah. a leaning, um, I, I can't even explain it. It's like, there's not a single thing that is normal about the proportions of his of arms to the proportions of his Nothing. legs. Nothing. Um, there's no, there's very few humans who probably have the same properties as Cyrax. Yeah. And he really, see, that's the thing he really could have if capitalized and like if he was a youtuber that wasn't a scumbag piece of shit he'd probably have viewers just because of his his unique like look if he was a like super nice guy let's just this alternate dimension where rax is a nice guy like he'd probably have viewers um yeah i mean like i said t sim fuckus he'd be this generation's t sim fuckus <laughs> yeah right this generation's boogie Quorum TV, you guys are the best. Tapes is my dyslexic brother. Wish I could give more, but hot Asian wives cost a lot. Mm. Well, man, True. yeah. Yep, that is it does that is worth some money. Mrs. Gets, Kiwi Mrs. Kiwi always gets on to me for not respecting Thai culture as well. And I just, you know, I don't I ain't having any of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't be you can't be wearing lingerie in five star restaurants, you guys. You yeah. Get it the fuck together. For real. I hate it when Mrs. Kiwi does that. 
<laughs> but you boys and man for the five. Every single one of those officers is a seventy-five percent chance of bringing home bed bugs now. Absolutely. Yep. That other cop, the bald one, the only reason why he was so smiling is because he knew the rest of them would have to shave their heads because of lice. And he was like, "I'm already did it. Fuck you guys." Like, I've been I've been through this. He's a, he's been out to the Akron yeah, residence I've, once I've and he's prepared. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, see what I've been telling. It's probably like a rookie there who's never seen him before. And he's like, hey, this, hey, this is, is what funny. we've been talking this is about. Funny. This is a new thing? Yeah. <laughs> and there's other cops like, shut the fuck up, Johnson. Shut the fuck I, up and go back to your squad car. Like, we never, like, don't you ever ask about 43 Wilkins again. Dude, there is a high possibility that one member of the Akron PD has viewed uh, a video or two of ours. Just like, because it's probably so interesting to them. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised. It's just they, and not even because it's interesting, because they probably need to hear more about this guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Like they want to know, they probably want to know why everyone's calling him a pedophile. Yeah, you know? exactly. Uh, exactly. Max Dagger, 22 with the two. Ever look into Eric Mays? Who's Eric Mays? I have not. I have not. Uh, I'll add him to the list. I have this massive list. Yeah. Yeah, I'm uh, finally getting through some. I said Tofia Chu and Tony are now crossed off. And Ann Papa Chu. Um, oh, that Tofia Chu video, bro, is amazing. Yeah, at least I'm going to link I, that yeah, while we're still here. Yeah, we dropped that Tofia Chu video last night. A lot of people told me they really liked it. It's, for most people, you know, because look, me and Kiwi, we clearly have a specific audience. Sometimes our audience expects more of a hardcore form of locale because Cyrax is about as hardcore as you get with how mm -hmm. much he screams and all the shit he does. So when people see Tofia Chu, they're like, ah, boring TikTok girl. I'm telling y'all, once we see Papa Chu, game over. Game over. This dude. She does crazy. not look like a boring TikTok girl. She looks like a fucking escaped something. I think like. it's just because, I personally think it's just because I got like once you once like I got half I got done the video about Tofia and then I started looking into Papa Chu and I was like, fuck, fuck Tofia. Like Papa Chu is where it's at. Like so I think anything after that, like anything I went back, I was like, yeah, boring now. I want to hear more of Papa Chu's ramblings about the world government again. Yeah. That's no, you're right. I think Papa Chu's definitely more of a draw. Like her and the old Asian foreign things, buddy, but like Papa Chu and the prostitutes all being legalized, that's gold. Yeah, he's out of he's out of fucking mind. Yeah. Like that's why like like he's like I like covering guys like a Tony Chase, you know, like a Cyrax, all these delusional fucks. And Tofia's definitely delusional. She ain't as delusional as Papa Chu. <laughs> Papa Chu. Yeah. Like, like I could I could feasibly see. Tofia Chu finding like getting enough money off of her like TikTok and all for her to make a small living. I could not see Papa Chu being handed nine hundred and ninety nine zillion dollars. Like it's just that simple. Um, He's a, yeah. he'd earned it. He has his reasons. He's earned it, Smokey. Yeah. And you, and you the white, my, and wait for my instructions. And then he gets yeah. that look. Like I gotta find a crucifix and do the thing three times. You, the kind of white man, that's the problem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the questionably white man, you. you. <laughs> Remove yourself from government. <laughs> I command and it. yourself <laughs> and your family and your associates. <laughs> Thank you. And he just, he just rips his cigarette, bro. Like he's like, you know he means business. No crucifix this time, just sig. Woo. He could probably do some sick cigarette tricks, bro. Like pop, pop that shit in, he work probably it around. Eats that motherfucker. He could probably just eat it, like light it, take a hit, and then just, uh, just eat that shit down. No wasting in that house. Yeah, but tobacco, the, the, the tobacco feels better when it's on your stomach. The back, <laughs> it's like food. It's like eating rice. Nikolai JV for the two. Cyrax for the cops. Do a drift. Yeah, you know what, Nikolai? It's probably one of the very rare times he's in a car. Uh -huh. Like in general, because he never leaves his house. But the fact that he's in a cop car, he's probably like, whoa, this is like I'm playing the crew too. <laughs> Do a drift, cop. Come on. Like you, you but if, if he was in a better mindset, if they if they were like, Hey Chance, we're taking you down to the station to question you on like, you know, what happened and all he probably would have been in the good mood. But the fact that he was crying and all, I don't think any drifts came to his mind. How much do you want to bet that his obsession with like cars and drifting and shit was like one of his high school buddies is like, Hey Chance. You want to come and not drink beers and drift on these back roads with me? And Chance is yeah. like, sure, man. Uh, that oh, that surely doesn't yeah. entail any sort of sexual favors, right? And the guy's like, no, no, no sexual okay, favors. Okay, Jake, I'll be right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, Rax is getting he, pounded on the drift track. 
Jake takes him out there and he's like, all right, time for you to learn how to drive stick shift. And then, uh, you know, you know, it just goes from there. It just goes from there. Poor old Chance. Got <laughs> got. Max Dagger 22 with the five. When Tony passes, the tapist army need to show up at the funeral in men in black type suits and say nothing. Yeah, prove him right. Oh, Give him man. that. That, Given that that dono made me think of something so much more sad to be honest i don't want to take this thing in this turn but he clearly if he had like family or anything they would try to do something about this that's that just made me sad realizing when someone like tony goes there's not going to be anyone there that's there won't be a funeral there won't that well, yeah because the satellite men are going to abduct him before but i mean yeah his whole body's going to be dissected and sold but like like god damn even cyrax will have sad 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 and ellie i was gonna say <laughs> uh fucking sally and ed um at his funeral and just woof i don't know why i'm going down this road now so i'm gonna get off this but yeah bro. Yeah. <laughs> facts facts Tape we're the tangent the kings the problem is the problem is we have <laughs> there's like over like 900 to close to a thousand members so tune nine 900 to a thousand people in black suits show up to a funeral Oh my god. <laughs> Cody's gonna nuts. be like that screaming be in nuts. his thing, like, I was right! They're all here! The fucking government, man! They all showed up! Like, I think, uh, I think old Tony definitely, and you're kind of breaking up for me. I don't know if you are for the chat. Is that me? My bad. No, I think you're back. It was just, it's probably just on my end because chat says it's fine. But, um, okay. yeah, we, we need to go, you know? I'll, I'll try to put some sunglasses on over my VHS tape face, but, uh, I don't know how well that's gonna go. Smokey's avatar needs some sunglasses. He fucking can't. Yeah, I know, right? I got a tight <laughs> shit. I love that avatar, dude. I love that avatar. It's so, so do good. I. I fucking love it. Lost, Lost I guess yeah, most you go. of Perry stuff is fake yet. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> I don't think so, dude. I just saw the car that Perry was in that he crashed in, and uh I mean, it's fucked looking. I'll he, say this. He, I'll say this. I thought he was all legit, and then I watched your stream when we watched Windy City Heat, and that's when I realized, oh, it's an act. It's like wrestling, you know? No, dude, don't. No, <laughs> no man, I'm going to believe in Santa, <laughs> dude. I'm, I want to believe in Santa, bro. I think He's it's eating like, pig brains on stream. Like, he's I legit. I don't want to ruin it for anybody, but I just, that's, my, that's my opinion. Uh, maybe it's not true, but that's my opinion. I'm still, I'm still not against like Terry, Perry content. I was thinking Terry Davis, uh, but it's just like, yeah, like, I, I, I'm, I'm at least, I'm convinced of it. But like I said, we'll see. Oh, <laughs> I don't. I'll show you. I'll show you the car. I'll show you the car someday because he had to have took a hell of a conk. It is fucking okay. fucked up. He took a brutal crash, and he hasn't been the same. But I get what you're saying because I have that. I have the doubts myself. I just want to believe it because it's so fucking funny. I know, I know. Um, I feel you. Nikolai, Nikolai JV with the two. the two footy footy kicks in the slippers. Chance, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Put on your pajamas, Chance. Yeah, come on, <laughs> Chance. Put on your Demon Slayer shirt. Come on, Chance. <laughs> it's time for bed. The bed's in a jail cell tonight, so. You don't want to go to prison without people knowing that you're a Hashira, Chance. <laughs> Come on, Chance. <laughs> Thank you, Nikolai. Much love. Max Dagger 22 with the two. Rax looks like a premature Draugr from Skyrim. Yeah. Yeah, he does. Oh, yeah, he does. Draugr See him down overlord. in the fucking crypts and shit? The crypts of Akron? The catacombs of Akron? Mm. Yeah, dude. He honestly... He looks like your stereotypical Nord player. Anybody who plays Nords in Skyrim, he looks like that. That's, that's, that's good, too. Um, you know. I think any bald fucking deformed thing could be made an argument that it looks like Cyrax. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Florbo and Jason for the 20. Did Arax try and explain the ice bullet to these cops as justification for self-defense to be a bat? Um... I don't know. He probably exp tried to explain a lot of things. Um, maybe he did bring up the ice bullet because I think that guy, and I don't know if it was right then, but I'm pretty sure that dude uh, claimed or said to Cyrax, I don't know, that he was the one who fired the ice bullet. 
uh, which I, I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. But he probably Them's fighting try, words. Yeah, he probably did try to use that as one of the things. Like, they fired bullets into my window. Like, you know, he tried using everything in the book he could. Because he thought, he really, you could tell. Most people know when you get handcuffed in your back of the cop car, there's really nothing you can do. Cyrax up until they got there was still trying to kind of make them think, you know what, let's turn this car around. Go put this guy back in his house. Like, he was hoping for that until probably the second they put him in the cell and walked away. Yeah, they're like, no, you know what? We're changing. We're switching up. We're going rogue. We're gonna. We're gonna be your personal security force yeah. now, Chance. We've been so moved by your Kiss. story. Yeah, actually, we're gonna ask Sally to clear out the basement. And we're gonna start. We're opening operations there to take down all these cyber trolls. And if any of these guys come to your house again, we'll just shoot them. <laughs> that's what he wanted them to say. Yeah. That's what he wanted them to say. For real, he he wants. That's what he wants. He thinks he has such a silver tongue. He'll be able to talk his way or like whine his way out of anything because it worked with Sally all the time. Why won't it work with government officials? Um, he's right. Floor, yeah, he's floor, right. <laughs> Florbo adjacent. Thank you so much for the yeah, 20, man. He did. 20, brother. He, he tried to use the ice bullet as an excuse, and we all know that's been debunked. I thought that it had happened, that he'd been shot at at first, but it's, it's fucking fake. It's all fake. Yeah. Yeah. Something <laughs> fell. Pro Dello for the two. Ah! <laughs> but yeah, that's that's his thing, bro. Why won't it's you a... leave me alone, boy? <laughs> that was there's so uh, many good Cyrax screams out there, bro. His nose isn't the same either. Like his nose is a little crooked. Oh yeah, no, no, you got that mush nose. Straight up Gargamel. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Um, Kozak for the yeah. ten. Been a while since I caught a live. Hope you guys are doing well, Kozak, bro. It's great to see you back. And hell yeah, man, we're doing great. Hope you're having a good night, and I hope you've enjoyed the show tonight, brother. Yeah, thank you. That's crazy to think that we got people watching in New Zealand. It's probably pretty late over there. It's always crazy, bro. I had a guy one time comment on my video saying that he listened to uh, one of the old smoke shows as he's driving his truck through, like, fucking Saudi Arabia. And I was just like, that's so wild. Wow. That's so wild to me. <laughs> like, like, yeah. I don't know why, but it's just that's cool. No, that's so fucking cool. Like, I had a guy who said he was from uh, Hungary, and he hated it. What? He hated the country. He kept talking <laughs> shit on it the whole time. I hate Hungary. There's never yeah. enough food. <laughs> He's like, you ever hear of this shithole called Hungary? And I'm like, whoa. <laughs> He's like, geopolitically. And he just... <laughs> it was good. Sure. It was a good encounter. I feel you on that. Jordan Reynolds for the two. Cyrax should have been on Lost Tapes. Love y'all. I'm not sure what Lost Tapes is. You don't know what Lost Tapes is, bro? No. Um, I'm going to do you a favor. You can look up some episodes on YouTube. It's an old Animal Planet show where they did like, uh, kind of like a found footage over monsters, Bigfoot, or like the Dover Demon and stuff. Oh. It's badass. Okay. Um, it's pretty corny and low production, but like it scared the shit out of me as a kid. And it's of course, it, of course, Let's yeah. It though, man, it's all on like Discovery Plus too. I love it, but he should have. He he would have been great in like uh the vampire episode. He would have been great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I haven't seen it yet, but anything involving a vampire with Cyrax. <laughs> again, the Akron blood sucker. Again, the blood you just, sucking. Like, bitch. No, I'm thinking. What did I just say? Anything bald and deformed? Immediately, I thought mm -hmm. of Nosferatu. Cyrus. A Falmer. I saw that in chat. Like a Falmer. Yeah. Fucking, <laughs> yeah. Chaos. <laughs> a little killer. centipede. That's true, too. Like centipede. There's so many. You name anything, anything out there, it's Cyrus. Mm. <laughs> Chaos Kill 721. I hope, I hope we someone able record Cyrax count stream. I'm not huh. sure exactly that is Chaos Killer. Yeah. Um, Maybe that's his... Oh, oh, Court Street. Court Street. Oh, yeah, 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 totally. The Farms is definitely uh, attending and documenting. I yeah. don't know if anybody will get footage. Yeah, but we do... We did have... We did have the... um Because you mentioned the guy's name earlier. So the guy who went and he put his whole, like, testimony of what happened on the Kiwi Farm. So I'm pretty sure we'll find out when it happens. Yeah, definitely definitely chaos killer Whoa. terry flanagan for the 10 hey boys love you both i'll have to watch his back i hope you covered Rax. always said he wasn't afraid to go to jail and yet i'm scared he yeah when we cover all that shit I, I, I can't wait for you to see it there carrie and he like i said but you're right he's always talked about that like i've been to jail 
I've been to jail, all that shit. And now he's like, Ed, stop him. Ed, Ed, help. Like, Mom, like, Mom, save me. <laughs> There's nothing I can do, Chance. I but will go to court for you, Chance. Yeah, I will go to court for you, Chance. But until then, I'm getting sleep. I haven't gotten good sleep <laughs> in 32 years. Ed has been busy cleaning out dog kennels all day, Chance. We need to get some shut eye. Ed's already all perked up, ready to go to bed, and here you are. Going to make him use tomorrow's dosage, too. Where's he going to find the $35 for the for the next week's dosage, Chance? Get in the car. Yeah, exactly. They, they're they pissed. This whole situation is fucked up, right, Gary? Yeah, and they're, they're not they... blaming Cyrax for none of it, even though he went and swung a fucking baseball bat at the guy. They're blaming the guy. Ed said it best. Well, what y'all doing is fucked up. Yeah, what y'all doing is <laughs> fucked up. Spark in that mouth. <laughs> Thank you, Carrie. <laughs> Ice baby, y'all want to see a guy eat his eyes? What? No. No, no thank you. No. <laughs> no. But love y'all. That's what's up. We love yeah. you too, Ice baby. But definitely. I don't, I don't know if I'm trying to see that. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm good off that, homie. But thank you. Reinvented man with the 279 Canadian. I just realized this was a live stream. Yeah, we didn't make hey. that a apparent <laughs> yeah. yeah well man i hope you enjoyed watching it all brother and i hope you're still here chilling with us reinventing man thank you for the 279 brother yeah every episode of too high for stupid is live wednesdays at 6 30 eastern time guys it's all yeah. live and afterwards it's over on kiwi's archive channel we got to put mm -hmm. that like on a place for people to like i'll have to put that on my channel or something for people to go watch these yeah, dude, and if you want to upload them to anything, like, to your secondary channel, let me know. I can send you over uh, the full yeah, files definitely. if you ever want that. I'll let you know. So. Like I said, I want to, maybe one of these times for, like, one of the big episodes, we'll do, like, a best of something. Go back and look at all of them. Yeah, yeah, for sure. People people want that. They want best of two Ivers, stupid. Do a timeline from White Bowser to now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, that's going to be so crazy, man. Yeah. <laughs> The Weasel for five. Cyrax came out looking like Calabos from Clash of the Titans 2010. That's a good, that is a good one. But I, when, the, the first thing I saw when I saw Cyrax came out looking like, I just saw the Weasel. He just looks like a fucking Weasel. <laughs> but you're definitely right on Calabos too, brother. Thank you for the five. He kind of also looks like Hades from Clash of the Titans too. A little just balder, you fair, know, just a fair. little bit. Uh, he'd make an excellent something in acting. He could have really made it as an actor. Hey, this looks like a, like a, like because they're bigger. This looks like what you would think when you think of the word orc. Like, yeah. <laughs> like it's got that face, you know. It's Middle Earth shit. <laughs> you lads been <laughs> all right, Stingy for the. Oh, you shit. lads been saying Stingy wrong. It's Australian English. Stingy. Oh, all right, Stingy. stingy. All right, well, now I know that for the future. Because, see, like, where I've been taking it from is I've always watched wrestling. And, like, uh, I'm, my dad used to play Sting songs, like, and shit. And, uh, yeah, I see Sting, and I just think Sting. But you're right, Stingy. So we'll get that fixed. All right, Stingy. I'll have to fix that in my shout-outs. But, man, big love is always to you as well, brother. Yeah, that's good to know, Stingy. I will try to keep that in mind. But as we all know, I have a goldfish brain. I will really try, <laughs> brother. I will really try. Riri the Lawless for the five. I would love to be the fly on the wall of the courtroom just to see how Rax acts around the judge. Good to see y'all. It's good to see you too, my friend. And I think everyone agrees how how lit it would be to sit there for Cyrax's court hearing. It would, like I said, it would be just 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 shit that you never think you would ever see, but here it is, and it's probably going to be hilarious. Yeah, man. I I think we are going to get to be somewhat of a fly on the wall. We got people on the inside. Yeah, we'll, we'll see hear, how it we'll pans out. Yeah, yeah, we'll know exactly what happens. Kyle <laughs> Edwards with the fifteen. Let me, let me go, or I whip out my cock, and I get you fill in the work. I can, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which is it, Nick? <laughs> Which is it, demand. officer? You either let me out of these handcuffs, or I show my cock and I get you, and I get you guys for I don't know. <laughs> I get you guys' body cam footage banned. Yeah, I get your guys' body cam footage redacted. It's already blurred out, Chance. <laughs> he looks at him and says, F I don't know what he'd say. He'd probably say some slurs at that. <laughs> That's always going to be one of my favorite Cyrax quotes, too. 
he's just so confident and he thinks he's got it all figured out. He's like, oh, I just have to do this and then the channel will get taken down without a doubt. Yeah, that's, and, his, that's his mindset. And he also has this weird rage thing. Like, it's very, I don't know. It's oh, the very rage moving. boner? Yeah, the rage boner. Yeah. It's real. Yeah. He might like, just take Viagra before the streams and start screaming. No, oh, dude. you fucking assholes! Like, it's... He's, it's like, it's, he has a weird relationship with all this. It's very, very weird, Kyle. <laughs> Ultimate G with uh, with the five, they have goblins in FF16L. Hello, what's FF16? Final Fantasy 16. Oh, I haven't, shit. I haven't played it yet because, you know, and I shouldn't do this. I shouldn't do this. But I've listened to DSP of all people about Final Fantasy 16, and he even said it has too much cutscenes. Now I know DSP bitches about every video game, but anyone saying that to me just makes me go, "Ugh." I'm sorry, I've never been a story in games, even in a Final Fantasy game. If it's too much cutscenes, I'm like, "All right, all right, relax now." Yeah. The Final Fantasy 7 remake, I felt like that. So that's why I said I didn't enjoy that game that much because I was like, "All right, you're adding so many unnecessary story plots." Let's be honest here. So most of the story sucks dick. Like I don't care who. Like like Jumbus of the mountain of whatever it is. Like I don't I don't give a fuck. Like just, come on. Like I wanna I wanna like level up. I wanna get some new weapons. And they always do this in these type of games. And Dragon Quest, you know it was great. Dragon Quest Eleven. That game kicked ass. And I think that had a good bit of cutscenes too. But still, that one just felt like it was much more uh much more fluid. Jumbus of the mountain. Yeah, I don't. It's always something like that. Something you, stupid. Like, have you heard the legend of this guy? And I'm like, no, because he's not even a boss in this fucking game, is he? He's just somewhere in this book. And sometimes that's the case. And I'm like, cool, of course. Like, this is just you crazy. have these crazy fucking now, like startled owl, polio tiger, big jumbus of the mountain. Like, I love, I love some <laughs> of these things that you say. They kill me sometimes. <laughs> Dennis yes. Perry with the five yeah. chances. Chance projects so much that he should change his name to Ira. That's very good. That's a very clever comment there, Dennis. <laughs> he should. Dennis out here actually being an intellectual. Yes. Like, that yes. is smart. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Thank you for the five, Dennis. Yeah, thank you, man. That is funny. Um, uh, Thank you for the super sticker, 666. <laughs> Six sticks. Yeah, six, 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 six Wow, that's, six. A, that's another clever name. Like, I yeah. love this type of shit. Hey, thank YouTube's you for the 149, great. my friend. Just sucks that we can't see your super sticker. But since we can't see that, I'll say that I like your profile picture. It looks red and black, and those are the two best colors when they go together. I think it's some kind of some kind of car, but I might be wrong. Looks cool. Possibly. Yo, yo, yo my dude. My dude. Five. What kind of stories about jail do you think Cyrax is going to spin when he gets out? I saw... When I was when I was behind bars, I saw cops kicking people while they were down. I saw murders happen right in front of me. I saw and he'll just, and you hear from a, a, you know, someone will get in touch with like someone who's in jail with Cyrax. Yeah, you know, worst thing that happened that day was the ice cream machine went down for a little while. Like other than that, it was a pretty uneventful day when the little guy was in here. And then he'll just he'll he'll think still. That guy wasn't in my wing. How the fuck does he know? Like, how does he know? He'll spin any type of crazy shit. We'll try to make it sound like it made him and more of more of like a hardened motherfucker than he already thinks he is. Meanwhile, the inmate the inmates think that like sixty days in is coming in, and this is like the most clever decoy yet. And uh, they're just not saying shit to Rax. They're like, surely this guy will snitch. If they knew anything about Rax, they'd know not to tell him any sensitive information. Exactly. Exactly. This is. I would not tell him where we keep the uh, the knives for cooking. You know, like shit like that, man. He would not <laughs> no, be privy to that no. info. Yeah, yeah. That's got to be the biggest fear in that house that Cyrax will get to something. Like he got to the bat. They were probably so mm -hmm. happy. Could you imagine if he? And this is something I haven't heard anyone say until right now. Kiwi didn't even click. Can you imagine if he would have known where the fucking twenty two was? Shit, I didn't even think right? about that. That's and he scary. You guys realize, I bet you they probably hit all the knives and shit. The bat is probably mm. just something that like is just around the house. Um, he probably grabbed the first thing he could, and if he knew where that gun was, you best believe he probably would have thought he would have been well within his... Because he was saying the stand my ground shit. I stood my ground. Yeah. Like, if he had that, if he was able to pack heat, he would have done it. Exactly. If, if he had the opportunity, he would have done something very violent much more violent out there yeah than just a bat um i gotta get we gotta shout out tommy dude tommy oh, okay. 
Dude, um, your catch <laughs> earlier, bro. Dude, so Tommy caught this guy earlier, and the mm. dude was already a fucking registered sex offender in Texas. They called him out in Colorado. There's another yeah. piece of shit who was trying to, like, oh, well, no, I didn't come out here to do all that. Like, <laughs> every one of these guys always says that. They always say, oh, we, we, we made, made, all, made it all this way out here to meet up with this kid, but we weren't going to do anything bad. I, I always say it, man. Tommy, you and you guys, you guys are always doing a fucking like, huge service to any community and shit like that, bro. You guys are the fucking goats. Thank you. Uh, thank you for the love, bro. You keep killing it, too. Yeah, Tommy, dude, that mean that means a lot, man. That uh, but you you're out there doing the important cool shit, dude. Nothing but respect. Yeah. I'm yeah, gonna pin, fast, I'm gonna pin Tommy's channel up here, just so anybody yeah, that wants that's to another check thing, him bro. out. You know, you know, YouTube took down the main Colorado Pet Patrol channel a few months ago. It's like shit like that. What? What type of fucking priorities does YouTube have anymore? Like, like, yeah, let's let, yeah. let's, let's let people like Daniel Larson make a million accounts all doing weird shit. But like people who are actually just making content for, for any other reason, fuck that. Like, fuck that. We're going to protect the pieces of shit in this world. For real. But you got people out there like Colorado Ped Patrol that are, are out there fucking actually protecting people and getting these fuckers off the streets. That's really the cool. B big shout out, dude. It, it means a lot that you enjoy the show. We are fans. You ever been to Colorado? I think I forgot to ask you this yeah, before. I have. It's beautiful out there. It's I love beautiful. It. Yeah, bro. I'm telling you, I was uh, uh Breckenridge Winter Park and shit up there. Like we were we were driving around. Uh drove like an hour north. I was I like two hours north. It was like a hundred miles. We were right at the fucking border of Wyoming. And this mm -hmm. is when I didn't know anything about King Cobra. Had I known, I would have probably convinced my buddies to go, eh, let's drive a little further. <laughs> let's drive a little further. <laughs> I'll get a picture in front of the Wyoming side and be like, I'm here, Cobra. Um but <laughs> But we went up to this town called Walden, Colorado, up in, like, the real north of it. It was, like, a little town and shit, bro. I got some of the coolest, like, I'll probably post them one day, some of the, like, the, the coolest pictures you'll ever see. We were just driving on this road. Dude, it was, like, hundreds of miles, it looked like, of, like, just nothing but mountains and all this shit. Like, it's probably the most beautiful state I've ever been through. It really uh, is. Yeah. And we went, like, right when it was snowing, like, crazy and all, but it does a lot there for the most part. But still, it was Man. awesome. My brother, he's a hell of a fisherman. I'm not so good. But he'd be out there and he'd catch us trout, dude. He'd bring that back. He'd wrap it in some tin foil and put it on the grill. And man, I mean, yeah, I've never had like, I. it's some of the best fish I've ever had. It was really nice. good. The All food, my boys are real. No, my bad. Go on, I'm sorry. No, no, it's just the food out there. I I really enjoy yeah. like eating. It. Oh, yeah. It was great. I, uh, I, didn't, I didn't get really to eat. Like, I, I didn't get to go out and, like, try any, like, like delicacies too much and shit like that. Mm -hmm. um, but... Well, it's, a, you but, know, it's Colorado. It's, like, got your basic shit, but... True, true, true. But, like I said, even, like, to a restaurant and all. Like, I, like, when I go yeah. somewhere, I like to go to a restaurant one night and be like, all right, well, let me see how they... Like. And most of the time, the food's the same, except maybe if you go overseas. Like, in Europe, I thought the, um... I thought the meat was better over there. You better... You better respect Thai culture, Smokey. I will never step foot in Thailand. I will never step foot in that car. I'll say right, I think we can say here because we're in America. Fuck Thailand. Fuck Thailand. <laughs> Come over here and get me, you fucking weirdos. Like what is what is the one that uh China doesn't acknowledge exists? Mongolia? Is it No, it's something. It's something. It's you like, damn Mongolians, uh, you stay away from my shitty wall. I don't you know. Like, uh, yeah, I think it's Thailand. It might be Thailand it's, or something. Uh, J. Wyatt Dunham, thank you, dude. J. Wyatt Dunham and Stoney, you guys are fucking tapists. You get to see the Nova Online video earlier than everyone else. And you'll also get to see my Airsoft Fatty Part 2, which I should have out to tapists here in a couple days. It's exciting times. Um, I covered yeah, all I gotta the get, shit on Fish I gotta Bank. get the link to your Nova Online video, because I mentioned that in the Tofiachu video that was coming out soon. Mm. I'll put it in the yeah. description. Yeah. Sorry, I've been lacking on that because I linked you no, your, your video was. too. I, but, I, uh, dropped the, I dropped that shit yesterday. You got you got all the time in the world. Yeah, it's I, I think it's I think the Tofiachu one was amazing, man. These TikTok well, I'm, cows, it's I'm hyped to see that. Yeah, I'm hyped to see that Nova Online shit too. But like I said, we're, these people are there's, there's cretins everywhere, Kiwi. <laughs> everywhere you look, doesn't matter where it's. Like I said, you go on. I wish Twitter was uh could let people post longer videos because for I mean now they do if you pay them. But most of these, come on now, most of these crazy ass low cows, they don't got money to pay for that. But like, there's no. people type crazy shit, bro. Like all the people who talk about wrestling shit. I wish they made YouTube's and talked about it because those people are out of their fucking minds. Yeah, he's like Iron Cheek Twitter. I, I love Iron Cheek Twitter.
Well, yeah. I did. <laughs> uh, Ragnarok eight five two with the two. Try and get Rogue on for episode twenty. Um, we'll have to see if I, we can get in contact yeah. with him and all yeah, and see if he's free. In in the future, definitely. We yeah, want stuff definitely contacting that, people. Absolutely. I don't know if we'll be able to get it because we got like next I'm week, sure yeah. that they got a schedule too. Yeah, next but, week, um, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Next, we'll next week might be a little a little close, but hopefully one of these days. Because Rogue's always I like mm -hmm. I've always said it. Before I started making content, Rogue was really one of the people I watched. It was him, yeah. uh Gino. I never really watched much Dylan Thomas or Gibby, but yeah, <laughs> those two guys. I would love, yeah, he's definitely one that we want to get on. I'm sure that uh, he would love to get on here and talk with us about this shit. I know he watches the show from time to time. I, I watch his show. It's uh, yeah. definitely very well produced, man. Very funny Fact. shit. Uh, much love. Oh, no. Thank <laughs> you for the two. <laughs> Flarbo and Jason for the five road collab when I guess Miss Mew can come too. Hey, man, they're all invited. Anytime, except if they're mm. for free, any friggin' time they want, mm. man. That's what the people want. Yeah, definitely. I we're definitely like I want to reach out to uh, Bite Size as well because Bite Size has been in here before. Either Bite, Bite Size, Size or Grease. Go, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they have their own show coming up, and uh, it, they have their own show that's out. It's it's funny as fuck. I love what they're doing. And yeah, uh, bro, he said Grease Wizard. I'll never forget. I always tell people this story that me and him. I don't know, like Wings. I dropped a Wings of Redemption documentary like a year and a half ago, and when yeah. I went, like, on, I looked up in the YouTube search results, like a, maybe like twenty minutes later, Wings documentary to see what other ones came up, and Grease Wizard de like literally uploaded one maybe like a minute or two before me, like oh, a, a long form Wings documentary. I remember commenting, I'm like, holy shit, like we both just uploaded Wings documentaries at the same time. Like this is gonna be lit for people to watch. Like Grease Wizard Great. always put out some of the best fucking content, man. That dude rules. And same great minds size. think alike yeah yeah so people want the rogue collab we'll keep that in mind we'll try to get in contact we'll see what we can yeah. do peeps definitely oh, didn't the tom life, have man. a pedophile on his discord server that's uh, bad life, man i mean item I, like turkey tom has how many fucking subscribers like close to a million he's got eight hundred thousand. yeah so i'd imagine some weirdos probably slipped through the cracks like I said, White Bowser, White Bowser was in mind before we found out about him, dude. Yeah. But weirdos always slip through the cracks in that shit. And when you weed them out, you got to fucking expose that shit hard because you can't have those type of people just going around. Like, I, it's, it's, it's tough, man. That's why I deleted my Discord, bro. Too many strange people end up getting in. You know who I heard about, and it's kind of crazy because he used to, like, be in the donos a lot. He's a uh, super ace nerd. Super ace. like... He was into some weird shit, man, that people found out about him. <laughs> well, this is like I said, I, I have a bad memory, Kiwi. The name, <laughs> name doesn't ring too much of a bell, but. That's good. That's good. I just reckon, I remember recognizing him like, that's fucking crazy. Like, it really is. It's it's wild times. Yeah. But, yeah, Turkey Tom did have, like, someone modding on his server. Oh, modding? That was, oh, that's different. Yeah, yeah that's different. Fuck I that. I think so. I was about to say, um, bro. Like, I imagine how many people he got in there. Probably ten thousand. Like, yeah, I don't know. Uh, quite a few. Quite a few. I had pro what I was mainly mad at him back in the day was like for getting on the internet a J. But that's kind of subside because I was like stupid. I, you know, honestly, I, mean, like, I I heard people in chat around that time I brought up Turkey Tom up asking if I had any problems with him. No, not at all. I just I just don't really watch his content. It's not for yeah, me. Yeah, I yeah I I do, but uh. I'd heard about that too, that light, and it's definitely uh, something strange. Oh boy, you have a request, Smoke. You've, you've been summoned, Smokey. Oh, hold up. Oh, I was going to mention this when I saw it. Rose Tea, speaking of screaming, because remember I said that I was like, Rose Tea will donate just for me to scream about Cyrax and be like, oh, wait, hold up, wait, I got to think of it. What is it? What is it? Oh, yeah, yeah. We had a deal, Nick. We had a deal. Pay up, Nick. Right now, Nick. Pay up. Now. 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 Hey, you don't pay up, I'll show my cock and I'll get you banned. Which is it, Nick? Dude, like I said, the greatest. That's the, the best line Cyrax has ever came up with. I yeah. still, I'm still, I'm still It mad. is. The rage, the amount of rage, Smokey, that's just boiling up within him. I mean, He's just fucking... That, that yeah. video where I covered that, that video where Cyrex does that is my most popular Cyrex video. It's titled Pure Unfiltered Rage. So, like, that's... Like, that was... That was the whole point of that one. That day was a day filled with Cyrex rage. 
It was the aftermath of Skull Scratchers, right? Yeah, because it's pay me, Nick. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Good times, good times. Rose T, thank you so much. Pay up, Marty. Like, <laughs> thank you always, Rose T. Thank you for always yeah. supporting my friend. Rose T's a goat. Always with the 20s. 20s, the, the Rose T number. Uh, that satellite man with the five. This is like in Freddy Got Fingered where he says this is a fancy restaurant. This is a fancy restaurant. Yeah, I don't does. I've never seen it. I've seen it. There. I got, I've, no. I've seen bits and pieces of it. I know it's a Tom Green movie. I never really watched too much Tom Green because it's Tom Green. But Ice Poseidon, he's like, even though he's the OG, like probably like IRL streamer, I guess you could say that, right? Like, yeah, I I'd say, kind of I'd say, it. Uh, Tom Green? No, no, Ice Poseidon. Oh, yeah. Ice Poseidon is the godfather of IRL. Yeah. I was sure. just going to say that I think that. Even though he may be the innovator of it, I think Ice Poseidon is like still the Tom Green of IRL streaming because I, I can't watch it. I can't yeah. watch Ice other than when shit like that's going down, he's getting arrested or he's on RuneScape. I don't like him much either. I don't like because yeah, he no. scammed the fuck out of people with CX coin. I just think he's, he's he's just not. He's got like the most lackadaisical personality I've ever seen. Like, oh, dude, like, oh my god, dude, that's crazy, dude. Like, it's just like, <laughs> yeah, you're so. I don't know. I don't know. I, don't know. I feel like I've talked it's, shit on like about like 20 different people in night. So <laughs> <laughs> Tony Nikolai looks JV. Like a, yeah. Tiny looks like a regarded firefighter. I remember when he sent this because the next one's going to say typo. He meant to say Tony. Um, but yes, Tony. Do, yep. Yep. There it is. Thank you for both of them, Nikolai. And, uh, and yeah, I mean, yeah, Tony, Tony does kind of give off that vibe. Like he just he spent way too much time in one of the fires and hailed way too many fumes. Yeah. Definitely. There's there's brain damage there. Definitely. Yep. Max Dagger, 22 with the five. One day he's gonna catch one of those satellite beams on the camera. Yeah. You'll never real. hear the end of it. He'll he'll upload it a hundred fucking times. You guys see that? You guys see that? It'll be a glare off the back of like a mirror in his house, and he'll be like, <gasps> like he'll 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 think it's like the greatest discovery of, on earth. That's the proof right there that the satellite man and the government man have been orally sodomizing me for orally the past twenty sodomizing. years. What is yeah. that? Like, what is that? Like, I don't. The fact that he keeps saying that like over and over, and then the videos he never mentions it. It's like, what do you? What is this? Like, it's I like sodomy is like rape. Is like yeah. is what it is. So it's like he's being. <laughs> I don't but no, know. no, but that's not no, the point I'm making. Is though that like he he says this in the title and then doesn't bring it up in the videos. And I'm like, why? Like, why don't you? If this is what the title is, tell us why this is a thing right now. But he doesn't. I think it's just because he's saying it in the sense of they're fucking with his teeth. Therefore, mm -hmm. oral sodomize. Yeah, I agree. You every time he gets beamed in the mouth, we're watching it happen live. Live in <laughs> live in color. <laughs> it's saturday night nikolai jv i'm italian and i can can confirm my sperm was stolen those bastards nikolai those fucking bastards i can't believe they're they not even that. your race they're not even your race. probably those germans there's probably those fucking yeah. germans it's always the germans <laughs> thank you nikolai thank you reb zoomer with the five put this into your satellite <laughs> <laughs> we'll do we'll do reb zoomer i'm currently encasing my house in lead <laughs> just, mm -hmm. to, just to just to keep them all away the nuclear apocalypse is going to go down and Smokey's going to be safe because tony warned him well no, no, no. Well, i'll be safe anyway because i i, I live there so i'm not near nobody but as for <laughs> for satellites though that's a different story i gotta put my whole like bungalow in uh in lead <laughs> yeah it's just a lead fucking bungalow yeah. <laughs> oh man. Oh, he's kids today kids, got kids, to, kids today got five thousand gems, but can't identify no tools. Yeah. What was that in reference to? Little Jimmy, could you get me that monkey wrench? Well, sure. I'll let my pan section. You know, like it's that. It's like <laughs> I thought it was something that we covered. I was like, Tony was Tony having no. problems with, uh, with 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 some tools. This is a gender relations rant. Thank you for the two ice, baby. <laughs> Nikolai JV, shout out to Lolcal yeah. Card Game. Big facts, yeah. bro. Lolcal Card Game looks so like it. There, it's if sons of actors here. I got a question. Are you? Are you? Do, do you do this professionally? Because it looks like it's like a professional thing. Like this looks like what you would see genuinely on the shelf at shit. 
I've like, spoken to him and um he has worked on shit before, but this is like just a passion project. He likes to see oh, that's cool. shit. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, he's a cool guy. He's a cool guy. I definitely nice. want to um check out the card game and see if we can even learn how to play it online, you know, if we ever do get to play it so we can play it on stream. But yeah. We'll have to figure that out. That'll be a whole nother can of worms. Shout out local card game. Oh shit, it's <laughs> Kurt. Kurt, hi boys. It's been a while since I super chatted, but I wanted to wish you guys a good stream. Remember, Earl Doobie is a predator. Wow. That's, that's, some, that's some statements from Kurt right there. Factual ones, may I add. But Kurt, man, it's good to see you again, brother. Glad to have you back here in chat, bro. And uh, <laughs> and yeah. And yeah, thanks yeah. for the five. Thank you, Kurt. Thank you for the 30 minute reminder. <laughs> I like I Max feel- Axe. Yeah. I like there we Max. go. We can stick with that one. All right. But, but now we do. Hell yeah. This is like the first person who's actually taking it easy on me for mispronouncing the name. And I've probably, this is one of the worst cases I've done where I've mispronounced them so much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but still, hey, Max Axe is cool with it. And like I said, yeah. it, it works better, it seems. Yeah, Max Axe. <laughs> Yeah, yo, yo, my to. dude, Chance is going to realize he's a Bible figure like Chris. Probably. Said it. So good, he said it twice. What was he going to be, the shepherd? Or, uh, yeah. I'm thinking of people who were there at the, uh, when Jesus was born. What's he going to be, one of the wise men? The fucking donkey. The fucking the, you're donkey, right, the donkey. Dude. Yeah, yep, yep. <laughs> yeah, he'll write himself into Quill fiction very soon. <laughs> Max X again with the five. Cyrax's jail stint will be the cleanest he's been in years. That's true. That's true. Mm-hmm. Like mandated yeah. showers and shit. Like he'll he'll hate it, but it's it's still if it's still facts. It's still the inmates facts. will get they'll get so fed up with constantly being infested with organisms that uh well, he, they yeah. they make him clean up and take a bunch of like anti parasites. You ain't shit. never gonna see a prison riot like a Cyrax prison riot. <laughs> They'll heat up sludge and throw it on the guards. <laughs> yep, like just like like Rorschach. Yep, they're trapped in there with him. Kiwi with the two. Am I evil for wanting him to go to a black? Chair? No, you're 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 seeking justice because that would be fucking perfect. It would be, you know, if he did have one, I guarantee you he'd mention it himself. He'd be like, "Yeah, my judge was this." <laughs> He'd, he'd somehow like play into the reason why he got charged. I'm assuming. Yeah. You're right. You're right. <laughs> Thank you for the two. Feline Alchemist, you're a dirty, filthy tapist. You'll get to see the Nova Online video and you'll get these cool little emojis I'm going to spam right now. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Shohei Otani. What? Shohei. Yeah, Shohei Otani. Was Shohei also a, drift was also a drift king, just like Rax. I think Shohei drove cars. I, I don't want to get into another baseball rant, but my God, we're, we're, if you even if you're not a fan of baseball, tune into an Angels game every now and again. You're witnessing the greatest. Like Tom Brady may have been probably the best ba- football player of all time. We got to witness him. LeBron's number two. Like LeBron's behind Jordan every time. Um, I, I don't care who wants to argue that one, but we're still watching one of the greatest basketball players of all time, Shohei Otani. Nobody has played like this guy since Babe Ruth, a pitcher who is lights out, a hitter who is, has like 30 home runs leading the league. Nobody. And this dude, man, like hmm. I said, it's crazy. It is fucking crazy. Hmm. That is interesting. I know you're a big baseball fan. I'm not much for it. But... Yeah, I'm looking at all these baseball cards I have in front of me right now. I bought a big box the <laughs> other day. I pulled a Babe Ruth, Miss Smokey opened a pack for a Babe Ruth, like all-star card card. It's worth only like 50 bucks, but it's, I'm not really looking to sell them. I'm just looking to have yeah. them. There's a lot of cool ones. That is cool, dude. That is cool. Yeah. Serotonin stealer for the five. In another universe, if Cyrax was a good person, he would probably be another Ricky Berwick. Have a good mm-hmm. night, boys. I, I agree with you 100% yeah. right there. A oh, 100%. People would look at Cyrax and be like, oh, look at this guy. Like, uh, it's, it's cool that he's at least doing something he loves. Well, it's not cool when the thing he loves is being a pedophile. So. And he loves that. He's yep. into that. That's his life, right? Serotonin. Yep. All Thank day, you. all night. Max Axe with the five. Cyrex crying is what a newborn would sound like if it weren't instinctively programmed. Find it cute. Yeah. <laughs> right? It just grades your ears. <laughs> that's, a, that's funny. But you're right, you. Max Axe, man. Thank you again, bro. Thank you for all the support tonight, my brother. Mm-hmm. Much love. Thank you for the gifts. Thank you for the donos tonight, man. 
Sons of Tonight on Lost Tapes, the, the Beagle Bang. The Beagle Bang? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Chill. R.I.P. Chill. Bandit. R.I.P. Bandit. Yeah, Thank you, Sons of Acrodia. Automatic, the thick-ass black dragon. Much love from your neighbor to the north. That's most definitely what's up. Man, I hope it's not hot as hell up there. Because I think everywhere yeah. else is getting fucking... Do you see that my Montana, like apparently somewhere in Montana, like up in the mountains, is getting snow? Oh my god, that's crazy. Yeah, right? Like what? I mean... In what fucking this? July? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like what is happening? What... It's that good global warming. That good good... <laughs> <laughs> ice ice for 20 for the five canada doesn't exist you're right mm -hmm. that's just uh, that's just what they call i was gonna say north america <laughs> but the northern united states of america yeah quebec definitely doesn't exist no, oh, no neither quebec. does neither does like saskatchewan what do you think we're regarded that's not a real place saskatchewan get the fuck out of here yeah What's toronto new finland, new finland that we have a finland fucking losers our poor Canadian viewers, they probably get yeah, this sorry. all the time, and now they're getting it from us. Now you know how the Germans feel when we play Tony Chase videos. Look, I, I, I unite with Canadians around the hate of Quebec. I'll say that. <laughs> Sora, the trashy black dragon with the five. I'd be a bad co-host. I'd just tell everyone to hydrate the whole time. Speaking of hydrate. That's facts, Sora Trash. I'll hydrate right now, but that's just, that wouldn't make you a bad co-host. That'd make you a, a responsible co-host, because that's, that's what we should be doing here. But thank Sorry. you, Sora Trash, man. It's always great to see you. Thank you always for your support, and thank you for reminding me to have this sip of water. Legitimately, my dog is it just took a fat drink. I'm not even fucking around. I don't know if you heard it. <laughs> see, Sora Trash, you're even reminding <laughs> yeah. the pup to just go. Oh, there it hydrate. goes. There it goes again. There you go. I can hear it. You can fucking <laughs> <Yeah>. hear it. <laughs> That's lit. I was it done. Yeah, I think it's done. God damn, yeah. we're <laughs> we're, we're, back, we're back to the four hour shows. That's crazy. Oh, I didn't Jesus, that. dude. Yeah, Z three Money three hours two. fifty seven minutes. Oh, we're hitting that four hour mark. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Z mm -hmm. Money for the two. MMA fight Papa Chuba's first Tony Chase. Who wins? No rules. Fuck. Now we're not. Now we're gonna be here for five hours because going to the logistics of Papa Chuba's Tony Chase. Nah, but for real, because uh, they would probably say like no alga, eye gouging, no biting. The biting part, both of them, both of their teeth, it doesn't allow for biting. So biting's out out of the question. Tony's teeth um, do poison damage, and Papa Chu's teeth do serrated damage. So I don't know exactly. That's a great point. That's, <laughs> um, but so I don't know how old Tony is, but I know Papa Chu is fifty eight or fifty nine. Papa Chu <sighs> looks very broken down. Tony still looks like us, other than his fucking teeth. Fair. Tony still looks like he's in decent shape. Uh, I take Tony Chase in that fight. Yeah, I take Tony. I take Tony. No way. No way. Pachu pulls it off. Yeah, he's, he's too so. frail. He needs that money for surgery. <laughs> <laughs> Skin is fuck. Satellite man with the two Z money. You have no idea what you've unleashed. What? What do you mean? It was Z money owed? You're calling out someone in chat. I have no idea. Do we? Did we get a? I think we got a donation from Z Money a little while ago, mm -hmm. but I can't. Yeah, My, I've been smoking too much during the show. The yeah, last donor I remember is Rose Keys asking me to scream because that one hurt my throat. <laughs> <laughs> we are literally too high for stupid right now. Thank yep. you, satellite man. Apropos, <laughs> Max Dagger, one last one for the boys. Max yeah. Dagger, man, thank you for everything tonight. Now, you are scaring the shit out of me with your little Jeff the Killer right there. Um, I'm very petrified of that, but what, what I'm not petrified about is the generosity you've shown tonight, man. I just got to say thank you again for that, bro. Hope you enjoyed the show tonight, and hope you're back here next Wednesday, bro. So every Wednesday, man, we're going to be kicking next Wednesday, episode 20. That's amazing, yeah. bro. 20 episodes in already. It is amazing. Max Dagger just gifted 10 memberships, too. Are you fucking sick, Max? Yeah, he did, dude. He <laughs> did. Oh, Max, man. man. You gave Thank him to you, OGs. Sir. You gave him to OGs, too. Fuck, man. Max Dagger, man. Again, thank you, bro. Thank you for everything tonight. Max is the GOAT. Thank you, Max. We appreciate all your support, dude. We, Max uh, we appreciate goat. Max it. Max is the GOAT. Max is the for fucking For real. Goat. For real. Chat loves Max. Um, man, that's that's probably it. We're right at that four-hour mark, guys. This is a doozy. Yep. If Let's got get any, some. Got any song to play out? Yeah, let me find something here. Um, 
Uh, let's just do Drift King because I miss it. It's that's been fair. Moment. That's considering what the, the topic, the subject matter for tonight. Oh man, it's all they're all. You probably just look there. It, it is. It's there right here. Um, shit, we got yeah, Nikolai. Thank you for the five gifts, bro. Nikolai, man, thank you again, yeah. bro. Thank I you for always appreciate it. Bro, and always showing love. Mm -hmm. And then we got riding monkeys with the two. Uh, probably talk about their moms. I've always, I've always stayed true that Chris Chan would be mortified of Cyrax. He wouldn't even want to be in the same room as him. He'd be terrified. Thank you, rating monkeys. Nikolai with the sneak facts. With the sneak on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is it, guys. That's episode nineteen, one of our longest yet. That's crazy. Oh, Jesus. Um, it was we'll, a good we'll one be... tonight, though, Kiwi man. I hope y'all in the yeah. chat enjoyed it. Yeah. We'll be back with uh, more next week. We'll try to do something special for you guys for episode 20. It's exciting times. Every Wednesday, 6.30 Eastern time. Too high for stupid. Be there. Be there. See y'all next week, my friends. Yeah, peace out, guys. Shout out Guest Bro. Thank you for the five gift, brother. Thank you so much. Who was much. that? Guest Bo. Guest Bo again. Thank yeah. you for the five gifts, though, my friend. Pe people trying to sneak it in. <laughs> Bye, guys. Have a good weekend. See y'all. East. Yeah.